Chapter 1551 Digging Up a Treasure Zhou Wing came from the cliff. Across the cliff was Lost Paradise. He had previously observed the cliff and didn't discover anything amiss. However, the little beast ran firmly towards the edge of the cliff, leaving Zhou Wing somewhat puzzled. Could it be that the treasure is at the bottom of the cliff? Soon, Zhou Wing dispelled this thought because the little beast stopped by the cliff and sniffed a stone. Could it be that there's something wrong with that stone? Zhou Wing's mind locked onto the stone, but he didn't discover any problems. It was as though it was a very ordinary mountain rock that was no different from the stones beside it. It looks like this little fellow of yours isn't very reliable, Grim Demon said. The tiny beast seemed to understand him. It bared its teeth at Grim Demon and squealed as though it was cursing him. Zhou Wen didn't even have the chance to answer. You can see me? Grim Demon was slightly taken aback. He was in his terror form, so it was impossible for others to see him without reaching the terror grade. This little beast's level was clearly very low. It was impossible for it to be at the terror grade. For it to see Grim Demon left him incredulous. The little beast continued squealing at him, clearly able to see him. Zhouin wasn't in the mood to care about them. He walked to the stone and carefully sized it up. The stone was likely an ordinary mountain rock, but there was something very strange. The area around the cliff was a platform. The other parts were flat. Only the stone protruded a foot tall, and its surface was very smooth from the weathering. You come over! Zhouin called out to a person kneeling not far away and asked. Why is there a protruding stone here? The person thought for a moment and answered. Your devilish excellency, this stone has been here for a long time. I don't know when it appeared because it's on the edge of the cliff. We usually tie a rope around it and use the rope to go down the cliff to find some edible plants and fungi. Call your city lord over. Joe went instructed when he saw that he couldn't get much from him. Not long after, the elder jogged over. After meeting him, he knelt again. Enough, stop prostrating. Tell me, when did this stone appear here? Zhou Wen waved his hand to stop the elder from kneeling. He wasn't used to such etiquette to begin with, and it was a waste of time. Only then did the elder stand properly and say, Your devilish excellency, I've only heard from the elders that there was a monument erected here before Regretless City was established. As my elders didn't know who erected it here, they didn't dare to randomly remove it. Nothing special came out of this monument over time. Therefore, from my elders onwards, they used this monument as a pillar, tying ropes to it to aid our descent to search for food. The elder paused for a moment before continuing. Much later, due to the elements and a few accidents, the stone monument snapped. Later on, it underwent a few problems, leaving only this tiny piece in our generation. We aren't too sure of its origins. A stone monument? Zhou Wen frowned as he looked at the protruding stone that was a foot tall. It was very difficult to associate it with a stone monument. Furthermore, this monument had actually shattered. If it was really that magical, how could it shatter so easily? The people from Regretless City didn't know much about the stone. Zhou Wen waved his hand and dismissed them. The tiny beast ran in front of Zhou Wen and extended its claws. From the looks of it, it was asking Zhou Wen for its companion eggs. This fellow was like a weasel, but what it liked to eat wasn't chicken eggs, but companion eggs. It loved eating the higher level ones. Zhou Wen had previously fed it quite a number of companion eggs. Although their levels weren't high and most of them were at the epic stage, it hadn't evolved over the years. Are you sure this stone is a treasure? Zhou Wen asked the little beast. The little beast pointed at the stone with its claws and made another digging motion. Zhou Wen immediately understood that the treasure wasn't the stone, but beneath it. Zhou Wen summoned Tyrant Behemoth and got it to dig up the stone. It was most suitable for such manual labor. Tyrant Behemoth didn't transform into its huge form. It shrank to a height of 4 to 5 meters, extended its claws, and swiped down, slicing open the stone like tofu. After moving its claws a few times, the protruding rock was dug out completely, leaving a hole more than a meter deep. Clang! Tyrant Behemoth's claws seemed to touch something as they emitted a metallic clang. Zhou Wen hurriedly walked over and looked into the pit. He realized that there was a green metal object. It looked like a bronze artifact. He summoned Bamboo Blade and removed the rocks beside the bronze artifact. Soon, the bronze artifact was completely exposed. What's this? Zhou Wen sized up the bronze artifact that had been taken out of the pit, but after looking at it for a while, he couldn't figure out what it was. This item looked very strange. Zhou Wen had never seen such a bronze artifact. Typical bronze tools, such as tripod cauldrons, furnaces, and spoons were nothing to speak of. Even some unknown bronze artifacts looked somewhat similar. However, this bronze artifact was different from the bronze artifacts Zhou Wen had seen in the past. This was the first time Zhou when it seen a bronze artifact that looked like a radish. Furthermore, it was a short and fat radish. It was more than a meter tall. More importantly, there were three leaves at the top. 
It looked like a huge radish no matter how he looked at it. What's this? Could it be a radish planted in the Garden of Eden? Joe Wen reached out and tapped it, producing a metallic sound. It was hard to tell if it was bronze. There were many mysterious symbols engraved on the bronze artifact, but unfortunately, Zhou Wen didn't know what they meant. Zhou Wen increased his strength bit by bit and finally, despite using all his strength, he failed to leave a dent in the bronze artifact that looked like a radish. It's really something good. His strength was already comparable to a human realm creature. Even his strength couldn't damage it. Just the material's worth alone was definitely something good. The radishes planted in the Garden of Eden are indeed extraordinary. Zhou Wen didn't store the bronze artifact in the chaos space. Instead, he got Grim Demon to guard it. He wanted to see if there were any problems with it to prevent himself from bringing trouble back. Is that all there is here? Are there any other treasures? Zhou Wen turned to ask the little beast. The little beast hesitated for a moment and looked in the direction of the cemetery. In the end, it shook its head as though it was afraid of something. Chapter 1552 Four Dinosaurs Battling the Ravenous Wolf Upon seeing the little beast's actions, Zhou Wen knew that it had definitely discovered the two puppets in the grave. However, from its appearance, it was difficult to tell if the puppets were a blessing or a curse. Zhou Wen walked back, but the tiny beast didn't leave. It circled the bronze artifact many times, but it didn't lunge forward. Could it be that there's something inside this radish-like bronze artifact? Zhou Wen guessed. Previously, the little beast had gnawed the metal walnut, producing Tai Sui. If this radish was the same as the metal walnut, there might be a companion beast inside. That would be interesting. However, the reason the little beast could bite through the metal walnut in the past was that it wasn't too hard. Zhou Wen couldn't even leave a dent in this thing, so it was impossible for the little beast to bite through it. Therefore, although the little beast was very greedy, it didn't want to take the bronze artifact for itself. It was probably because it couldn't bite through it. Zhou Wen didn't know if the bronze artifact had anything to do with how the people in Regretless City were born at the legendary or epic stage, but other than that, he couldn't find anything else. He couldn't really tear down Regretless City, right? Even if he dug three feet deep, he might not be able to find any treasures. This was because Zhou Wen might not even recognize a treasure when he saw one. Those that could glow weren't necessarily treasures. Most likely, it was an electric lamp. Even if it sounded by itself, it might not be a treasure. It was also possible that it was a phone. Finding treasures was a technical job. It was useless looking at its appearance. One had to understand its nature. After returning to the city, before Zhou Wen could walk back to the cemetery, he saw the cube in the middle of the street vibrate. The screen lit up, and the scene of Dubby Palace appeared. Another person is challenging the Star Palace? Zhou Wen stopped in front of the cube to take a look. There were only two names on the rankings now. One was Saint Jiu Yang, and the other was Fire Armored God from before. They had only chosen to challenge Dubby Palace. After passing, they didn't head for the next Star Palace. This time, a Triceratops appeared in Dubby Palace. It was silver white in color, as though it was made of white gold. As its body was too heavy, the ground seemed to tremble with every step it took. The Triceratops on Earth should be vegetarians, right? Zhou Wen muttered inwardly. Before he could continue thinking, he saw another dinosaur appear. It was a pterosaur. Its entire body was golden, like a flying golden statue. Following that, two more dinosaurs appeared. One looked like a Tyrannosaurus, while the other looked like a Stegosaurus. The Tyrannosaurus looked like black iron, and the Stegosaurus looked like it was made of bronze. The appearance of the four dinosaurs immediately attracted the attention of many people. Where do these dinosaurs come from? Isn't it said that dinosaurs went extinct a long time ago? They are definitely not dinosaurs from Earth. These four dinosaurs look very strong. As everyone was discussing, the Triceratops had already taken the lead and rushed over to slam open Dubhi Palace's door. The four dinosaurs charged into Dubhi Palace together. When Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf saw them, he threw a punch as a terrifying blast of light shone on them. Holy sh asterisk t, they actually survived. Everyone was alarmed. The four dinosaurs had actually survived the damage from the light blast. Furthermore, they didn't rush towards the teleportation nexus, but towards Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. A huge battle immediately broke out in the Star Palace. The four dinosaurs attacked Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf, who was no weakling. Although the blast of light failed to kill the four dinosaurs, his speed and strength weren't inferior to the four dinosaurs. Despite fighting four alone, he remained impressive, and wasn't at a disadvantage. Although the cube allowed ordinary people to see battles between high-level creatures in the past, human eyesight couldn't keep up with the speed of the battle. In fact, when it really began, all the average person saw was shimmering light, not the exact scenes of the battle. Zhou Wen watched with relish. The four dinosaurs were clearly at the human realm, one level lower than Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. However, their abilities were very special. 
they used four different calamity zones to cooperate with each other. Together with the various skills they were good at, they were actually able to fight the hell-level Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf without being at a disadvantage. They even had a slight advantage. If they continued fighting, they might really have a chance of defeating Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. Furthermore, it was apparent that the four dinosaurs had extremely high intelligence. It was obvious that these fellows were even cleverer than most humans from the way they cooperated. The pterosaur s attack was as fast as lightning, but Zhou Wen paid more attention to its calamity zone. It seemed to be a wind elemental domain. In its domain, the speed of the four dinosaurs increased. They were actually comparable to the hell-level Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. The Triceratops' calamity zone was very strange. After watching for a while, Zhou Wen could only tell that it was likely a power similar to a gravity domain. It greatly limited Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf, making it difficult for him to make full use of his advantage. The Tyrannosaurus's Calamity Zone increased the offensive strength of the four dinosaurs. The Stegosaurus's Calamity Zone was a recovery-type Calamity Zone. Once the four dinosaurs were injured, they would quickly heal under the influence of the Stegosaurus's Calamity Zone. The Stegosaurus's Calamity Zone played a huge role in allowing the four dinosaurs to withstand the blast of light. Under the combined forces of the four human realm dinosaurs, Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf, who was at the Hell level, was restrained. This was also the first time Joe when had seen Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf fight. When he had been in the middle of the battle, he couldn't see anything. He didn't know how Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf and the Golden WRM Scissors fought. All he knew was that the Golden WRM Scissors had snipped off Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's head. Now, after watching Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf fight, he realized that this fellow was crazy. He was very strong in every aspect. His entire body was almost a combat weapon. He was an existence that could even kill someone with his buttocks. Just any random move by Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf was a unique move that ordinary people could spend their entire lives studying and practicing. Even Joe Wen was inspired when he saw it. Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf was like a martial arts library. In a one-on-one -on -one battle, unless it's a fellow like the Golden WRM Scissors, who can't be killed in one strike, it's really difficult to defeat Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. Joe Wen had to admit that Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf was too powerful in combat. Its only weakness was that it was easily restricted by external forces. Just like the Triceratops' gravity domain, it restrained him greatly, making it difficult for him to unleash his full strength. What a pity. Even the strong can't beat a numbers game. No matter how strong an individual is, they ultimately can't defeat a team. For some reason, Joe and hoped that Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf would win. Unfortunately, the miracle didn't happen. With the cooperation of the four dinosaurs, after fighting for more than 30 hours, the Triceratops's long horn pierced through Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's chest. Chapter 1553-3, Domain Stacking Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's corpse was quickly torn apart by the four dinosaurs. A purple dimensional crystal dropped and was swallowed by the Tyrannosaurus. It was impossible to see what crystal it was. After the four dinosaurs killed Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf, they roared at the sky and rushed into the teleportation nexus before disappearing. They didn't choose to enter the next star palace either. Instead, they left. The cube screen returned to the cube's ranking. The first place which was originally occupied by Saint Jiuyang was now occupied by the name Four Dinosaur Kings. Saint Jiuyang and Fire Armored God were ranked second and third. These fellows are really dinosaurs. Could they be dinosaurs that left Earth? It's really possible. It's a mystery why the dinosaurs went extinct on Earth. Perhaps the dinosaurs didn't go extinct at all. They only evolved to a certain extent and rushed out of Earth to enter a universe era. In that case, how many dinosaurs are there in the universe? Don't you find it strange? Previously, in the Venusian Dimensional Zone, every clearer obtained a metal companion egg, but these clearers didn't seem to obtain anything? Someone discovered the crux of the problem. Just this comment was quickly drowned by the news regarding the dinosaurs. The various families also saw new hope from these dinosaurs. Through the cooperation of various domains, they could actually kill Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. This was clearly a shortcut. Zhou Wen was also very interested in the cooperation of such domains. He was the owner of multiple domains, so he had been studying how to maximize the effects of his various abilities. However, this was because the essence energy arts he cultivated had their own characteristics. Although it wasn't that he couldn't have them working together, they lacked in synergy. Typically, he matched a few abilities such as Gothfiend Era and the Sky Stealing Sun Swapping Art. However, once he obtained the Calamity Zone, things might turn for the better. The stacking of multiple domains might have unexpected benefits. Apart from the Chaos Eggs Calamity Zone that's inconvenient to stack, the other domains should be able to stack. I have to think of a way to get those dimensional zones out as soon as possible. Perhaps I can kill Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf 
at the terror grade via stacking them. Zhou Wen thought to himself about how he could get the other essence energy arts to produce a domain. The First Order of Chaos and the Ancient Sovereign Sutra have already condensed domains. Among the remaining essence energy arts, the ones that are easier to match with dimensional zones should be the Dao Sutra and the Demon God Bloodline Catalog. The Dao Sutra comes from Mount Lao Jun, while the Demon God Bloodline Catalog comes from Chess Mountain. They have a clear origin. Presumably, the opportunity for them to advance to the Calamity Zone lies in these two places. Unfortunately, the dimensional creatures in these two places are too powerful. I'm still unable to clear them up to now. It will probably be very difficult to find the key object to condense a domain. Zhou Wen had no choice but to temporarily give up on the two essence energy arts. Of the remaining essence energy arts, sky stealing sun swapping art came from the endless sea of stars. However, despite repeatedly grinding the endless sea of stars, Zhou Wen failed to find any key objects. Most importantly, the endless sea of stars was just too huge. It was unknown how long it would take to traverse its entirety. Finding something inside was no different from finding a needle in a haystack. The difficulty was in no way inferior to Chess Mountain and Mount Laojun. The Godfiend era and Chi refinement art didn't have any corresponding dimensional zones for the time being. Zhou Wen had also gone to the small Buddha temple corresponding to the small perfection of Wisdom Sutra many times, but he failed to find the key object needed to advance to the Calamity Grade. After some thought, Zhou Wen felt that he could continue searching small Buddha temple. After all, that place was relatively small. If there was really something that could advance to the Calamity Grade, the chances of finding it were higher. He could also give the Chi refinement art a shot. It probably wouldn't be easy to find a dimensional zone that corresponded to the God Fiend era, but with the Chi refinement art, Zhou Wen already had a goal in mind. Although the Chi refinement art was mainly focused on Chi refinement, everyone had different cultivation directions. They determined the huge differences amongst people despite being the same Chi refinement art. Taking Zhou Wen's Chi refinement art as an example, the life soul he condensed was a sword, while Hui Wan condensed an AI that resembled a phone. They were two completely different things, and the subsequent styles would deviate further. With his current insights, Zhou Wen felt that his Qi refinement art was actually rather suitable for the ancient sword tomb. He wanted to go to the ancient sword tomb to see if he could condense a domain with the Qi refinement art. Furthermore, Zhou Wen had a goal in mind. He wasn't speaking without reason. In the ancient sword tomb, there was a sword that Zhou Wen had been unable to pull out. Furthermore, every time Zhou Wen pulled out the sword, the entire ancient sword tomb would tremble as though all the swords were about to fly out by themselves. It was a grayish-black vine sword embedded in a small mound. Zhou Wen had been unable to pull it out when his level was low. He still failed to pull it out when he reached the terror grade. He didn't make any attempts after that. If it wasn't for the problem of the Qi refinement sword, Zhou Wen would have forgotten about pulling out the sword. Now, he suspected that the vine sword was likely the core of the ancient sword tomb, the key to advancing to the calamity grade. Of course, this was only Zhou Wen's guess. Even if the vine sword was really the core of the ancient sword tomb, it was still a question if it could match his Qi refinement art. Furthermore, Zhou Wen wasn't sure if it was an item that could allow him to advance to the Calamity Grade. Perhaps it was because it was too powerful that he couldn't pull it out. He came to the Ancient Sword Tomb again. It had been a long time since Zhou Wen had grinded there. He found it somewhat unfamiliar. Thankfully, Zhou Wen's memory wasn't bad. He quickly found the tiny grave. The vine sword embedded in it was the same as before. It looked like a withered vine had been stabbed into it. I hope it works. Otherwise, I really don't know where I can find a dimensional zone that matches the Qi refinement art. Although Zhou Wen also wanted to go to the founding emperor tomb, there was nothing there that matched Qi refinement arts, much less something that matched the Qi refinement art that Zhou Wen cultivated. He felt that the chances were very slim. He came in front of the vine sword and circulated the Qi refinement art. Immediately, sword beams seeped out from his body. The sword pill condensed from essence energy also emitted sword intent in his consciousness. With a thought from Zhou Wen, Sword Pill immediately transformed into something very similar to the Immortal Calling Sword. The sword intent on the sword became even sharper and more ferocious. With a terrifying sword aura and sword intent, Zhou Wen reached out to grab the hilt of the Vine Sword. He immediately exerted strength, hoping to pull the Vine Sword out of the tiny grave. The Vine Sword was originally grayish black and withered, making it look like a dead vine. Now that Zhou Wen was pulling at it, the Vine Sword emitted a strange sword intent that resembled a blooming flower. Chapter 1554 Pulling Out the Sword Zhou Wen pulled up the vine sword inch by inch. The sword intent on the vine sword became stronger and stronger. It began to spew out fireworks. In the end, it was like a volcanic eruption that nearly tore through the sky. Zhou Wen was a swordsman himself and was proficient in the 3000 sword intents, but he had never seen the vine sword sword intent. 
Instead of calling it a sword intent, it was more like a concept of life. Rumble. The entire ancient sword tomb shook as countless swords hummed above the grave, as though they would fly out at any moment, heading straight for Zhou Wen who was pulling at the sword. Zhou Wen was pleasantly surprised as he looked at the ancient sword tomb that was shaking and surging with sword beams. He was delighted because the vine sword was likely the core of the ancient sword tomb. Perhaps the Qi refinement art had a chance of advancing to the calamity grade. However, from the looks of the ancient sword tomb situation, if all the swords really tore out of the grave and attacked Zhou Wen, he might not be able to handle the countless swords while pulling at the sword. Amitba, please bless me to pull out the vine sword safely. Before I advance to the calamity grade, don't let those swords come out. Zhou Wen prayed inwardly. However, the worst of his fears happened. Halfway through pulling the vine sword, Zhou Wen suddenly heard a crisp and dull sword hum. It was like the sound of thousands of swords being unsheathed in a kill zone. Oh no! Zhou Wen cursed inwardly as he took a glance. Indeed, he saw the swords in the grave fly out and float in the sky like a sea of stars. At a glance, the sky was filled with resplendent sword beams. He couldn't see the end, nor did he know how many swords there were. Just as Zhou Wen took a glance, he saw the swords that filled the sky had their tips pointed at him from all directions. At that instant, Zhou Wen suddenly felt as though the entire world was his enemy. The feeling of being alone and helpless left him shuddering in fear. Without any pause, all the swords erupted with all sorts of sword auras, sword beams, and sword intents. The sword beams that filled the sky intertwined and rained down from above. At this point, Zhou Wen couldn't give up. All he could do was continue pulling at the sword, as he prepared to withstand the onslaught of the swords. Activate! Zhou Wen activated the first order of chaos domain. Glimmering words appeared and enveloped his body, forming the shape of a chaos egg. Inside the chaos egg, Zhou Wen held the hilt with both hands as he pulled upwards with all his might. Outside, countless swords rained down on the chaos egg. Bam! 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 It was better to die in glory than live in dishonor. The swords seemed to have the determination to destroy indiscriminately. They used all their strength to slam into the chaos egg, not sparing themselves at all. The low-level sword slammed into the chaos egg and shattered. The high-level sword slammed into it and drilled in with all their might until their bodies collapsed under the immense pressure. Sword beams rained down in waves, crazily striking the chaos egg as large amounts of solid essence energy condensed inside. If it were the chaos egg before it advanced to the calamity grade, it would have long exploded. Thankfully, after advancing to the calamity grade, the essence energy crystals in it could be stacked, so he wasn't worried about it exploding. I'm still one fair way from pulling it out. From the looks of it, I should be able to withstand it, Zhou Wen thought to himself as he pulled. Although the sword attacks outside were ferocious, they weren't enough to break through the Chaos Egg's defense. While having this thought, he suddenly heard a tearing sound. A sword blade pierced through the Chaos Egg's outer shell before a portion of the sword stabbed into Zhou Wen's chest. If not for the Chaos Egg blocking most of its strength, Zhou Wen's chest would have been penetrated. Even though the Chaos Egg blocked most of the blade's strength, a terrifying sword beam still rushed out of the blade and wreaked havoc in Zhou Wen's body. The sword beam was extremely terrifying. Apart from the immortal culling sword, Zhou Wen had never seen such a violent sword beam. The moment the sword beam entered his body, it immediately spread out like a virus, wanting to destroy all the cells in his body, in a bid to not even leave ashes. Zhou Wen hurriedly circulated the Qi refinement art and condensed sword beams to resist the terrifying destructive sword beams. Zhou Wen's sword beams were considered extremely condensed against sword beams at the same level. As they were constantly compressed from essence energy, it was very difficult for ordinary sword beams to withstand Zhou Wen's. However, when compared to the destructive sword beams, Zhou Wen's sword beams appeared somewhat lacking in precision. It was like the difference between tempered steel and ordinary raw metal. Zhou Wen's sword beams retreated in defeat as his cells were constantly destroyed. His body couldn't withstand such terrifying sword beams after his sword beams collapsed. And this is with the chaos egg blocking most of the force. There's actually such a terrifying sword in the ancient sword tomb. Zhou Wen was alarmed. Thankfully, this was in game. If it was in reality, he would have long abandoned the sword and fled. He wouldn't have the time to pull out the sword. However, Zhou Wen was still willing to take the risk in game. He gathered all his strength and suddenly exerted all his strength to pull out the sword. He wanted to pull out the vine sword before he was destroyed. Only a small portion of the vine sword remained in the grave. The blood-colored avatar's chest collapsed at a speed visible to the naked eye. Outside the chaos egg, the thousands of swords continued attacking crazily. Although Zhou Wen knew that even if he pulled out the vine sword, it would be difficult for him to escape death, he still wanted to see if there was a chance of advancing to the calamity grade after pulling it out. Will I die first, or will I pull out the vine sword first? 
Zhou Wen could sense that the flesh on the blood-colored avatar's chest had almost completely collapsed. Thankfully, his physique was sufficiently powerful. If it were an ordinary person, they would have long died. Even Zhou Wen's body was at its limits. The game could go black at any moment. At the instant Zhou Wen thought he was about to die, he finally pulled out the vine sword. As he had used so much strength, he ended up lifting it above his head. The extremely powerful sword intent on the vine sword exploded like a nuclear bomb at that instant. Wherever the sword intent passed, the thousands of swords that were attacking Zhou Wen seemed to lose their souls as they fell like snowflakes. Even the sword embedded in Zhou Wen's chest strangely and slowly retreated. The sword beams that could destroy everything receded like a tidal wave as the blade pulled out of Zhou Wen's chest and left the chaos egg. In the next second, the sword intent emitted by the vine sword surged towards the sword pill that Zhou Wen had condensed. Chapter 1555 It's Not What I Want The sword intent from the vine sword surged into sword pill, shattering all of sword pill's 3,000 sword intents. Sword pill that had already transformed into the immortal culling sword gradually returned to its sword pill form. Zhou Wen felt as though sword pill had turned into a huge furnace. Its 3,000 sword intents seemed to melt as they gradually fused into one. And what melted the 3,000 sword intents into one was the sword intent on the vine sword. Zhou Wen didn't sense any sword aura from the vine sword from beginning to end, but its sword intent was unimaginably powerful. He had never seen a sword intent this powerful. Even without the sword aura, just the sword intent alone could probably affect one's heart. As the sword intent constantly fused, Zhou Wen sensed that sword pill had begun to evolve and condense a domain. However, this domain was condensed rather strangely. It was a pure sword intent domain without any sword auras participating. A pure sword intent domain? Is that really good? Zhou Wen wore an odd expression, unsure if it was suitable for him. The Qi refinement art was clearly an essence energy art that focused on cultivating essence energy, but the calamity zone that condensed was a pure sword intent domain. No matter what Zhou Wen thought, the Qi refinement art didn't have synergy with such a domain. As the sword intent and the vine sword fused into sword pill, the vine sword itself began to shatter, turning into scattering dust. The thousands of swords in the ancient sword tomb fell to the ground like subjects who worship their monarch. Only a few swords returned to the sword tomb without trembling like the other swords. This included the sword that had pierced through the chaos egg and nearly killed Zhou Wen. Zhou Wen didn't see this. He was pondering if such a domain was what he needed. Pure sword intent domains weren't bad. As long as a domain existed, it had to have a reason for its existence. Zhou Wen was considering if such a domain suited himself and the Qi refinement art. The domain was slowly taking form. Zhou Wen could already sense how powerful it was. Just the nascent domain had made thousands of swords submit. Most of the swords in the sword intent domain had lost their effects. If someone were to fight Zhou Wen with a sword in hand, the sword in the enemy's hands would suddenly lose the effects they originally had. It would be too easy for Zhou Wen to defeat his opponent. Such a domain was very strong, but Zhou Wen felt that it wasn't the domain he needed. Perhaps others might find it satisfying to enfeeble their opponent, thereby crushing them, but Zhou Wen didn't like that. Even if he wanted to defeat his opponent, Zhou Wen hoped to defeat an opponent at peak condition, and not an opponent whose ability to resist had been stripped away. That would only make Zhou Wen find it boring. This isn't the domain I want. Zhou Wen already understood what he really wanted. However, how could he reverse the domain that was forming? Zhou Wen didn't know. He had never had such experience, nor did he know if he could change the domain that was taking form. If it were in reality, Zhou Wen would only wait for the domain to be completed. It would be equivalent to courting death to do something at such a critical stage. However, in game, no matter how much nonsense he did, he would only die. He could revive from a drop of blood. At most, I'll fail at condensing a domain. I'd rather fail than have a domain I don't like. Zhou Wen steeled his resolve as his strength erupted crazily. He forcefully stopped the transmission of sword intent, hoping to throw out the remaining half of the vine sword. However, Zhou Wen's desperate attempt failed to throw out the vine sword. Instead, his sword intent clashed with the broken sword sword intent. The sword pill that was already on track and was fusing to form a domain instantly warped. The sword intent domain that had already been produced began to collapse. Thousands of swords that had already submitted to the ground gradually raised their tips again. As though they were attracted by a magnet, their tips pointed at Zhou Wen. The domain constantly collapsed as the swords gradually floated up again, surrounding Zhou Wen. Once Zhou Wen's incomplete domain completely collapsed, the swords would kill him just like before. So what if I die? It's better than having a domain I don't like. It's best if you kill me quickly to prevent the domain from condensing successfully. Zhou Wen wanted the domain to collapse faster, but now, all sorts of sword intents were running amok in his body as though he had been possessed. He couldn't even control his body, 
so there was no chance of dying even if he wanted to. The vine sword sword intent was still gushing in, but the sword intent and sword pill was flowing out and surging into Zhou Wen's body. The sword intent originally formed from 3,000 sword intents had already become countless fragments that were about to fuse into one after being struck by the vine sword's intent. Under normal circumstances, when the 3,000 sword intents completely fused with the vine sword intent, it would be when the domain was successfully condensed. When that happened, all the sword intents would no longer be distinguishable. They would become one, having no effect on Zhou Wen. However, after the 3,000 sword intents were shattered while in an incomplete fused state, all sorts of sword intent fragments rushed out and affected Zhou Wen's mind. It felt like a movie's editing had gone wrong. An action movie, a romance movie, a wuxia movie, a science fiction movie had been edited and stitched together. Scenes would switch to completely unrelated scenes when played. It was a confusing sight. Zhou Wen's firm willpower thankfully prevented him from being affected by the psychedelic sword intent. However, as the vine sword intent surged in, Zhou Wen realized that the sword intent fragments seemed to slowly return to their previous trajectories. It was as though they were about to begin condensing a domain again. No, you can't do that. Zhou Wen attempted to use his mental strength to control the sword intent fragments. He didn't have a certain goal, he just wanted to mess things up. It wasn't easy to stop the domain from condensing, but Zhou Wen thought that as long as he could restrain the vine sword sword intent and prevent the domain from taking form, he could wait for the swords to kill him. At that moment, the swords in the ancient sword tomb had already flown up again and were aimed at Zhou Wen. With a hum, thousands of swords shot out at Zhou Wen. Here they come! Zhou Wen was overjoyed. He didn't have a chaos egg around him now. The swords would probably be able to kill him very quickly if they attacked, so it was impossible for him to condense the Calamity Zone successfully. Just as the thousands of swords rushed in front of Zhou, one who was already awaiting death, with his eyes closed, his face filled with a smile, something unexpected happened. Chapter 1556 No Submission The remaining half of the vine sword in Zhou Wen's hand suddenly became even more terrifying. It was as though a sword emperor had descended. The terrifying sword intent pressure instantly caused the thousands of swords in the ancient sword tomb to fall to the ground. Some swords couldn't even withstand the pressure of the sword intent as they constantly trembled and shattered with a bang. The few swords that weren't affected by the vine sword trembled non-stop. Sword hum sounded incessantly, as though they were competing for supremacy. An ancient sword that was originally unmoved exploded inside the grave. The ancient sword also fell from the exploded grave and hit the ground motionless. Like a subject prostrating in worship, the other swords began to shake. Zhou Wen felt the sword intent the most directly. He could clearly sense that it wanted to bring its will into Zhou Wen's essence energy art and form a calamity zone that was completely compatible with it. The sword intent that had already been thrown into disarray in Zhou Wen's body was rapidly restoring order under the intense restraints of the vine sword intent. It began building the calamity zone again. Zhou Wen was a stubborn person. Now that the vine sword was forcefully condensing a calamity zone, how could he accept it? Since I can't use the power of those swords to commit suicide, I'll kill myself. With a thought, the golden WYRM scissors immediately flew out and transformed into a golden beam that snipped at the blood-colored avatar's head. Clang! The half-vine sword moved autonomously and blocked the golden WYRM scissors strike. A powerful hell-level weapon, like the golden WYRM scissors, could slice apart creatures of the same level, but it was blocked by the half-vine sword and failed to continue its snip. The golden WYRM scissors attacked a second time after failing to deliver a conclusive strike, but the half-vine sword was extremely magical. It blocked the golden WYRM scissors attack again and again. Even if the golden WYRM scissors slashed at it with all its might, it was still blocked by the vine sword. Zhou Wen tried his best to control his hands, but it was useless. Under the influence of the vine sword, his hands involuntarily moved with the vine sword, blocking the golden WYRM scissors again and again. As for the sword intent fragments in Zhou Wen's body, they were gradually sucked back into sword pill. Even if you are really a sword immortal from the heavens, you can't force me to do something I don't like. Seeing that the golden WYRM scissors couldn't be used, Zhou Wen summoned all his pets. If people were to see so many high-level companion beasts, they would probably be extremely envious and jealous. However, they would probably be shell-shocked to see the companion beasts desperately attacking their master. Perhaps many people had never seen companion beasts attack their master in their lives. Zhou Wen's various companion beasts, Golden WRM Scissors, Golden Sniper, Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General, Golden Battle God, Tyrant Behemoth, and so on, were summoned by Zhou when as long as they were above the terror grade. He made them attack him with all their might. Clang. 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 However, the vine sword was invincible. 
It blocked all the attacks from so many companion beasts, and even killed many of them. The golden sniper's bullet shattered, as the golden battle god was instantly parted at its waist. Tyrant Behemoth, who had just advanced to the Calamity Grade, was forced back hundreds of meters by the strike despite using absolute strength and overlord zone. Holy sh asterisk t, what the hell is this vine sword? Is it that powerful? It wasn't that Joe had never seen a ferocious dimensional creature, but he had never seen one as ferocious as the vine sword. The vine sword seemed determined to fuse into Joe Wynn's calamity zone. The shocking sword intent raged out, causing the companion beast to retreat. I really don't believe it. It's not easy to live, but can it be difficult to die? Zhou Wen summoned the ancient splitting spore and made it explode in his body. Dr. Darkness attached himself to Zhou Wen in his soul form, but he didn't help him fight. Instead, he spread poison within Zhou Wen. Unfortunately, their levels were a little low, so they failed to severely injure Zhou Wen's body. Zhou Wen wasn't dead, but due to the explosion of the ancient splitting spore, Zhou Wen's body suffered a serious shock. The Qi refinement art that was circulating immediately lost its essence energy, causing Sword Pill to lose control. Elsewhere, the Soul Mirror's Soul Suppression Divine Light shone on the Vine Sword, causing a black halo to appear over it. It looked like it had played a certain role. However, in the next second, Zhou Wen's body was driven by the Vine Sword. He appeared in front of the Soul Mirror, as though he had instant transmitted and shattered it with one strike. This fellow is a little afraid of the Soul Mirror? Zhou Wen was slightly taken aback. After fighting for so long, the Vine Sword only guided Zhou Wen's arm to fight, killing or repelling any companion beasts that approached. That was done with Joe when standing in the same spot previously. Only when the Soul Mirror's Soul Suppression Divine Light descended did the Vine Sword take the initiative to attack. It was somewhat different from the passive battle from before. The Soul Mirror was shattered by it. I don't have a second companion beast of the same type. Even if I know that the Vine Sword is afraid of the Soul Mirror's power, I don't have any means to restrain it. Could it be that it's really condensing a domain just like that? Joe was depressed. He no longer had any other means to use. His body was controlled and his companion beasts couldn't defeat the Vine Sword. All he could do was condense the domain. Just as Zhou would believe that the outcome was set, and that there was no way to reverse the situation, a sword flew over. Strange, why would a sword fly over at such a time? Zhou Wen was somewhat puzzled. As the Vine Sword's sword intent was so powerful, it suppressed all the swords, preventing them from even moving. None of them dared to approach Zhou Wen. However, the sword didn't seem to be suppressed by the Vine Sword's sword intent. It flew straight at Zhou Wen, and with an unsheathing sound, the sword flew out of its scabbard and stabbed at Zhou Wen's chest. That's Son of Heaven's Three Swords, Zhou Wen was alarmed. The sword that flew over was actually the Son of Heaven's Three Swords that Zhou Wen hadn't been able to pull out. Although the Son of Heaven's Three Swords was only at the Terra Grade, Zhou Wen had yet to pull it out to date. Now that it had unsheathed itself, how could Zhou Wen not be alarmed? Something's amiss. Previously, when I used it against enemies, I couldn't pull it out no matter what. Now that I'm letting it kill me, it actually unsheathed itself. What the hell is this? Zhou Wen, who was supposed to be pleasantly surprised, became even more depressed when he thought of this. The Son of Heaven's Three Swords was formed from the fusion of Light Concealment, Shadow Concealment, and Night Immaculate. However, it didn't seem to have inherited the ability of invisibility from the Three Swords. It was always visible with the scabbard. Zhou Wen originally imagined that the Son of Heaven's Three Swords didn't have the ability to turn invisible, but when he saw it unsheathed, he realized that he couldn't see its blade. All he felt was a powerful sword intent condense in front of the hilt, stabbing sharply at Zhou Wen's chest. Chapter 1557 works hard at killing Master. The Son of Heaven's Three Swords offensive strength wasn't very strong among Zhou Wen's companion beasts. The Golden WYRM Scissors attack was far stronger than it. Even among Terror Great companion beasts, there were many that were stronger than it. However, the Vine Sword actually clashed with the Son of Heaven's Three Swords first. The Vine Sword struck the body of the Son of Heaven's Three Swords and sent it flying. When the Son of Heaven's Three Swords flew out, Zhou Wen realized that something was amiss. He saw the thousands of swords that had been suppressed by the Vine Sword slowly fly up. However, in the past, the swords had flown independently without any pattern. The only similarity had been their target. But now, it was somewhat different. The swords were clearly centered around the Son of Heaven's Three Swords. No matter how one looked at it, they seemed to be controlled by it. Hum! With the Son of Heaven's Three Swords hum, the thousands of swords ignored the sword intent pressure of the Vine Sword and charged at Zhou Wen. Zhou Wen was at a loss whether to laugh or cry. The Son of Heaven's Three Swords was indeed working hard to carry out his orders, but when Zhou Wen fought the enemy in the past, it had never helped him. Now that Zhou Wen wanted to commit suicide, it was putting in so much effort. 
This was the first time Zhou Wen knew that the Son of Heaven's three swords could control other swords. More ridiculous was the ancient sword that had dropped previously. It was probably at the Calamity Grade, a level higher than the Son of Heaven's three swords. Logically speaking, it shouldn't be controlled by the Son of Heaven's three swords. Yet, the ancient sword charged at Zhou Wen with the other swords. There were also a few other swords of similar strength that rushed over. Clang! 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 As the Vine Sword fought the Golden WYRM Scissors and other companion beasts, it had to withstand the bombardment of thousands of swords. The situation immediately became terrible. Even something as powerful as the Vine Sword couldn't gain the upper hand under such circumstances. Zhou Wen also began to suffer injuries. The Son of Heaven's three swords levitated their motionless, as the swords charged forward without any regard for their lives. Faster, or it'll be too late. Zhou Wen felt that the domain in his body was about to be completed. It would be useless if he was killed after its completion. However, the swords had already used all their strength, but they still failed to kill Zhou Wen. They had only injured some unimportant spots. Hum! Another sword hum sounded. This time, Zhou Wen could clearly hear a sword hum coming from a huge grave. Up to now, all the swords had basically flown out. However, he never expected that there would still be a sword embedded in a grave. Zhou Wen took a careful look and immediately recognized that the sword in the grave was clearly the one that had nearly killed him in the past. Later on, when the vine sword emitted a sword intent, that sword returned to the grave and didn't fly out again. At that moment, the sword was resonating incessantly, as though it was about to rush out. Zhou Wen could sense that the vine sword sword intent was surging towards the sword on the grave. Clearly, it thought highly of the sword. As for the Son of Heaven's Three Swords, it was even more direct. It had already flown to the back of the huge grave and floated beside the ancient sword. The sword hum from its body didn't stop. However, the sword intent emitted by the Son of Heaven's Three Swords wasn't as domineering as the Vine Sword. It didn't seem to be controlling the sword, but more like using persuasion. The sword in the grave didn't break out of the grave. It looked like it was hesitating. The Son of Heaven's Three Swords is only at the terror grade after all. I'm afraid it'll be at a disadvantage. Zhou Wen felt that things were going south. In a fight for the sword, the higher level vine sword was naturally at an advantage. If I had known that the Son of Heaven's Three Swords was so powerful, I would have thought of a way to get it to the Calamity Grade earlier. Perhaps I would still have a chance of fighting that vine sword. As Zhou Wen sized up the sword in the grave, he secretly felt regret. The sword in the grave looked like an ordinary ancient sword. The three-foot-long sword didn't look gorgeous. The patterns on the sword were very ordinary. It didn't look like a famous sword at all. Instead, it looked like a standard issue for ancient soldiers. However, after seeing it pierce through the Chaos Egg, he knew how terrifying its offensive strength was. It was probably not inferior to the Golden WYRM Scissors. Just as Zhou Wen was pondering over it, he heard a sword hum. The sword rushed out of the grave and floated in the air. At the instant the sword appeared, all the swords seemed to subconsciously retreat a little. Who is it helping? Although Zhou Wen felt that the possibility of the sword helping the Vine Sword was higher, he couldn't help but have some fantasies. He hoped that the power of the Son of Heaven's Three Swords would move it. Of course, Zhou Wen also knew that it was unlikely, but there was no other way. All he could do was pray. The sword floated in the air for a while, before suddenly turning into a stream of light that flew towards the Son of Heaven's Three Swords. It's over. Zhou Wen was alarmed, as he knew that the situation was hopeless. The destructive power of that sword was too terrifying. It had chosen to help the Vine Sword so it was likely that the Son of Heaven's Three Swords would be snapped. However, to his surprise, the sword only circled the Son of Heaven's Three Swords once before charging at Zhou Wen. The sword's flying speed was unbelievably fast and shockingly ruthless. Zhou Wen didn't even see how it shot over when the tip of the sword touched his chest. The Vine Sword's reaction wasn't slow either. It blocked the blade, preventing it from really stabbing down. A shocking sword clang sounded as Zhou Wen felt his body involuntarily fly backward. The Vine Sword was actually no match for the sword as it flew back with Zhou Wen. Son of Heaven's Sword, O oh Son of Heaven's Sword, you're really AF Asterisk King Good Master Killer. Such a powerful sword can actually be used by you. Zhou Wen was pleasantly surprised, but he couldn't describe what he felt. He was still happy overall. He saw hope. Indeed, just as the Vine Sword flew out, the ancient sword that came out of the grave transformed into a beam of light that penetrated the blood colored avatar's chest. This time, there was no chaos egg to help Zhou Wen withstand it. Zhou Wen used his body of flesh and blood to directly experience the ancient sword's might. Zhou Wen's body was already comparable to a human realm creature, but at the sword's blade, he was no different from Tofu as he was penetrated. 
A huge hole appeared in the blood-colored avatar's chest as the ancient sword passed through. Furthermore, its sword aura tore through Zhou Wen's body from the wound. Zhou Wen had already had a taste of such a destructive sword aura before. However, most of the sword aura back then had been blocked by the chaos egg. This time, when it rushed into Zhou Wen's body without any reservations, Zhou Wen felt as though all his cells were about to be destroyed. There was no buffer at all. I'm finally liberated. Zhou Wen secretly heaved a sigh of relief, but he never expected another accident to happen. The remaining half of the Vine Sword suddenly disintegrated as terrifying sword and tents were released. They drilled into Zhou Wen's body from all directions. Half of the Vine Sword sword and tent had previously fused into Sword Pill. After the remaining half entered, Sword Pill immediately lit up as sword and tent spewed out, forcefully stopping the terrifying sword aura from spreading through Zhou Wen's body. Chapter 1558 Intangibility and Corporeality The Son of Heaven's three swords hum turned sharper when it realized that Zhou Wen wasn't completely dead. The swords that filled the sky immediately struck down, hoping to dice Zhou Wen's body to pieces. On the other side, the ancient sword also realized that Zhou Wen wasn't dead. It flew over again. This time, its target wasn't his chest, but Zhou Wen's head. Zhou Wen wasn't Li Xian. It was impossible for him to live with his head pierced. He completely gave up on resistance. He had no intention of controlling the blood-colored avatar, but the blood-colored avatar began moving under the driving force of the sword intent in his body. Sword Pill appeared and transformed into the Vine Sword. It was held in the blood-colored avatar's hand as it fought the swords. Zhou Wen had previously been the one gaming, but now, he felt like he was having a bot play for him. As he watched the blood-colored avatar automatically fight, the weapons that were killed would occasionally drop dimensional crystals or companion eggs. Seeing a mythical companion egg drop, Zhou Wen wanted to pick it up, but he couldn't. All he could do was watch. The Vine Sword's body had already turned to dust, but now, it was using Sword Pill as its new vessel. Sword Pill's strength became stronger and stronger, as did its domain. Many of the swords that approached Sword Pill fell to the ground uncontrollably. Only the especially powerful swords could reach the blood-colored avatar, but the power of the swords became limp, as though they lacked strength. The Vine Sword's strength wasn't weaker than the Ancient Sword. It only had half its strength left previously to fight the Ancient Sword. Now, its strength was all inside Sword Pill, so it didn't appear as weak in battle as before. However, as Sword Pill's domain hadn't completely taken form, it was still difficult for it to fight the Ancient Sword head-on. Therefore, Sword Pill kept dodging and stalling for time while pulling Zhou Wen's body along. Once its strength perfectly fused with Sword Pill, allowing it to advance to the Calamity Grade, it would truly have the capital to fight the Ancient Sword. Dream on. How can it be as you wish? Zhou Wen sneered inwardly. It was finally time for him to put in the effort. Previously, the Vine Sword was independent of his body, but it was different now. The Vine Sword's sword intent had completely fused into Sword Pill. It no longer had a body that could be used as a foundation to exert strength, so it relied solely on its will to control Sword Pill. Sword Pill belonged to Zhou Wen. It was condensed using Zhou Wen's body as a foundation, making it easier for him to control it. The Vine Sword believed that its sword intent was powerful enough that no one could withstand it. It believed that its sword intent could crush Zhou Wen's will and easily obtain control of Sword Pill. Under normal circumstances, it was indeed the case. The Vine Sword could easily shatter the 3,000 sword intents. Such intent was indeed very strong, so strong that Zhou Wen found it unimaginable. Zhou Wen was far from reaching that stage, but this didn't mean that he didn't have the ability to resist. Zhou Wen's realm might be lacking, but in terms of willpower, he was invincible. Perhaps defeating the Vine Sword's intent was difficult, but it was still possible to hold it back. The Vine Sword intent controlled Sword Pill for the battle when it suddenly stopped. Sword Pill, which was supposed to slash right, paused for a moment, failing to block the ancient sword. The ancient sword stabbed into the blood-colored avatar's abdomen as a terrifying sword aura immediately surged in, wreaking havoc in Zhou Wen's body. The sword intent and sword aura in sword pill immediately surged over, hoping to withstand the sword aura that invaded his body. However, only the sword intent rushed over without the sword aura. Zhou Wen was temporarily unable to control the sword intent brought about by the vine sword, but it wasn't that simple for the vine sword to borrow the sword aura in sword pill. It had to first suppress Zhou Wen's willpower. The ancient sword's aura rapidly spread through Zhou Wen's body as the sword intent retreated in defeat. Sword intent was only sword intent after all. Without the fusion with corporeal powers like sword aura, sword intent was far inferior to sword aura in terms of destructive power. The calamity zone that it had painstakingly condensed quickly collapsed. It should be ending soon, right? Zhou Wen felt that he was doomed this time. It was unlikely there would be a turnaround. It was indeed as Zhou Wen had imagined. 
The sword aura constantly tore through the blood-colored avatar's body, putting it on the brink of collapse. In at most 20 to 30 seconds, the body under the corrosion of the sword aura would completely lose its vitality. Zhou Wen waited for death to arrive, while admiring the hopelessness of the vine sword intent. Why aren't you showing your arrogance anymore? Where did the arrogance from before go? Zhou Wen was somewhat smug, but on second thought, he was the one who wanted to use the power of the vine sword to advance to the calamity grade. It didn't seem wrong for it to give him strength. It was just a little too assertive. With this in mind, Zhou Wen immediately felt disinterested. This clearly couldn't be considered a victory. He just didn't like it and wanted to change the calamity zone. Sorry, I can't do anything about it. Your strength is different from the power I want. I have no choice. Zhou Wen watched as the sword intent was constantly eliminated. As he watched, an idea suddenly flashed in his mind. While the ancient sword sword aura destroyed Zhou Wen's body, it also destroyed the resisting sword intent. During this process, Zhou Wen discovered an interesting phenomenon. Sword auras and sword intents were actually two completely different things. Sword auras were corporeal, while sword intents were intangible. Under normal circumstances, sword intent couldn't directly affect matter itself. It could only affect one's psyche. However, because of the potency of the vine sword sword intent, it affected tangible objects. Therefore, it could resist the sword aura. The clash between tangible and intangible objects made Zhou when discover something very interesting. Is an intangible object really formless and intangible? Zhou Wen had thought so in the past, but after seeing the clash between the sword auras and sword intents, he realized that it wasn't that simple. The sword intent affected his body. It was originally impossible for his body to resist such a terrifying sword aura, but under the effects of the intangible sword intent, his body's strength was strengthened to the point of being able to withstand the sword aura slightly. This enhancement was extremely shocking. It was clearly an illusion that was similar to a dream, but it could be used in reality. Could it be that intangible objects can really be transformed into something corporeal? Zhou Wen's heart stirred as he released his control over Sword Pill. Then, he used his willpower to influence Sword Pill and stimulate its sword intent. With the Vine Sword intent receiving help, it stabilized the crumbling situation, preventing Zhou Wen from immediately dying. Zhou Wen naturally wasn't doing this to help the Vine Sword intent. He just wanted to observe for a while and see what the secret between intangibility and corporeality was. Chapter 1559 In Between Intangibility and Corporeality Zhou Wen only tried his best to maintain the situation. He didn't wish for the vine sword intent to turn the tables. He only wanted to stall for time so that he could see the profundity between intangibility and corporeality. However, sword intent was something ethereal to begin with. It could only be sensed, not seen or touched. Even inside Zhou Wen's body, he could only sense the sword intent changing his body, but he still couldn't see it. It has a powerful influence, but I can't see or touch it. This feeling is somewhat similar to something I'm familiar with. Zhou Wen thought about what it was. After some thought, Zhou Wen thought of what the sword intent was similar to. The thing Zhou Wen thought of was deities that humans worshipped. However, on careful thought, deities and sword intents could be considered one and the same thing. They were fantasies derived from human thoughts. Sword intent was actually a form of thought, and deities were also products of human thought. The difference was that sword intent was one's understanding of the world while deities were the entrustment of the unknown and fears. Humans are sentimental creatures. The existence of an intangible object like a deity does sometimes affect the actions and abilities of humans, Zhou Wen thought to himself. He had heard a story in the past that mentioned a student. Although he studied hard, his results weren't that good, especially during exams. He failed to be on form every time. There was once when he went to a nearby temple with his classmates to pray. He didn't have any plans and thought that he could pray to the deity in passing. In the end, not only did he get an auspicious divination lot, but he also heard a divine voice that the other students didn't hear. It said that he would definitely be able to learn well and even be admitted into a good university. However, when he asked the other students, they claimed to not have heard anything. After returning, not only did the student work harder, but his results also improved significantly. His test results also increased drastically, and he even got into a famous university. Later on, when they were having a class reunion, they chatted about this matter. Only then did he realize that it was a setup by his few classmates. The drawing of divination lots was rigged in advance, and the divine voice was a played recording. The other students had all heard it. The reason they did this was that they found this student very hardworking. He just lacked confidence. Therefore, they thought of using this method to boost his confidence and dig into his potential. The outcome was indeed very good. However, what the sword intent had done so far exceeded the influence of pure thought. If it's not just an emotional influence, What's the principle behind it? Zhou Wen constantly observed and pondered, 
but no matter how you looked at it, it was difficult to observe the true core. The corporeal sword aura constantly clashed with the sword intent that imperceptibly affected Zhou Wen's body. All Zhou Wen could see was his body being destroyed by the sword aura, preventing him from truly capturing the existence of the sword intent. Suddenly, Zhou Wen discovered a problem. Previously, he had only observed the clash between the two and couldn't find the true crux of the matter. However, when Zhou Wen focused his gaze on the changes after his body was wrecked, he immediately discovered something different. The sword aura's destructive power was extremely potent. It wrecked the body of flesh and blood, disintegrating it into its individual, extremely tiny elements. They were split and split until they were completely invisible as though they had vanished. Zhou Wen knew that they hadn't vanished. It was only because they were too tiny that he couldn't see or sense them. However, during this process, a very small portion of the matter wasn't diced to the point of invisibility. The other flesh and blood were split apart again and again. Finally, nothing could be seen. However, there were wisps of something that resembled smoke or fog that scattered out and vanished at an extremely fast speed. Although it only existed for a brief period, Zhou Wen was certain that the wisp of smoke wasn't split by the sword aura. It had vanished by itself. He carefully observed and realized that after every cell was destroyed, there would be wisps of smoke dissipating, instead of being reduced to smaller parts. What is that inside the body? It wasn't split by such a powerful sword aura. The more Zhou Wen sensed it, the more he found the smoke magical. In the smoke, Zhou Wen felt the existence of the sword intent and the sword aura. However, it only existed for an extremely short period of time, like a fleeting meteor. That wisp of smoke has the specialness of a sword intent and the characteristics of a sword aura, but it's clearly different from the two. It has a corporeal body that sword intent doesn't have, and it also has the thought processes that sword aura doesn't possess. The more Zhou would observe, the more he found the smoke magical. However, the smoke only appeared when it was destroyed by the sword aura. It didn't always exist. Zhou Wen didn't discover the smoke when he destroyed some of his flesh by himself. This is interesting. Zhou Wen wanted to see if he could capture the smoke. The smoke could be touched when it appeared, but even if one enveloped it with sword aura, the smoke would still vanish into thin air. It made capturing it difficult. He met with failure despite many attempts. It's clearly a corporeal object, but it can turn intangible. This is a very bizarre characteristic. Zhou Wen made repeated attempts and failed. Zhou Wen gradually realized that it wasn't that he couldn't capture it, but the smoke didn't exist at all. Since it can go from corporeal to intangible, can it do the reverse? Zhou Wen felt that he could give it a try. The crux seemed to be the clash between sword aura and sword intent. As sword intent didn't have a corporeal body, it couldn't engage in a direct collision. His body was the medium. Zhou Wen switched methods and kept trying after repeated attempts, hoping to truly figure out what the smoke that was a superposition of corporeality and intangibility was. This clearly wasn't an easy task. Zhou Wen had yet to figure out how the smoke was formed, and his body was about to collapse. Although Zhou Wen had been helping the Vine Sword maintain its sword intent, he ultimately couldn't withstand the invasiveness of the sword aura. His body was already on the brink of death. Sword pill was covered in cracks, and could shatter at any moment. Can I try it again later? Zhou Wen thought to himself. He would pull out the Vine Sword again later, and experience it again. Crack! Sword pill finally couldn't withstand the pressure and exploded. As Sword Pill was about to completely transform into Sword Intent, Zhou Wen immediately saw a large amount of smoke spread out from his body like fireworks. At the instant he died, Zhou Wen suddenly had an inexplicable realization. Chapter 1560 Beginningless Sword Domain Due to Sword Pill's explosion, there was too much matter that was in a state of superposition of intangibility and corporeality. It magnified the sensations Zhou Wen experienced by a thousand times, causing his body and mind to be affected. Zhou Wen clearly sensed the existence of the smoke. No, it shouldn't be said that it was smoke, but a type of particle. A particle that Zhou Wen had never seen before. The characteristics of this particle were very strange. It had two sides like yin and yang. When it switched to yang, it would exhibit the characteristics of a corporeal object. And when it switched to yin, it would exhibit the characteristics of an intangible object. Zhou Wen could only previously sense its yang aspects, but not the yin aspect. He finally sensed the yin aspect due to the intense effects of sword pill's explosion. Instantly, Every sensation Zhou Wen experienced seemed somewhat different. The smoke that he believed had vanished hadn't really vanished. It had only switched teen. The particles still existed. Zhou Wen just couldn't see them. If I treat these particles as sword pills, then, with a thought, all the particles that separated from Zhou Wen's body instantly switched from yin to yang and appeared again, filling the holes in Zhou Wen's body. Zhou Wen was pleasantly surprised. The particles were like countless sword pills that welcomed the invading sword aura as he wished. 
Zhou Wen didn't know if this was considered finding success through failure. In fact, it wasn't just sword pill. Even his body had undergone changes. Under the effects of the countless sword pill particles that were in a superposition of corporeality and intangibility, Zhou Wen's body seemed to change, heading in this direction. The particles that formed his body seemed to be transforming into a superposition of particles. The infinite sword pill particles constantly resisted the sword aura, but the sword aura was just too powerful. The sword pill particles were constantly destroyed. However, Zhou Wen realized that the sword pill particles hadn't really been destroyed. They only appeared to be destroyed. In fact, they had only switched team. With a thought from Zhou Wen, the sword pill particles would switch again, turning into a corporeal sword aura. Therefore, even if the sword pill particles weren't the sword aura's match, they still managed to stall for time. It gave Zhou Wen a chance at survival. When Zhou Wen's body completely transformed into the sword pill particles that were in a superposition, a strange sword intent rose from his body. Zhou Wen's body vanished instantly. Only the ancient sword that had penetrated his body as well as the sword aura remained in place. Zhou Wen's body appeared elsewhere as sword intent surged from his body. Buzz! The swords that had been affected by the Son of Heaven's three swords fell to the ground one by one, producing a humming sound as though they were worshipping Zhou Wen. Only a few calamity-grade ancient swords remained flying. As for the other swords, the influence of the Son of Heaven's three swords prevented them from getting up again. Only the ancient sword that fought Zhou Wen remained levitated, but it didn't attack again. It only faced Zhou Wen as though it was hesitating. Zhou Wen waved his hand at the distant Son of Heaven's three swords. It seemed extremely unwilling but under the pressure of the sword intent, it had no choice but to return to Zhou Wen's hand. This was the first time Zhou Wen had held the unsheathed Son of Heaven's three swords. He already understood why he couldn't unsheathe it. If the Son of Heaven fought, corpses would be strewn for miles. There was no need for him to draw his sword. If there came a day when the Son of Heaven drew his sword, the only use was probably for him to commit suicide. This didn't mean that the Son of Heaven's three swords could only be used for suicide. Its effects weren't in combat, but on the psyche. Therefore, despite the Son of Heaven's three swords being only at the terror grade, it could affect the powerful ancient sword. This didn't mean that it was stronger than the ancient sword, but because it was the sword of the Son of Heaven. The Son of Heaven didn't necessarily have very powerful martial strength, but he could commandeer generals with invincible combat strength. When Zhou Wen held the Son of Heaven's three swords, sword intent emitted from it. The extremely terrifying sword intent on his body instantly elevated. The calamity great ancient swords that could still fly also landed on the ground one by one. Although they weren't trembling, they no longer showed their original arrogance. Only the ancient sword that fought Zhou Wen remained floating. Zhou Wen faced it with his sword as he walked towards it step by step. The ancient sword suddenly emitted a sword hum as it transformed into a sword beam that flew away and returned to the grave. With the sword hum emitted by the ancient sword, the other ancient swords flew away and returned to their respective graves. Even the Son of Heaven has things he can't obtain. Zhou Wen was somewhat disappointed as he looked at the Son of Heaven's three swords in his hand and sheathed it. He tried pulling it out again. This time, it was very easy to pull it out. It wasn't like before. Didn't you disallow me to unsheathe you? Ain't I unsheathing you now? Huh? Zhou Wen sheathed and unsheathed it repeatedly to vent his former frustrations of not being able to unsheathe the Son of Heaven's three swords. Every time Zhou Wen unsheathed the Son of Heaven's sword, the swords in the ancient sword tomb would hum. After sheathing it, the sword hum would stop as though they were remote controlled. Zhou Wen wasn't in the mood to kill the swords. He looked at the blood colored avatar's information, and indeed, the chi refinement art had a calamity zone. Calamity zone, beginningless sword domain, human realm. This works. Although this was somewhat different from what Zhou Wen had imagined, it wasn't a bad choice. As the saying went, man proposes, God disposes. There weren't many things in life that completely followed a predetermined trajectory. Perhaps the beginningless sword domain wasn't what Zhou Wen wanted, but it wasn't something he didn't want. This was already a very good outcome. Show me how strong this beginningless sword domain is. Zhou Wen activated the sword domain as the ancient swords within the sword domain flew out of their graves. Countless threads of sword aura appeared out of thin air, destroying the swords in the vicinity. One of the calamity great ancient swords emitted a terrifying sword beam, hoping to fight the sword aura. Under the impact of the infinite sword aura that resembled a galaxy, the sword shattered and a companion egg dropped. For a moment, there was no complete sword in the sword domain. There were only dimensional crystals shimmering on the ground. Even the calamity great ancient sword seemed to lose the courage to resist when Zhou Wen unsheathed the Son of Heaven's three swords. It could only allow Zhou Wen to attack without daring to retaliate. Only the ancient sword that had fought Zhou Wen remained unmoved. 
Chapter 1561 Heaven Defying Slaying Zhou Wen wasn't willing to provoke it either. Although the Qi refinement art had advanced to the calamity grade, it was still no match for the ancient sword in terms of combat strength. He picked up the companion eggs that had dropped from the calamity grade ancient swords and absorbed the other useful companion eggs and dimensional crystals. Now that he had the beginningless sword domain, other than the ancient sword, the other ancient swords were free for slaughter. It felt great farming them. After farming the entire ancient sword tomb once, four mythical and one terror grade companion eggs dropped. Together with the calamity grade companion egg, Zhou Wen was very satisfied with his harvest. Red Knight, Calamity Grade, Life Providence, Sword of the Emperor, Life Soul, Red Dragon, Wheel of Destiny, Meridian Slaying, Terror Form, Red Knight, Calamity Zone, Heaven Defying Slaying, Human Realm. The stats of Red Knight weren't very high. Among Zhou Wen's few Calamity Grade companion beasts, it was considered the weakest. It couldn't evolve, nor did it have an S Grade Terror transformation. Its skills were very ordinary, and its combat strength wasn't very good. However, its Calamity Zone was rather interesting when Zhou Wen gave it a try. This heaven-defying slang zone sounded like an offensive domain, but it wasn't. It was a very strange domain. If Zhou Wen couldn't see the data of characters, it would have been difficult for him to sense the effects of this domain. The heaven-defying slang zone was actually a domain that controlled the light shown from Providence. It could eliminate the negative and boost the positive. Usually, the effect of this domain was to increase the light one received from Providence depending on the situation. For example, the drop rate would be higher. It wasn't of much use. If someone used powers related to Providence to secretly deal with Zhou Wen, the sword would show its usefulness. However, Zhou Wen had Dao Sutra and Truth Listener. Even without this sword, the techniques involving the light from Providence weren't of much use to him. However, with this sword, Zhou Wen could not only defend against it, but he could also counterattack. The sword's good, but unfortunately, its combat strength is a little weak. Its various attributes are slightly higher than the Calamity Grade standard. It's considered the weakest Calamity Grade creature. Zhou Wen looked at the Red Knight and had some other thoughts. The most useful thing about this sword is its Calamity Zone. The other abilities are very ordinary. If I fuse it with the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General, wouldn't I be able to push the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General to the Calamity Grade? It's best if it can inherit the Heaven Defying Slaying Calamity Zone. If it can't, Having a new Calamity Zone can't be a loss, Zhou Wen thought to himself. However, when he thought of the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General's Jinx's Master skill, Zhou Wen was somewhat hesitant. A Calamity Grade Jinx's Master was no joking matter. However, on the other hand, the temptation of the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General advancing to the Calamity Grade was too great for Zhou Wen. It was practically born for the Big Dipper Dungeon. In a high temperature area like a star, the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General was an invincible existence. It could already withstand Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's Blast of Light at the Terra Grade. If it advanced to the Calamity Grade, Zhou Wen might be able to clear the Big Dipper Instance Dungeon with just this companion beast. Of course, the green-armored Star-Lord on Fecta was an exception. He had a very strange ability, and a special ability was probably needed to deal with him. He wasn't likely to be killed simply with powerful offensive strength. Gritting his teeth, Zhou Wen placed Red Knight and the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General in the Fusion Column. Seeing that the compatibility was only 2%, he steeled his heart and clicked on fusion. With a flash of light, Red Knight, which was in the supplementary material column vanished. The Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General underwent a new change. The change this time wasn't significant. His appearance didn't seem to have changed much, but the purple flames inside his armor flickered erratically. It seemed to have changed, but it wasn't too obvious. Could it be that he has an advance to the Calamity Grade? Zhou Wen hurriedly looked at the information on the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General. Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General, Calamity, Evolvable, Life Providence, Malicious Evil, Life Soul, Tiger Soul Runes, Wheel of Destiny, Ferocious and Evil, Terraform, Devil Knight, S Grade, Calamity Zone, Heaven Defying Slaying, Human Realm, Strength, 100, Speed, 100, Constitution, 100, Essence Energy, 100, Talent Skill, Tempered Steel Cauldron, Rampage, Magic Stone Curse, one with horse, penetrating pierce, evil penetration, badlands, jinx's master, crazy sweep, life slaying, companion form, none. Seeing that the fiend armored tiger soul general had really advanced to the calamity grade, Zhou when heaved a sigh of relief. This was a fusion at the cost of a calamity grade companion egg. If he hadn't advanced, it would have been a huge loss. Thankfully, the outcome wasn't too bad. The calamity zone was inherited, and there was an additional life slaying skill. This skill seemed to be a skill that was compatible with the domain. 
it could only be used when the Heaven Defying Slang Zone was activated. Tiger Soul General, oh Tiger Soul General. It wasn't easy for me to raise you up. You should give me something in return, right? Zhou Wen left the Ancient Sword Tomb and dripped his blood to refresh the dungeon. He planned on grinding the Ancient Sword Tomb dungeon a few more times. Perhaps he could farm another Calamity Grade Companion Beast. However, after Zhou Wen entered the dungeon, he realized that the Vine Sword was gone. The swords above the mythical stage were also gone. Only the powerful Ancient Sword remained. I reckon it will take 24 hours to respawn like other mythical creatures. Zhou Wen had no choice but to leave the Ancient Sword Tomb dungeon. I wonder how Guide City is doing. With Li Xian and company around, there shouldn't be any major problems, right? Zhou Wen was somewhat vexed. Demonic Neonate hadn't woken up, and he didn't know how long she would be sleeping. It was impossible for Zhou Wen to keep waiting. He was now prepared to think of a way to return through the cube. Now, there was another problem that Zhou Wen found troublesome. Demonic Neonate was Zhou Wen's companion beast and was one with him, but she couldn't return to Zhou Wen. If he took her into the cube, he didn't know if she would be considered a person. If she counted as one, he only needed to bring Liz and Lim along to enter the cube. If she didn't count, he would have to find another person. Regardless of whether he wanted to find someone else, Zhou Wen had to ensure their safety. Previously, when Zhou Yang and company entered the cube, there were definitely four people in the beginning. However, the other three were probably just tools. Zhou Wen guessed that the three of them definitely weren't of a high level and were there just to make up the numbers. After entering, they couldn't withstand the high temperature and had no chance of appearing on the cube screen before turning to ashes. Zhou Wen wasn't that ruthless, so he definitely couldn't do such a thing. Demonic Neonate's safety wasn't difficult to resolve. He could protect her within the Chaos Egg. The main problem was Liz, Leem, and company. The Chaos Egg couldn't accommodate them. I guess this is the only way. Zhou Wen thought for a moment before calling Liz and Leem over. Do you know how to use companion beasts? Zhou Wen asked Liz and Leem. Master, what's a companion beast? The two sisters were taken aback as they asked in puzzlement. Chapter 1562 Fire Runic Divine Armor Queen That's right. In such a place, they don't have the ability to hunt dimensional creatures. How can they have companion beasts? It's only normal to be unaware of them, Zhou Wen thought. Companion beasts are pets that help you in combat. Furthermore, these pets are loyal. Even if you get them to carry out a mission that they know they will die, they won't hesitate to carry it out, Zhou Wen said. Master, we are willing to sacrifice everything for you. If you want us to die, we will not hesitate. If we do anything wrong, please punish us. The two girls clearly misunderstood Zhou Wen's intentions and immediately knelt down. Get up. Zhou Wen knew that there was no way to explain it to them as he gave the order. The two girls' eyes were still brimming with tears, as though the tears would fall at any moment. However, they still obeyed Zhou Wen's orders and stood up. I want to bestow each of you a companion beast. Take in the feelings of having a companion beast. Zhou Wen's sky-stealing sun swapping art could transfer companion beasts to other humans. However, Liz and Lean weren't humans from Earth. He didn't know if they could use companion beasts, so an experiment was needed. He transferred two heavy armored warriors to Liz and Leem, making them feel a little nervous and amazed. They were even somewhat alarmed. From their expressions, Joe Wen knew that he had succeeded. Like ordinary humans, they had the ability to use companion beasts. Master, is this a companion beast? It's really magical. Thank you for the reward. I will definitely be like a companion beast, working hard for you until my death. Liz took in the sensations awarded by the companion beast and looked at Joe Wen with admiration. Master, me too. Lean was very excited. She had already summoned the heavy armored warrior and was curiously sizing him up. Things will be simple since they can use companion beasts. Joe would only needed to give them companion beasts that could withstand high temperatures and make them persist until they entered the dungeon. Then, as long as they didn't die, Joe could send them into the chaos space and clear the dungeon alone. The main problem was that there was no way to store them in the chaos space before he entered the cube's dungeon. They had to withstand the high temperature for a brief period after being teleported in. Of course, ordinary armor couldn't withstand such high temperatures, but this wasn't too much of a problem for Zhou Wen. Let me see. What should I fuse to form highly fire-resistant armor? Zhou Wen began studying the companion beasts he had, especially the ones in the Fire Elemental Instance dungeons. There were many Fire Elemental companion beasts in the Metalwork Temple. A single Fire Elemental companion beast definitely couldn't withstand such high temperatures, but Zhou Wen had fusion. As long as he turned a companion beast's life providence, life soul, and wheel of destiny into some form of fire elemental resistance, they would be able to use some fire elemental resistance skills to withstand the high temperature. Of course, 
Zhou Wen still needed to experiment after completion. If it didn't work, he could think of a way to fuse the armor until they reached the terror grade. That would solve all problems. Firstly, Zhou Wen planned on using the runic heavy armored warrior as a foundation. The fiend armored tiger soul general had fused with it, making it an important part of him. Zhou Wen didn't expect the newly fused companion beasts to be as strong as the fiend armored tiger soul general. All he needed was enough fire elemental resistance. He chose some fire elemental companion beasts that had higher compatibility with runic heavy armored warrior before attempting to fuse them. There were many companion beasts with fire elemental abilities. Furthermore, they could replicate the fiend armored tiger soul general's pathway and obtain some useful skills. After a few attempts, Zhou Wen realized that it was impossible to replicate the fiend armored tiger soul general's pathway. As the compatibility was too low, it was impossible to succeed without Jinx's master. Zhou Wen had no choice but to choose a new fusion pathway again. He fused the Steel Cauldron Sprite, Fire Furnace Queen, Fire Giant, and other companion beasts with the Runic Heavy Armored Warrior. The outcome wasn't optimal. The initial compatibility wasn't bad, and the success rate was rather high. Even if there were occasional failures, he could start all over again. After all, Zhou Wen had quite a number of such companion beasts. However, the most critical step was the fusion with Fire Furnace Queen. Fire Furnace Queen had a Fire Elemental Body Life Providence, Fire Crown Life Soul, and Fire Elemental Affinity Skills. These skills were very suitable for Fire Resistance Armor. However, Fire Furnace Queen's compatibility with the Runic Heavy Armored Warrior was only a pitiful 12%. The fusions met with repeated failures. Thankfully, Zhou Wen had farmed plenty of companion beasts. He would keep trying after each failure. There was bound to be an instance when he would succeed. It was great to be rich. After dozens of fusions, he managed to obtain four. However, among the four, only two had their life providences and life souls inherited from Fire Furnace Queen. Furthermore, only one of the two had an armor companion form. Zhou Wen could only continue fusing. It was only because Zhou Wen had many companion beasts that he had kept over the years. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to withstand such losses. After almost 80 fusions, a total of three met Zhou Wen's minimum requirements, armor form, a fire elemental body life providence, and a fire crown life soul. Two of them had fire elemental affinity. With these three foundations, Zhou Wen began choosing highly compatible fire elemental companion beasts to continue the fusion. For the advancement to the mythical stage, Zhou Wen chose Fire Giant. This mythical fire elemental companion beast had flaming rebirth as its wheel of destiny. However, Fire Giant's flaming rebirth was different from a Phoenix's Nirvana. A Phoenix's Nirvana was a form of true rebirth, but flaming rebirth was having its thick skin reborn amidst the flames. It had a powerful fire affinity. Although it wasn't a true rebirth, it was very useful for flaming armor. With a compatibility score of 74, he failed once when he fused the three with the fire giant. The one that failed was the one with fire elemental affinity. It made Zhou Wen's heart ache. Thankfully, there were two more. It was still acceptable if one failed. Following that, Zhou Wen became even more cautious. When he chose skills to fuse, he didn't dare fuse those below 90% compatibility. He even chose those above 95%. After more than a day, Zhou Wen finally succeeded in fusing two armor companion beasts with extremely high fire elemental resistance. Fire Runic Divine Armor Queen, Mythical, Life Providence, Fire Elemental Body, Life Soul, Flaming Crown, Wheel of Destiny, Flaming Rebirth, Strength, 67, Speed, 72, Constitution, 61, Essence Energy, 80, Talent Skill, Fire Elemental Affinity, Divine Runes, Flaming Armor, Fire Shield, Fire Furnace. Companion Form, Armor. The other's attributes and skills were similar, but it lacked Fire Elemental Affinity. Let's see if this armor can withstand Dubby's high temperature. If it can't, I'll have to think of a way to fuse it with Terra Grade creatures, Zhou Wen thought to himself as he summoned the Fire Runic Queen in her armor form. Chapter 1563 Fire Elemental Defense Armor. Red flames immediately enveloped Zhou Wen's body as the black armor clung tightly to his skin, perfectly outlining his muscular body. On the black armor, there were some red crystal-like lines embedded, forming a crystalline pattern. The flames enveloped the armor, making Zhou Wen look like a flaming dark rider from the abyss. It looks pretty good, but I wonder how useful it is. I hope that this one without fire elemental affinity can withstand it. Zhou Wen launched the dungeon and entered Dubhi with the fire runic divine armor queen. The high temperature of Dubhi was enough to burn ordinary mythical creatures to ashes. It was indeed difficult for mythical armor to protect two epic humans. Thankfully, Zhou Wen didn't have high requirements. As long as the Fire Runic Divine Armor Queen could last for 2 to 3 seconds, 
it would be enough to prevent Liz and Lean from being killed by the high temperature. At the instant he entered Dubhi, Jowen, who was wearing the Fire Runic Queen armor, felt the temperature instantly rise. However, the Fire Runic Queen armor didn't immediately melt. Instead, the flaming patterns on his body lit up, as the flames on the armor's exterior burned crazily. The black parts of the armor were like red-hot metal pieces that suffused a slight red glow. However, not only did the temperature inside the armor not continue to rise, but it also slowly decreased. Zhou was pleasantly surprised. The effects of the Fire Ring Divine Armor Queen were much better than expected. It lived up as a Fire Elemental Resistant Armor. Such an effect was probably comparable to a Fire Elemental Terror Grade Armor. This wasn't exactly surprising. Typical Fire Elemental Armor only had one or two Fire Elemental Defensive Skills. It was almost impossible to find one which had every attribute being Fire Elemental. Although the temperature inside is still a little high, it should still be within the limits of an epic stage human, right? However, before that, Zhou Wen had to confirm if demonic neonate was considered a human. If she wasn't, Zhou Wen needed to find another human and fuse another fire runic divine armor queen. He took demonic neonate to the cube and stabbed demonic neonate's finger with a needle, dripping a drop of blood. The blood dripped onto the cube and was immediately absorbed by it. The cube lit up as the number three appeared. Clearly, it required the blood of three creatures to truly activate it. Since demonic neonate is considered a person, that's simple. I can return to Earth now. After Zhou Wen returned to the cemetery, he summoned Liz and Lim over. If I were to go somewhere very, very far away, perhaps never to return, are you willing to follow me? Zhou Wen asked the two girls. Although Zhou Wen could have taken them away without saying a word, he didn't wish to do so. After all, this was their home. The chances of them returning in the future were slim. Zhou Wen didn't wish to force them if they were unwilling to leave. In fact, there was no need to force them. With Regretless City's present situation, as long as Zhou Wen threw out some bait, many people would definitely be willing to return to Earth with him. Leaving this place could even be considered an opportunity for Liz and Lim. Of course, Zhou Wen still hoped that Liz and Lim would return with him. This was because their life providences and life souls were somewhat special. They would be of help to Zhou when when he built the city in the future. Liz's life providence was goddess of blessing, while her life soul was blessing Halo. As for Lim's life providence, it was goddess of curses, and her life soul was curse Halo. One would receive a huge boost when the former used a blessing type skill, while the other's curse would attain terrifying levels. The two of them were practically born for large-scale battles. One could bless their allies while the other could curse their enemies. They were a perfect match. The premise was that they were willing to follow Zhou Wen. If they were tricked to join him, they might fall out with Zhou when after seeing what kind of world was out there on Earth. It wouldn't be worth it. Master, our lives are yours. You can take us anywhere. To Zhou Wen's surprise, Liz and Lim answered firmly without any hesitation. Go back and prepare. Say farewell to your family and friends before leaving with me. If you haven't thought it through, you don't have to return. I won't blame you, Zhou Wen said. Liz and Lim exchanged looks as Lim said. Master, please wait. We'll be right back. Regardless of whether you return or not, tell your city lord to come over, Zhou Wen added. After the two girls agreed, they left the cemetery. Zhou Wen turned to look at the two graves. After some hesitation, he decided not to touch the puppets below. Have you really decided to return using the cube? Grim Demon still hoped to wait for Demonic Neonate to wake up. I've already decided. Come back, Zhou Wen said. Grim Demon knew that it was impossible for him to convince Zhou Wen, so he obediently returned to the Demonic Sword. Zhou Wen placed the sheathed Demonic Sword in Demonic Neonate's arms and waited for the City Lord to arrive. Furthermore, he also wanted to know if Liz and Lin would return. Liz and Lim came to the cemetery with the city lord. The city lord knelt on the ground and said with tears in his eyes, Your devilish excellency, are you returning to Law's paradise? Did we do something wrong? If so, please punish me. Don't abandon us, your citizens. You did nothing wrong. It's just that it's time for me to return, Joe Wen said indifferently. I see. Then please take Liz and Lim with you and let them serve you in our stead. The city lord immediately said, Then I'll take them along. Zhou Wen agreed, having never planned on rejecting the offer. Zhou Wen thought for a moment, and felt that it wouldn't be nice if he didn't leave anything behind after taking away two extremely talented people. Furthermore, the humans here had a very difficult time surviving. They didn't even stand a chance. You should already know what a companion beast is, right? Zhou Wen asked the city lord. What companion beast? The city lord was taken aback. Zhou Wen could tell that his expression wasn't faked as he looked at Liz and Lim in surprise. He was somewhat puzzled as to why they hadn't told the city lord about companion beasts. 
Without your permission, we won't leak anything regarding you. Liz and Liam said seriously. Very good. Joe Wen was very satisfied with their performance, so he got them to explain what companion beasts were. I'll bestow you a companion beast, giving you the ability to fight ordinary dimensional creatures. Joe Wen said after the city lord got a better understanding. Your devilish excellency, can you bestow a companion beast to my clansmen? To Joe Wen's surprise, the city lord said such words. Why? Joe Wen asked the city lord. Because I'm already old and don't have much time to live. Your Excellency, you are giving us hope. I hope to leave it to the most promising youth in Regretless City. That will be our future, said the City Lord. All right, summon him over. Joe Wen nodded slightly. This City Lord was indeed not bad. At the very least, he wasn't a selfish person. Chapter 1564 Collision What's your name? Joe Wen asked the kneeling youth. Your devilish Excellency, my name is Cain. The youth looked at Joe Wen with anticipation. There was no fear in his eyes, only adoration. Cain? Joe Wen looked at the youth in front of him in a daze. He had delicate features. Although he was still a youth, he was extremely handsome. His facial features were well-defined, and one could tell that he would grow up to be a very handsome man in the future. Yes, your devilish excellency. My name is Cain, the youth repeated. It's probably just a coincidence, Joe Wen thought. Joe Wen wasn't unfamiliar with the name Cain. In the Bible, there were also people who said that he was the ancestor of evil. Others said he was the ancestor of vampires. However, Cain was unlikely to be the son of Adam and Eve. This youth's seniority was clearly much lower. It was impossible for him to be the son of Adam and Eve. Furthermore, if he was really Cain, he was likely an evil person. The city lord wouldn't treat him as the hope of regretless city, much less offer him the companion beast. Cain, I'll bestow you a companion beast. I hope you can use it to protect your home, family, and friends. Don't disappoint the city lord's expectations of you, Joan said. Yes, your devilish excellency. I'll abide by your teachings. The youth looked at Joe Wen with admiration as he listened attentively. Joe Wen originally wanted to give the golden battle god to the city lord. The terror grade golden battle god was also a long-range offensive companion beast. In the future, he would have a chance of hunting some mythical dimensional creatures. Slowly, he might have a chance of improving the lives of the humans in Regretless City. However, when he saw the youth and heard his name, Joe Wen suddenly had an idea. He called Grim Demon out again. What do you want? Getting me to return one moment and wanting me to be out the next. Grim Demon shouted unhappily. Give me a terror great ancient snake companion egg. Joe Wen extended his hand in front of Grim Demon. How could I have that? Grim Demon shook his head. Joe Wen stared at Grim Demon and didn't say another word. Grim Demon forced a smile and said, I really don't. Don't look at me like that. I really don't have one. If you don't believe me, search. Finally, Grim Demon took out a terror grade ancient snake companion egg as though it was a magic trick and placed it in Joe Wen's hand. I'm downright unlucky to have encountered you. Grim Demon grumbled as he returned to the demonic sword, ignoring Joe Wen's subsequent calls. Joe Wen hatched the ancient snake companion egg and glanced at the kneeling youth before transferring it to him. With his epic strength, it was impossible for him to incubate a terror grade companion beast. This was the only way for him to possess a terror grade companion beast. Your devilish excellency. The youth took in the information transmitted to him by the ancient snake companion beast. He was immediately pleasantly surprised as he looked at Joe when with even more admiration. Good luck. With that said, Joe when turned to Liz and Liam and transferred the two fire runic divine armor queens to them. Master. Liz and Liam were pleasantly surprised. Put them on and leave with me. You need their strength. Joe when said. Liz and Liam summoned their fire runic divine armor queens. Armor burning with flames enveloped their bodies. Amidst the flickering flames, their petite bodies were accentuated by the armor, making them look like succubi from hell. The city lord and the youth looked at the two sisters in a daze, as though they didn't know them. Let's go! Zhou Wen carried demonic neonate and led the two sisters to the cube. Zhou Wen and company walked into the cube. Under Zhou Wen's orders, they dripped their blood and activated the cube. They vanished, having instantly been teleported away by the cube. The people of Regretless City knelt in front of the cube and worshipped it. Some even cried as they called out to the Devil King. When he arrived at Dubhi Palace, Zhou Wen immediately looked at Liz and Liam. Seeing their armor burning with raging flames, he stored them in the chaos space straight away. Only he stood in front of Dubhi Palace and looked at its door. The chaos egg around him had already appeared. The cubes all over the world lit up at the same time. Everyone's eyes were immediately attracted by this commotion. The various factions had been paying attention to the cube situation. When they saw the cube light up, 
people immediately began filming. However, when they saw the scene on the cube, they couldn't help but be stunned. What's going on? Xiao Luchuan, who was a guest at the Zhang family residence, said with a strange expression when he saw the projection on the cube. Zhang Chuanqiu, who was accompanying Xiao Luchuan, had a strange expression. It wasn't just them. Everyone in the Federation was surprised and puzzled. On the cube screen stood a person, and an egg the height of a person floating in the air. Everyone knew that person. He was Saint Jiu Yong, who had previously cleared Dubhi Palace and obtained first place. However, many people didn't know what the egg was. Ordinary people might not know, but Zhang Chuanqiu, Xiao Luchuan, and others who were more familiar with Zhou Wen recognized that the egg was Zhou Wen's ability. Zhou Wen was undoubtedly inside. When did Zhou Wen mix with the Holy Land? Xiao Luchuan said in puzzlement. He wouldn't. Zhang Chuanqiu shook his head and said, I reckon it's a coincidence. He entered the cube dungeon at the same time as Jiu Yang. Isn't this too much of a coincidence? Furthermore, will this work? Xiao Luchuan wasn't sure either. It wasn't just Xiao Luchuan who didn't believe it. Zhou Wen also found it unbelievable. Just as he put the sisters in and summoned the chaos egg, he saw a figure appear not far away. Isn't it said that only four people can enter this cube dimensional zone at a time? Why can others enter? Zhou Wen looked at Jiu Yang in puzzlement. Jiu Yang looked at Zhou Wen in equal puzzlement. The three people who had entered with him had already turned to dust. It was impossible for anyone to be here. Furthermore, he had never seen the egg in front of him. Strange, why are there other creatures here? Jiu Yang frowned as he stared at the chaos egg. Just as everyone was feeling puzzled, the cube suddenly flashed. A line of words appeared. Two groups of creatures activated the cube at the same time. PDP mode activated. Zhou Wen and Jiu Yang also saw the glowing words floating in the air. Although there was no deeper explanation, they could roughly guess that the two groups could fight in the dimensional zone. They might even have to kill each other. Chuan Chiu, this isn't good. Zhou Wen was actually so unlucky to encounter Jiu Yang. A place like Dubhi Palace is basically Jiu Yang's home ground. He has already cleared it once, and now he's here again. It's highly likely that he has the confidence to kill Star Lord Ravidus Wolf and snatch first place. Zhou Wen is in trouble. I hope he doesn't realize that it's Zhou Wen. The Holy Land doesn't have a good impression of Zhou Wen. They will definitely want to kill him. Xiao Luchuan was secretly worried for Zhou Wen. Chapter 1565 Unlucky Egg Zhou Wen and Jiu Yang stared at each other. Although they didn't know the rules of the PDP match, they could guess that the two of them were definitely opposing competitors. Finishing off the opponent was definitely not wrong. Jiu Yang didn't know that the Chaos Egg belonged to Zhou Wen, nor did he know what it was. However, he had a natural advantage in a place like Dubhi Palace. With the Sun God armor, killing Star Lord Ravenous Wolf was a possibility, so he naturally wouldn't retreat. Zhou Wen actually didn't know Jiu Yang because he hadn't watched him when he cleared the level. In Regretless City, there wasn't any internet to read the news, so he didn't know Jiu Yang. All he knew was that there was such a person on the rankings. Zhou Wen saw that Jiu Yang was a human and didn't wish to kill him. After all, he had only come this time to return through the teleportation nexus. He had no intention of rushing up the rankings, so he ignored Jiu Yang and went straight for Dubhi Palace's door. Wait! Jiu Yang suddenly shouted at him. What's the matter? Zhou Wen asked Jiu Yang. Are you human? Jiu Yang was slightly taken aback when he heard Zhou Wen's voice. He imagined that there would be a high-level dimensional creature inside the Chaos Egg, but his voice sounded human. So what if I am? Zhou Wen asked. Zhou Wen's answer immediately excited the Federation citizens. Very few humans could enter Dovey Palace. Now, many people were guessing who the human in the Chaos Egg was, and if he was a human with a guardian. Although humans with guardians were pure humans, they weren't as welcomed as humans who took mythical serums. Saints like Jiu Yang who came from the Holy Land were even more unpopular. People still had some fantasies before they saw who the person inside the Chaos Egg was. They hoped that it was a human who had relied on his own abilities to rush into Dubhi Palace, and not a human who had borrowed the power of a guardian. As a human, I'll give you a way out. Follow me and don't do anything, Jiu Yang said to Zhou Wen. Everyone understood what Jiu Yang meant. If Zhou Wen were to vie for the rankings with him, Zhou Wen would die. If he didn't compete with him and followed his every order, he would still live. Everyone looked at Zhou Wen and waited for his answer. Although many people felt that fighting Zhou Yang in a place like Dovey Palace was no different from courting death, most people still hoped that they could fight. After all, it was human nature to enjoy spectacles. All right. Zhou Wen agreed immediately. He had no intention of competing with Zhou Yang for the ranking. It was meaningless because if he didn't clear the Big Dipper Instance dungeon, he wouldn't be able to obtain the rewards. There was no point in competing. Now, 
All Zhou Wen wanted to do was quickly return to Earth. He didn't want to invite trouble. Zhou Wen's answer left Zhou Yang slightly taken aback. He never expected the other party to immediately cower. However, since he had cowered, Zhou Yang didn't have any intention of killing him. He glanced at Zhou Wen and said, I hope you know what you should and shouldn't do. Otherwise, bear the consequences yourself. With that said, Zhou Yang walked towards Dove He Palace's door. How boring. He gave up just like that. He's not a man at all. That's a wise decision. To fight Zhou Yang in a place like Dove He Palace when he has the power of the sun god is no different from throwing an egg at a rock. It's no wonder he wears an egg on the outside. He's just an unlucky egg. It wasn't easy for him to attempt the cube's rankings. I reckon he only wanted to rush to the teleportation nexus, but he ended up so unlucky. He activated the cube at the same time as Saint Jiu Yang and entered some PvP mode. Thankfully Jiu Yang is kind. Otherwise, he can only blame it on his bad luck if he is killed. Ha ha, unlucky egg. How apartment? Soon, the words unlucky egg spread online. Looking at Jiu Wen, who was floating in the air and entering Dubhi Palace behind Jiu Yang, they came to believe that the words unlucky egg suited him. Although it's a little embarrassing, it's better than fighting Jiu Yang in a place like Dubhi Palace. It won't be too late to settle scores with Jiu Yang after he returns to Earth. Xiao Luchuan said with a smile as he heaved a sigh of relief. Zhang Junqiu looked at the chaos egg in puzzlement and muttered to himself. Strange. What's strange? Xiao Luchuan looked at Zhang Chuanqiu and asked. I know Zhou Wen quite well. With his personality, there's no reason for him not to vie for first place unless he's not attempting to clear the level. Although Jiu Yang is powerful and has a natural advantage in Dubhi Palace, Zhou Wen is probably aiming for first place if he's there. He has to defeat Jiu Yang no matter what. Since he has to defeat Jiu Yang, is there a need for him to compromise? Zhang Chuanqiu said. That makes sense. Xiao Luchuan thought for a moment and felt that Zhang Juanxiu was right. Back when Zhou Wen fought Xia Zhou Huang in that extremely difficult situation, Zhou Wen didn't show a hint of cowardice. According to what you said, if he isn't trying for the rankings, why did he go to Dubhi Palace? Xia Luchuan said after some thought. You'd have to ask him in person. Zhang Chuanqiu had no idea either. They couldn't guess that Zhou Wen was just using it as a waypoint. Zhou Wen followed behind Zhou Yang. Just as he entered Dubhi Palace, Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf released a terrifying blast of light that blasted at Jiu Yang. The sun god armor on Jiu Yang's body emitted a divine glow like the sun. When the power of the light blast landed on him, not only did it fail to injure him, but it also made the sun god armor even stronger. This person's guardian is rather interesting. Zhou Wen couldn't help but be curious when he saw how magical the sun god armor was. It was much stronger than his fire runic divine armor queen. He sized up Jiu Yang and the sun god armor from the chaos egg. Zhou Wen had no idea that the Sun God armor was created by the Sun God Holy Temple. It was the strongest sun type guardian that ordinary guardians could compare with. Under the Sun God Holy Temple's full efforts, it was already a calamity grade guardian. It wasn't easy for the Sun God Holy Temple to chance upon Jiu Yang, who was most compatible with the Sun God guardian, before bestowing it upon him. Jiu Yang's status in the Sun God Holy Temple was equivalent to Zhao's status in the Trajectory Holy Temple. Jiu Yang didn't disappoint the Sun God Holy Temple's expectations. The last time he cleared Dubby Palace, the Sun God Guardian was still at the human realm. In just a short span of time, it had already reached the Hell level. Apart from having the full support of the Sun God Holy Temple, the main reason for that was that Jiu Yang's talent and life providence were highly compatible with the Sun God Guardian. Jiu Yang's trip here was to kill Star Lord Ravidus Wolf. He stood in the blast of light as the Sun God armor on his body shone like a blazing sun. He walked toward Star Lord Ravidus Wolf against the terrifying blast of light. Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf seemed to sense the pressure as he stood up from his throne. Chapter 1566 Who's the Unlucky One? Zhou Wen originally wanted to leave through the teleportation nexus, but when he saw that Jiu Yang had already begun fighting Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf, he decided to stand in a corner by the door and watch their battle. Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf was a martial repository. No matter what technique he used, it appeared perfect and flawless. It could even be considered stunning. I never knew that it could be used this way. Those who could truly understand Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's battle couldn't help but praise him from time to time. Although Zhou Wen had already seen it once, he still found it stunning when he saw it again. Jiu Yang wasn't at a disadvantage when fighting Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. He wasn't as stunning as Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. His every move was standard. They didn't provide any surprises. It was like the sun rising in the morning every day before setting in the evening. It was never absent, nor did it bring about surprises. He was a man that didn't bring about pleasant surprises or subvert expectations. Yet, 
His simple techniques were on par with Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. No matter how shocking Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's attacks were, it was difficult for him to truly suppress Zhu Yang. They were evenly matched. What was even more terrifying was that due to the Sun God armor, the high temperature radiation that Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf emitted made the Sun God armor's power grow stronger. Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf had the upper hand for a short period of time, but over time, Zhou Yang would definitely hold the advantage. As expected of a man with Sun God, he is really powerful. The four dinosaur kings defeated Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf four against one. Zhou Yang alone can fight Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. Furthermore, it looks like he has a chance of winning. This is the difference. In comparison, unlucky egg is. Zhou Wen couldn't hear the discussions on the internet. Even if he could hear it, he wouldn't take it to heart. He was watching with relish. This person should be Saint Zhou Yang on the rankings, right? I never expected that such a figure would pop up from the Holy Land in such a short period. Zhou Wen watched carefully from the side. Most of the saints who came from the Holy Land were enemies. If he could learn more about them now, it would be knowing himself and his enemy before they really fought in the future. After watching for a while, Zhou Wen felt a heartfelt admiration for Zhou Yang. Zhou Wen had seen many guardians. The humans who had contracted guardians were basically focused on developing the abilities of guardians. They studied how to maximize the strength of the guardians. Of course, Zhou Yang did the same. However, other than that, he didn't give up on his cultivation. His strength came from a guardian, but his technique and concepts had also reached an extremely high level. Even without the guardian's power to support him, his technique and concept remained top-notch. Where did the Holy Land find these people? Figures like Xiao and Zhou Yang are all talented among us humans. What a pity, Zhou Wen felt a little regretful. Unfortunately, these people were saints from the Holy Land. They were different from Jiang Yan and the other guardians. Jiang Yan and the others had only contracted guardians. As long as the guardians were on their side, they could completely control their fates and not be controlled by the dimension. The saints of the Holy Land weren't that simple. Even if their guardians were willing to follow them, it would probably be difficult for them to betray the Holy Land. In any case, Zhou Wen had never heard of the Holy Land having any traitors. Previously, and Tianzue had captured a few saints, but he had failed to dig out anything. Even if there were saints who were willing to join him, they were later proven to be spies. The Holy Land's control over saints definitely exceeded the imagination of ordinary people. After watching for a while, Zhou Wen knew that with the Guardian's strength, Zhou Yang would likely win in the end. There was no point in continuing watching. Zhou Wen floated towards the teleportation nexus, planning on leaving Dovey Palace and returning to Earth. Just as he floated forward a few meters, before Zhou Wen could approach the teleportation nexus, he suddenly saw a light flash from the throne. Another Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf had appeared. After the second Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf appeared, he immediately charged down without a word. As Zhou Wen was relatively far from the newly appeared Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf, the newly appeared Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf pounced to Zhou Yang, who was relatively close to him. Zhou Yang, who had already gained a slight advantage in a one-on-one -on -one battle, was immediately thrown into danger when he was besieged by two Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves. What's going on? Why are there two Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves? Previously, the four dinosaur kings attacked Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf together, but there wasn't a second Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. How can that be the same? The four dinosaur kings are a team, and Unlucky Egg and Zhou Yang are actually two different teams. It's normal for two Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves to appear. Zhou Yang is being besieged by two Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves. It looks like he won't be able to last much longer. Why are the two Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves attacking Zhou Yang and not that unlucky egg? Everyone discussed spiritedly. Zhou Wen was somewhat surprised. He never expected such a development. It wasn't just Zhou Wen who hadn't expected it. Zhou Yang was caught by surprise. Although the Sun God armor could restrain Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's high-temperature radiation blast, Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's other strengths were no trifling matter. Furthermore, Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's combat prowess was indomitable. Zhou Yang could handle a one-on-one -on -one battle, but against two, he immediately fell into a perilous situation. Even if he wanted to rush towards the teleportation nexus, there was no chance. The second Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's combat strength wasn't weaker than the first. The two Star-Lords worked together flawlessly, as they constantly suppressed Zhou Yang. Bang! Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf punched Zhou Yang's shoulder. Streams of light over the Sun God armor shattered as Zhou Yang was thrown a few steps back. Thankfully, Zhou Yang's foundation was sufficiently powerful. The Sun God armor was indeed powerful. This punch only slightly injured Zhou Yang, without leaving serious injuries. Zhou Yang stabilized his body, and dodged the pursuit of another Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. He threw out both fists, and exchanged countless punches, with the first Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. Light blasts and shockwaves erupted continuously, 
causing the entire hall to rumble as though it was about to collapse. The two Star Lord ravenous wolves were like one. Jiu Yang retreated under their barrage of attacks. Ha ha, Jiu Yang is trapped in his own web. He never expected two Star Lord ravenous wolves to appear in the arena. From the way the Star Lord ravenous wolf appeared, if he had killed Zhou when outside, the second Star Lord ravenous wolf probably wouldn't have appeared. Xiao Luchuan said gloatingly. Zhang Chuenqiu said with a bitter smile. Jiu Yang might not have thought of it, but neither did we. Thankfully, Jiu Yang was ahead. Zhou Wen still has a chance of rushing into the teleportation nexus. Otherwise, he'll still be doomed when those two Star Lord Ravenous Wolves kill Zhou Yang. Chapter 1567 Tiger Soul General Appears Zhou Wen didn't plan on escaping. He was thinking about which companion beast to send. He originally didn't plan on fighting, but the situation made it clear that it was almost impossible for Zhou Yang to win. At most, he would severely injure Star Lord Ravenous Wolf or kill one in exchange for his life. It was a waste not to pick up such a bargain. After all, this was the Calamity Grade Star Lord Ravenous Wolf. In game, Zhou Wen might have to clear all the dungeons in the Big Dipper Instance dungeon before he would respawn again. Two of them had now appeared in real life. If a companion beast dropped, he would be making a killing. Zhou Wen planned on finishing off the two Star Lord Ravenous Wolves when Zhou Yang was at his wit's end. Which companion beast should I send? The Golden W Wireham Scissors makes it too obvious. It's more suitable to keep it as a trump card. After some thought, Zhou Wen planned on letting the Tiger Soul General, who had just advanced to the Calamity Grade fight. The Tiger Soul General was extremely suitable for the Big Dipper Dimensional Zone. He definitely needed it to appear in the future. It was only a matter of time. Furthermore, the Tiger Soul General's appearance was very different from before. Even people who had seen it in the past would definitely not recognize it. After all, ordinary people didn't have the ability to fuse companion beasts, nor could they imagine that a companion beast would undergo such a huge change. They wouldn't associate it with the same companion beast. At most, they would think that it was a companion beast of the same type. I'll let the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General get some training then. After all, it needed to gather strength ahead of time. Only then would it be unbeatable. Being at the human realm, it would have to waste time gathering strength to kill Star Lord Ravenous Wolf. After the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General appeared, it was struck by high temperature radiation and light blasts. The flames within his body immediately burned vigorously, as though something was swimming in its armor. Zhou Wen got the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General to stand beside him, while waiting for an opportunity to attack. The spectators were greatly surprised when they saw a companion beast appear beside Unlucky Egg. They couldn't help but size it up. Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General now looked pretty cool. Its entire appearance was extremely imposing, like a mechanical warrior riding a mechanical tiger. Its body was still burning with terrifying flames. In its hand, was an odd-looking spear that seemed high-tech. Its entire appearance was like a high-tech mecha knight from the future world. What companion beast is that? It looks very cool. What's the point of looking good? Don't you see that unlucky egg doesn't dare let it attack? Currently no companion beast owned by humans can fight a calamity-grade creature, right? Since it can withstand the high-temperature radiation, it should be at the terror grade. From the flames on his body, I can tell that he's a fire elemental companion beast. It's not surprising that he can withstand high temperature radiation. Professor Gu, what do you think of the companion bee summoned by Unlucky Egg? Can you determine its level? The host, Su Yi, chatted with Professor Gu on the program. Based on his appearance and the abilities he displayed, he should be at the terror grade at the very least. However, the possibility of him being at the calamity grade isn't high, Professor Gu said. Why? Is it because humans do not have calamity grade companion beasts yet? Su Yi asked in puzzlement. Professor Gu smiled and said, There are already calamity-grade companion beasts among humans. It's something I've seen with my own eyes, but it's not the time to reveal which companion beast. However, I'm certain that it's not the one on the screen. Furthermore, if Unlucky Egg has a calamity-grade companion beast that can fight Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf, he wouldn't have tried heading for the teleportation nexus. Previously, he had already decided to give up and leave. This means that he doesn't have the confidence to fight. Therefore, I'm guessing that the companion beast isn't at the calamity grade. It's most likely at the terror grade. I see. Since it's only a terror grade companion beast and can't fight Star Lord Ravenous Wolf, what's the point of summoning it now? Sui asked again. It's naturally difficult for a terror grade companion beast to fight a calamity grade creature. However, if Saint Jiuyang and the two Star Lord Ravenous Wolves fight to an internecine outcome, he might still stand a chance. Professor Gu said. Are you saying that Unlucky Egg wants to pick up the spoils? Is that possible? Sui said in surprise. Although the chances aren't high, if he succeeds, he might be able to kill two calamity-grade creatures in one fell swoop. 
If he's lucky, he will be elevated to success once a companion egg drops. After all, such an opportunity can't be encountered at any time. Without Saint Jio Yang, there wouldn't be such a chance. It's normal for some people to be blinded by huge benefits, Professor Gu said. Then can unlucky egg clinch this rare opportunity? Let's wait and see. Sui was also very curious about the outcome. The people watching the program were crazily commenting on this matter. Most people believe that Unlucky Egg was taking too much risk. The chances of success were too low, so the best choice was to take the opportunity to teleport away. Otherwise, he might very well die there. Bang! Bang! Two consecutive attacks landed on Jiu Yang, causing the Sun God armor on his body to dim. Cracks crisscrossed the armor. Must I use that power? Jiu Yang felt a little bitter. He had always been unwilling to use that power because it made him feel like a puppet without any value. Therefore, he would rather use his own techniques to fight than use that power. But at this point, he no longer had a choice. Do you need help? Jiu Yang suddenly heard a voice and couldn't help but be taken aback. Although he had been fighting with all his might, he didn't give up on monitoring Zhou when to prevent him from causing trouble while he was fighting. Jiu Yang had also seen Zhou when summoned the Tiger Soul General. Like Professor Gu and most people, he believed that Zhou Wen wanted to take advantage of the situation when he and the Star Lord Ravenous Wolves were mutually injured. Although Zhou Yang knew that he wouldn't give Zhou Wen such a chance, he never expected Zhou Wen to say such words. Zhou Yang's heart stirred as he temporarily gave up on using that power. As he fought bitterly, he asked, How are you going to help me? Get out of the way! Zhou Wen said, as he ordered the fiend armored tiger soul general to charge at the Star Lord Ravenous Wolves. This place was very suitable for the fiend armored tiger soul general. During this period of time, the power accumulated by the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General had reached a level that surprised Zhou Wen. The high temperature and energy blasts of Dubhi, as well as Star Lord Ravitus Wolves' blasts of light, gave the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General time to quickly accumulate the energy of the demonic flames in its body. Now, the terrifying demonic flames in the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General's body were like a bomb that could explode at any moment. Chapter 1568 The Might of the Tiger Soul General Flames burned over the fiend armored tiger soul general as he charged at the Star Lord Ravenous Wolves like an unbridled horse. Everyone was taken aback. They originally imagined that Unlucky Egg merely wanted to pick up the spoils, but now it clearly wasn't time. What is he doing? Does he really want to help me by getting the companion beast to rush forward at this moment? Zhou Yang was somewhat puzzled. He didn't know what the other party was thinking. He highly doubted that he would really help him. However, the fiend armored tiger soul general had already charged forward. As Zhou Yang was momentarily at a loss as to what Zhou Wen meant, he failed to immediately work in tandem with the fiend armored tiger soul general. The two Star Lord Ravenous Wolves attacked the tiger soul general from both sides. Their fists carried terrifying high temperatures and radiation, as well as powerful explosive power. The fiend armored tiger soul general was attacked from both sides. It looked like it couldn't deal with the attacks. In fact, the fiend armored tiger soul general couldn't be bothered with the attacks. He ignored the Star Lord Ravenous Wolf on the left. The spear in his hand carried a violent purple flame as it struck at Star Lord Ravenous Wolf on the right. This attack risked one's life. There was no technique to speak of. It depended on who was faster and stronger. The fiend armored tiger soul general was clearly a little slower. The Star Lord Ravenous Wolves were a little faster and were relatively more agile. The fist of the one on the left struck it. The Star Lord Ravenous Wolf on the right dodged the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General's spear. After getting close, his fist also struck it. For punches struck the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General's body simultaneously. Immediately, blinding light and a shockwave that resembled a supernova erupted. Even Zhou Wen and Zhou Yang found the light blinding. They could hardly see anything as the shockwave sent their bodies retreating. The humans watching the cube's live broadcast found it even harder to see what was happening. The screen was filled with blinding light. From the looks of it, that companion beast is doomed. To be struck by two Star Lord Ravenous Wolves at the same time, even Zhou Yang can't withstand such destructive power, right? Most people had such thoughts. Such a terrifying attack was probably unbearable even for a calamity-grade companion beast, much less a terror-grade companion beast. When the dazzling light gradually weakened, everyone immediately widened their eyes. They saw the Star Lord Ravenous Wolves' fists strike the Tiger Soul General from both sides. However, the Tiger Soul General remained standing proudly. The armor on his body wasn't shattered by their strikes. Instead, the flames in his body looked even more turbulent. The beautiful patterns on his armor became even more dazzling. Boom! The Tiger Soul General waved the spear in his hand and swept it from left to right. The Star Lord Ravenous Wolf on the right reached out to grab the spear, but the moment his palm touched it, he immediately felt a huge force repel him 
as his body involuntarily flew backward and slammed into the Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf on the left. The two Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves immediately collided and tumbled out together. The tiger soul General charged forward on his mount. The spear in his hand danced like a dragon as he charged at the two Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves. Everyone was already stunned. The tiger soul General was fighting two alone, but it continued charging forward. The Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves' attacks only sent the tiger soul General retreating, but their armors would crack whenever the tiger soul General struck them. The tiger soul general hardly dodged the Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves' attacks. Relying on its powerful physique and defense, it sent the two Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves into a retreating defeat. This cannot be happening, right? That companion beast can actually ignore the Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves' attacks? This is crazy! What companion beast is that? It's ridiculously strong. Humans actually have such powerful companion beasts. Holy sh asterisk t, who is this unlucky egg? His companion beast is too amazing. The tiger soul general charged at the Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves, like a ferocious general fighting a mere foot soldier. The two Star-Lords could only constantly dodge. It was difficult for them to fight it head-on. Zhou watched in a daze, as the tiger soul general fought the Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves. This situation completely exceeded his expectations. He was momentarily unsure if he should continue fighting. After some hesitation, Zhou gave up on the idea of charging forward to fight. If he were to fight now, it would be him taking advantage of Zhou Wen. Jiu Yang clearly felt that it was beneath him to do such a thing. Who is he? Jiu Yang stared at the chaos egg as his eyes emitted a sun-like glow. He wanted to see who was inside, but he couldn't see anything. Even if his eyes could see through things, it was impossible for him to see through the chaos egg. The tiger soul general was like a devil general from hell, as it constantly charged forward. The star-lord ravenous wolves, who had been arrogant and unbridled, appeared to be on the brink of collapse under the tiger soul general's onslaught. It was like a battle between a child and an adult. They could hardly put up a defense. Even Joe would never expected the fiend armored tiger soul general to be that ferocious. He was clearly at the human realm, while the Star Lord ravenous wolves were likely at the hell level. Ignoring the difference in level, it was truly terrifying for it to completely suppress two Star Lord ravenous wolves in a one on two situation. Joe would knew very well that the reason the fiend armored tiger soul general was so strong was partly that of the environment in Dubhi Palace. Also, the Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves' abilities were high temperature in nature, so they were actually restrained by the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General. The Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General became stronger the more it fought. In the beginning, the Star-Lord Ravenous Wolves' attacks could still push it back a distance. Later on, they could hardly push him back by more than two steps. Crack! The Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General was like a ferocious tiger out in the wild. With the violent flames, he penetrated a Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's chest and nailed him to the ground. The other Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf brandished his fists crazily from behind and punched the back of the Tiger Soul General's head again and again. However, the violent attacks failed to even crack the Tiger Soul General's helmet. The Tiger Soul General swung his hand backward and grabbed the Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf by the neck and lifted him in front of him. Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf used his hands and feet to attack the Tiger Soul General with all his might. However, the Tiger Soul General seemed oblivious to his explosive strength. With a sudden squeeze of his palm, he snapped Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's neck. A head fell from the neck and the body lost its vitality as its limbs went limp. The Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf, who had been nailed to the ground, struggled to get up, but he was held down by the spear. The Tiger Soul General glanced at him and flicked the spear in his hand, lifting the Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf and sending him flying. While Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf was still in midair, the spearhead of the Tiger Soul General's spear shot out tracers like a Gatling's barrel. The shooting star-like tracers constantly struck Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf in the air. This continued for dozens of seconds before his body exploded. Chapter 1569 Here comes the companion beast. A companion egg dropped from Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's shattered body. Joe immediately saw the companion egg thanks to his good eyesight. He got the tiger soul general to grab it and return to his side. A calamity grade companion egg. Many people watching the live broadcast were dumbfounded. There's no justice in this world. He already has such a powerful companion beast, but now, he has Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf drop. Could it be like that old adage, the rich get richer? Damn it, why would a companion egg drop? Why is Zhou Wen so lucky with companion beasts? Among the top human powerhouses, he's probably the only one who can fight simply using companion beasts. Xiao Luchuan also wailed. Zhang Chuanqiu smiled and said, This is fate. You can't be envious. A Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf companion beast. Professor Gu, this should be the first calamity grade companion egg that the Federation citizens know of, right? Sui asked Professor Gu. Professor Gu still seemed to be in a daze. 
Only when he heard Su Yi's question did he snap to his senses. He said expressionlessly, It's indeed the first calamity-grade companion egg that the Federation citizens have seen with their own eyes. However, to people who already have such powerful companion beasts, the Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf companion beast can only be considered icing on the cake. That companion beast is rather powerful. Not only is it at the calamity grade, but it's also not an ordinary one. The screen was filled with sarcastic comments while Professor Gu commented. Professor Gu, didn't you insist that the companion beast is definitely at the terror grade? Elder Gu, that's not what you said just now. And Luoyang's and family, and Sheng said with a look of delight. Young Master Wen's companion beast luck is really good. He has another calamity grade companion beast. With just his companion beasts, he might be invincible in the Federation. Invincible in the Federation? Don't speak too soon. And Tian's was said with a cold snort. Li Xian and company were envious. Zhou Wen really has it easy when it comes to companion beasts. This doesn't seem easy at all, right? Female sword immortal Qin Jin said. It's far from easy. Coach is perhaps the only one in the Federation to be capable of defeating two Star Lord ravenous wolves with only companion beasts. Ming Xiao said with admiration. Another heated debate about companion beasts stirred in the Federation. In recent years, although people had been using companion beasts, people believed that they were ultimately inferior to guardians. This was because top humans basically used guardians to fight. Otherwise, they took mythical serums. Although companion beasts were used, they were not the main force in high-end battles. They only provided support in combat. It was very rare for someone like Sho when to produce such results purely using a companion beast. Or rather, he was the only one at present. People once again realized that top-notch companion beasts weren't weaker than any creature. Xiao Yang looked at the fiend armored tiger soul general with a strange expression. This was the first time he had seen such a powerful companion beast. Although he also had the ability to hunt calamity grade creatures, he didn't focus on hunting dimensional creatures and obtaining companion beasts. This was because he always felt that his strength was key. Companion beasts were like guardians, external forces. However, after seeing the fiend armored tiger soul general today, he had to admit that such external forces were indeed a little strong. Shouwen wasn't in the mood to fantasize. He led the tiger soul general towards the teleportation nexus and quickly vanished. When Jiu Yang saw Zhou Wen leave, he imagined that he had teleported away, so he wasn't in the mood to stay any longer. He chose to teleport away and return to the cube. However, when Jiu Yang looked back at the cube, he was surprised to discover that Zhou Wen hadn't left the star palace. The cube's footage continued. The chaos egg and the tiger soul general were still on the cube's screen. However, the scene was no longer Dubhi Palace, but another star palace he had never seen before. What's that? What's going on? Another star palace. It looks different from Dubhi Palace. Isn't it over after killing Star Lord Ravenous Wolf? Why is there another star palace? People watched the cube's live broadcast in surprise as they guessed what was going on. As for some people with more imagination, they seemed to have guessed what it was. Could it be that the dimensional zone this time isn't just Dubhi Palace, but a serial dimensional zone? No way. In that case, don't tell me the Big Dipper has a dimensional zone for each star. Only by clearing seven dimensional zones will it be considered true clearance. That must be the case. Do you still remember? After clearing the Venusian dimensional zone, there were companion eggs that could be obtained. However, nothing appeared after clearing Dubhi Palace. That means that they didn't really clear it. This star palace is ranked behind Dubhi Palace. It should be Merak Star Palace, right? In that case, the dimensional creature here should be Star Lord Titan Gate, right? There were still many talents in the Federation. Many people had already guessed it correctly. However, there were already people who began to worry for Zhou Wen. This was because the Merak Star Palace was an unknown star palace. The dimensional creature inside was also unknown. If Unlucky Egg encountered an accident, because he wasn't familiar with the dimensional creature inside, it wouldn't be worth it. Old John, you're impressive. Your guess is really accurate. This is indeed a serial dimensional zone. The second star palace is undoubtedly Merak. Xiao Luchuan gave Zhang Chuanqiu a thumbs up. It's just basic inference, Zhang Chuanqiu said. However, isn't Zhou Wen being a little too rash? The abilities and stats of the dimensional creature in Merak Star Palace are definitely different from Star Lord Ravenous Wolf. If he takes the risk to enter, it will be a serious loss for us humans if anything happens. Professor Gu also made a similar statement. This person is clearly letting it get to his head. He thinks that a powerful companion beast can resolve all problems. This is a common mistake. Different companion beasts should be used against different dimensional creatures. While Professor Gu was still explaining in detail, the Tiger Soul General had already rushed through the Merak Star Palace's door, heading straight into the Star Palace. 
Others might not understand Marek Star Palace, but Zhou Wen knew it very well. Star-Lord Titan Gate was very strong, but he was only equal to Star-Lord Ravis Wolf. The Tiger Soul General had already accumulated enough strength. He was much stronger than when he killed Star-Lord Ravis Wolf. The current Tiger Soul General was enough to instantly kill Star-Lord Titan Gate. The huge Star-Lord Titan Gate stood up. His body made the people watching the live stream gasp. Compared to him, the Tiger Soul General was like an ant versus an elephant. It looked much weaker. Chapter 1570 Egg Sovereign while everyone was still reeling in shock from Star-Lord Titan Gate's powerful aura and size, the fiend-armored Tiger Soul General had already rushed over. Star-Lord Titan Gate opened his mouth, but before he could release the sound wave, the spear emitted a terrifying flaming bullet. Rumble. The meteor-like purple flaming bullets spewed into Star-Lord Titan Gate's mouth. In a few seconds, his head exploded. The huge body collapsed like a mountain, shaking the entire Star Palace for a while. Different companion beasts target. Yes. Before Professor Gu could finish his sentence, he couldn't close his mouth. The entire Federation fell silent for a few seconds before the internet broke out into a frenzy. The screen was flooded with all sorts of messages, blocking the live broadcast footage. He's practically invincible. 2F asterisk King Strong. Your Excellency Egg Sovereign, please accept my bow. I'm willing to use my 10 years of lifespan to exchange for that companion beast. Egg Sovereign is awesome. Brother Tiger is awesome. Many people on the internet like to give all sorts of nicknames. Soon, Unlucky Egg from before was replaced by Egg Sovereign. They didn't know the name of the Tiger Soul General, but from the aura that resembled a ferocious tiger out in the wild, and how the mount that the creature sat on looked like a tiger, they gave him the nickname. Brother Tiger. There were many other nicknames, but these two were most acceptable by the masses. They quickly spread. Egg Sovereign, continue clearing the levels. Clear all the Big Dipper dimensional zones. Brother Tiger is so impressive. What dimensional creature can't he kill? Finish it. Xiao Lu Chuan and Zhang Chuanqiu exchanged looks and saw the surprise in each other's eyes. Zhou Wen's companion beast is ridiculously strong, Xiao Lu Chuan said. It's indeed a little ridiculous. Zhang Chuanqiu suddenly thought of something. He picked up his phone and called Zhang Yuji. Yuji, don't you want to go out for a walk? Xiao Lu Chuan glanced at Zhang Chuanqiu in contempt as he thought smugly to himself, you. Zhang Chuanqiu claimed to be good at divination. So that's all you amount to. Looks like I'm the wise one. I've long sent little you to guide city. Zhou Yang was also shocked by the strength of the fiend armored tiger soul general. Although he didn't know what level Star Lord Titan Gate was, being behind Star Lord Ravenous Wolf meant that it was impossible for him to be weaker than Star Lord Ravenous Wolf. Yet, he was instantly killed. It wasn't because Star Lord Titan Gate was weak, but because the tiger soul general was too powerful. Jiu Yang didn't look at the Tiger Soul General again. Instead, he looked at the Chaos Egg and muttered to himself. Interesting. I really want to know what level that person is at to possess such a powerful companion beast. Zhou Wen didn't care. He got the Tiger Soul General to continue blasting apart Star Lord Titan Gate's body as a few crystals dropped. One of them was crystalline like jade. There was Star Lord Titan Gate's shadow inside, a skill crystal. Zhou Wen didn't stand on ceremony as he got the Tiger Soul General to pick up all the crystals before rushing into the teleportation nexus. Many people were looking forward to the Egg Emperor and Brother Tiger clearing the seven levels and completing the Big Dipper Dimensional Zone. However, they were disappointed. Zhou Wen teleported out of the Dimensional Zone with the Tiger Soul General. He wasn't stupid. The Third Star Palace's Star Lord wasn't someone who could be resolved with brute force. Although the Tiger Soul General was strong, it was useless against that Star Lord. The stronger the destructive power of the Tiger Soul General, the faster he would die. After Zhou Wen teleported out, the cube screen switched to a ranking. A new name was placed first. Tiger Soul General. That must be the name of that companion beast, right? When people saw the name, they were first taken aback before they reacted. Tiger Soul General is so strong. Why didn't he let him continue clearing the levels? Egg Sovereign is way too cowardly, isn't it? It's really a waste to have such a powerful companion beast follow him. Many people were displeased with Zhou when quitting at this moment. From their point of view, even if the Tiger Soul General couldn't clear the seven levels, it wouldn't be a problem for him to clear two or three more. It was a little cowardly to quit now. There was something else that surprised everyone. Although Zhou Yang didn't perform as well as Zhou Wen, he was already very strong. However, his name had vanished from the rankings. Originally, even if the Tiger Soul General entered the rankings, Zhou Yang would at most drop one spot. Now, his name had completely vanished. People guessed that it had something to do with the previous PvP mode. Jiu Yang himself had already seen the notification on the cube. 
as he had lost in the PvP mode, he would not be able to enter the dimensional zone through the cube for a month. Chiu Yang, why didn't you use that item? Holy God walked over from afar and arrived behind Chiu Yang. Greetings, Lord Holy God. Chiu Yang genuflected and bowed at Holy God. Answer me, Holy God said again. It was my oversight. I originally thought that I didn't need to use that item. I never expected such an accident to happen. Chiu Yang looked up and asked, Lord Holy God, do you know who that Egg Sovereign is? So what if I know? Holy God said indifferently. Lord Holy God, please inform him that I wish to meet him in person, said Jiu Yang. Sure, but I have a request. Bring him back to the Holy Land. If you can't do it, there's no need to know, said Holy God. Why do you need him to be brought back? Jiu Yang asked. Because he's an enemy of the Holy Land, said Holy God. He's Zhou Wen. Jiu Yang suddenly thought of something and blurted out. You aren't too stupid. According to the information we gathered previously, that egg-shaped ability is an ability that Zhou Wen once used. We haven't discovered anyone with a similar ability, so we are certain that it's him. Holy God said. Bring him back to the Holy Land. It's best if you can capture him alive. If you can't, bring back his corpse. Yes, Lord Holy God. After a moment of silence, Zhou Yang stood up and bowed before turning to leave. God fall. Holy God softly called out a name after seeing Jiu Yang disappear from his vision. Lord Holy God, what are your orders? A young man in gorgeous armor, who looked like a prince walked in front of Holy God and knelt down. Follow Jiu Yang secretly. If Jiu Yang doesn't complete the mission, you will take over, said Holy God. Yes, your excellency. I definitely won't disappoint you. The corners of God's fall's mouth curled up slightly as he revealed a strange smile. His handsome face made one shudder. You have another mission. Bring Zhou Wen's companion beast back, especially that tiger soul general. You have to bring it back. Holy God emphasized twice. Godfall answered with a smile. Lord Holy God, don't worry. This is what I'm best at. It won't just be the tiger soul general. I'll bring back all of Zhou Wen's companion beasts. Chapter 1571 Ravenous Wolf Ring After Zhou Wen came out of the teleportation nexus, he indeed arrived on Merak Star. Beside him was the cube. He would find himself back at the cube he used if he were to use it. Zhou Wen naturally didn't need to return. He directly used Singularity Universe to teleport back to Earth. I'm finally back. Zhou Wen couldn't help but heave a sigh of relief when he saw the familiar scenery. Although living outside didn't adversely affect him, he still felt comfortable at home. This was already within the range of Guide City, but it was still a distance from the city. Zhou Wen instant transmitted and returned to his yard. Old oh, Zhou, you're finally back, said Li Xian, who lived beside him, with a grin when he came over to check due to the commotion. It's only been a few days. You make it sound like I've been away for a few years. Nothing happened here, right? Zhou Wen said with a smile. With me around, what can happen? Li Xian seemed to think of something as he changed the topic and continued with a smile. I forgot. Something did happen. What is it? Zhou Wen wasn't flustered at all. Li Xian's tone didn't sound urgent. Xia Xian you came to guide city, Li Xian said. Why is she here? Zhou Wen was slightly taken aback. He had a deep impression of Xia Xian Yu. The demonic sword in demonic neonate's hand originally belonged to Xia Xian Yu. Furthermore, after what happened to Xia Jiu Huang, it was difficult not to remember her. The claim is that she's here to see if we can do some business. I think she's here for you. Otherwise, in this crappy place of ours, what business can the dignified eldest daughter of the Xia family do here? Li Xian nudged Zhou Wen with his elbow and said with a knowing expression. Aren't you still single? I think this eldest daughter of the Xia family is pretty good. Although she's a little older than you, she's beautiful. Besides, as the saying goes, a wife three years older than the husband ensures a richer life. What nonsense are you spouting? I've only met Xia Xianyu a few times. I'm not familiar with her at all. Zhou Wen was at a loss whether to laugh or cry. Li Xian chuckled and said, You'll soon get to know each other, and before you know it, you'll be betting her. Don't spout nonsense. It's not good if she hears you. Zhou Wen wasn't in the mood to waste his breath on Li Xian. He pondered and said, What do you think she's doing here? Is she friend or foe? My take is that she doesn't seem to have any ill intentions. I reckon the Xia family finds us promising and wants to make a bet ahead of time. Li Xian said, If that's the case, we can let her stay. If we really build a city in the future, we will definitely need to connect to other cities. The Xia family has a deep background and plenty of resources. It's not a bad choice to become partners. Zhou Wen had a good impression of the Xia siblings. She's been here for days. Do you want to meet her? Li Xian asked. Where is she? Zhou Wen felt that he should meet Xia Xianyu. 
It was best if he could clearly figure out why she was here. She's staying in a hotel in the city. I originally prepared a place for her to stay, but she said that she wanted to tour the area, so she didn't stay here. Li Xian paused before continuing. Recently, she has been circling the nearby dimensional zones. She's probably carrying out an inspection. All right, I'll do some packing now and find her later. As Zhou Wen spoke, he placed demonic neonate on the bed, took a shower, and changed his clothes. By the time Zhou Wen came out, Li Xian had already left. Although the city was nominally theirs, Li Xian had been the one worrying about various matters. Even if Zhou Wen wanted to chat with him, Li Xian really didn't have the time. He took out Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf and looked at its stats. Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf, Calamity, Evolvable. Life Providence, Big Dipper Dubby. Life Soul, Ravenous Wolf. Wheel of Destiny, Omnipotent. Terror Form, Star-Lord Reincarnation, S-Grade. Calamity Zone, Starlight Zone, Hell Level. Strength, 200. Speed, 200. Constitution, 200. Essence Energy, 200. Talent Skill, Star Jewel, Wolf Devourer, Martial Path, Heavenly Book. Companion Form, Ring. Joe and check Star Lord Ravenous Wolf stats carefully, and couldn't help but be slightly taken aback. Typically, only some special companion beasts, such as Banana Fairy and Truth Listener would have their stats at the minimum after evolving to the Calamity Grade. It wasn't surprising that Star Lord Ravenous Wolf had an evolvable attribute. However, its attributes were the lowest at the Hell level. This was intriguing. Typical wild companion eggs wouldn't have their values at the starting value. Star Lord Ravenous Wolf having such stats meant that he wasn't ordinary at all. In that case, the Star Lords in every domain are actually in their most basic form. There should still be plenty of room for growth. Zhou Wen thought again. Don't tell me the Star Lords of the Big Dipper are in the form of rings? Perhaps they can even form a set. Zhou Wen was only musing. He also knew that it was too difficult to have seven Star Lord companion beasts drop. As Zhou Wen had already seen Star Lord Ravenous Wolf's appearance and abilities, he summoned him in the form of a ring. A star ring appeared on Zhou Wen's finger. The surface of the ring was a star that emitted a starlight halo that enveloped Zhou Wen's body. What's the use of this ring? Zhou Wen was somewhat puzzled. He tried a few times and realized that the starlight wasn't a protective shield. It couldn't stop external forces from invading. With a thought, he took out his phone and entered the Big Dipper instance dungeon. Zhou Wen immediately knew what use the halo had. With this ring, the high temperature and radiation on Dubhi were ineffective against him. Furthermore, Dubby's power was constantly gushing into the ring. The ring served as a conduit, making Zhou Wen feel as though infinite power was coursing through his body. This ability was only effective on Dubby, but it was useless in other star palaces. This thing is only useful on Dubby. I can't stay on Dubby forever, right? It's impossible for me to invite people to Dubby every time I fight. Zhou Wen found the ring's ability somewhat useless. However, Star Lord Ravenous Wolf's combat strength was still very strong. He didn't need to appear in his companion form. Zhou Wen packed his things and thought for a moment before picking up the sleeping demonic neonate and taking her with him. He didn't know what was happening with demonic neonate. Zhou Wen was afraid that things would be bad if something alarmed her while he wasn't by her side. He carried demonic neonate out and headed for Xia Xuanyue's hotel. What Xia Xianyu had seen in Guide City over the past few days shocked her. Xia Xianyu and Xia Luchuan originally believed that investing in Guide City now was providing timely help. However, the situation in Guide City was very different from what they had imagined. Apart from Li Xian, there were also Ming Xiao and Feng Qiuyun, who were helping Zhou Wen. The two of them were rather famous in the Federation, but according to the Xia family's intelligence, their strength was much greater than their fame. Now that they were here, it meant that their families had already chosen to invest in Guide City and Zhou Wen. Chapter 1572 A Secret What surprised Xia Xianyu even more was that the famous female sword immortal, Qin Zhen, was also here. Qin Jin's fame wasn't as great as Ming Xiao and Feng Qiuyin's, but there was a reason why Xia Xianyu knew her. Qin Jin came from an average family, but in the past few years of studying at Sunset College, she had displayed extremely powerful talent in the way of the sword. The various factions thought highly of a genius without any background like Qin Jin. Who didn't want to have a few talented sword masters like Qin Jin under their wing? Even if they funded her with her doing nothing, it was better than having such a strong person serve their enemies. When Qin Jin was in her sophomore year, many families had already contacted her. It wasn't just the typical wealthy family. Even the six families had contacted her, both openly and secretly, and had made some offers. The Xia family had also invited Qin Jin. The conditions offered were rather high, but Qin Jin still rejected them. Later, Xia Xianyu learned that the conditions offered by the other families were pretty good. 
The family clan of gods had even prepared a guardian and mythical serum for her. They were all attributes that best suited her. They also earmarked a large number of resources for her usage. However, Qin Jin didn't go anywhere. She rejected everyone's invitation and stayed at Sunset College as a tutor. People originally believed that Qin Jin had stayed in Sunset College because of Ntianzua. Many young geniuses had chosen to join Luoyang or directly join the Sunset Army because of the name Ntianzua. Only two days ago, when Xia Xianyu chanced upon Qin Jin lecturing students on the school field, did she realize that she was in Guide City. The conditions here were worlds apart from what the six families had to offer. She really couldn't figure out why Qin Jin had chosen to stay here. Could it be that Qin Jin thinks so highly of Zhou Wen? Xia Xianyu thought to herself. As large families, they definitely couldn't place all their eggs in one basket. Even if one basket had a problem, there were still eggs in the other basket that could be eaten. However, Qin Jin was different. She was only one egg, herself. So it was equivalent to her betting everything on Guide City and Zhou Wen. What surprised Xia Xianyu even more was that she saw Hui Wan when she was shopping yesterday. President Hui Haifeng only had one son. He took care of him like he was a treasure. The present situation in Guide City wasn't optimistic, but Hui Haifeng didn't mind leaving his only son here. It left Xia Xianyu somewhat surprised. Could this Hui Wan not be Hui Haifeng's biological son? Xia Xianyu was very suspicious. The situation in Guide City was completely different from what Xia Xianyu had imagined. She was already somewhat in a dilemma, unsure if the conditions she and Xia Luchuan had come up with could move Zhou Wen. If this place was only a piece of charcoal, the conditions they offered were rather good. However, from the looks of it, Zhou Wen didn't seem to need any. It wouldn't be that easy to convince him. Xia Xianyu called and told Xia Luchuan what had happened. After Xia Luchuan heard that, his face was filled with disbelief. The Ming Xiao you're talking about is swordsman tomorrow, Ming Xiao? And the Feng Xiaoyan is the one from the Sea Return family? Xiao Luchuan asked in disbelief. Yes, I heard that they were classmates with Zhou Wen. Xiao Xian Yu recounted what she had heard. Not only do Feng Xiaoyan and Ming Xiao represent themselves, but they also represent their families. Although these two families can't be considered top notch, they have become famous among the various warlords after the appearance of these two. Xiao Luchuan said after some thought. Together with Qin Jin and some others, Guide City's strength far exceeded their expectations. From the looks of it, we have to change our previous plans. The chips in the past could be considered a timely help to the former Zhou Wen, but things aren't the same now. We are a step too late. We need to raise our chips, Xia Luchuan said with a sigh. When Zhou Wen arrived at the hotel, Xia Xianyu had just returned. The two of them met in the hotel lobby. Miss Xia, can you get used to this place? Zhou Wen walked over and asked. It's not bad, it's quite quiet. Xia Xianyu smiled and said. If you have the time, let's find a place to chat. There's a meeting room upstairs, Zhou Wen said. There's no need to be so formal. My brother is in charge of the family's matters. I'm only a messenger. It's almost mealtime. I heard that there's a shop nearby that makes roasted meat using a secret recipe that's pretty good. I was just thinking about trying it someday. Shall we try it together? Xia Xianyu said. All right. Zhou Wen nodded in agreement and followed Xia Xianyu to the barbecue shop. After the two of them ordered their food and sat down, Xia Xianyu said, Guide City is a nice place, but it's not easy to gain a foothold here. It's indeed not easy. Zhou Wen nodded. Have you ever thought of cooperating with anyone? Xia Xianyu asked. Not at the moment. However, if the Xia family wishes to invest in Guide City, we can consider it. Zhou Wen looked at Xia Xianyu and said, I wonder how much the Xia family plans on investing. Xia Xianyu raised a finger without saying a word. What does one mean? Zhou Wen was puzzled. One secret for 30% of Guide City's future profits. Xia Xianyu said. What kind of secret is so valuable? Zhou Wen curled his lips. He didn't believe that there was any secret that was worth 30% of Guide City's profits. You haven't found a dimensional zone to build a city yet, right? Xia Xianyu asked without answering. No. Zhou Wen looked at Xia Xianyu in surprise. Her question was definitely not without reason. I know of a dimensional zone nearby. It's easy to defend and difficult to attack. Not only is it difficult for outsiders to enter, but the environment inside is also very suitable for building a city. It's not a lot to exchange such a dimensional zone for 30% of your income, right? Xia Xianyu said. Since it's a nearby dimensional zone, I'll be able to find it sooner or later. Why should I give you 30%? Zhou Wen asked. If it was that easy to find it, I wouldn't be telling you about it. If you don't believe me, you can search for it. Forget anything I said if you can find it. Xia Xianyu seemed very certain that Zhou Wen wouldn't find it. All right, I'll search for it first. We'll talk when I can't find it. Zhou Wen was very direct. 
Take your time. I won't raise prices even if you can't find it. Xia Xian Yu smiled. If I find it, I'll definitely leave the best spot for your Xia family in the most prosperous place when I build the city in the future. Zhou Wen added. Then it's a deal. Xia Xian Yu didn't believe that Zhou Wen could find the dimensional zone. If it was that easy to find it, it wouldn't have been hidden until today. The reason the Xia family could find the dimensional zone was that it had something to do with the Xia family. Chapter 1573 First Showcase of Human Sovereign Sacrifices to the Heavens After Zhou Wen returned, he recounted the matter to Li Xian. Is there such a dimensional zone nearby? Li Xian had recently spent quite a bit of time studying the nearby dimensional zones. Safety was ultimately a huge problem when it came to constructing a city outside. The city needed to be built inside a dimensional zone, but Li Xian had inspected many nearby dimensional zones, but none of them satisfied him. Or rather, he had nothing to choose from. The nearby dimensional zones were strange, making them unsuitable for building a city inside. Let's continue searching. If we really can't find it, we will have to negotiate with the Xia family. We need a dimensional zone. Zhou Wen also knew that having so many people living outside wasn't a long-term solution. If a calamity creature were to pass by one day, their city would be doomed. It was impossible for Zhou Wen to guard this place daily. All right, I'll continue searching. It doesn't make sense that they can find it, but we can't. Li Xian said gloomily. After handing the matter of finding the dimensional zone to Li Xian, Zhou Wen returned and continued studying how to kill the Star Lord at the third level. After returning, Zhou Wen searched for information on the internet and learned that the third star of the Big Dipper was named Fekta. The Star Lord guarding it was named Cherished Kismet. You have to repay what you owe. You have to pay for what you damaged. You have to pay for what you kill. I cherish Kismet, and I'll make the call on how it should be returned. In this case, how can there be anything unfair in this world? This was the core belief of Star Lord Cherished Kismet. After Zhou Wen saw this, he roughly knew why Star Lord Cherished Kismet had such an ability. How do I crack Star Lord Cherished Kismet's ability? Zhou Wen kept thinking about this problem. Zhou Wen tried all the methods he could, but the outcome was the same. As long as he injured Star Lord Cherished Kismet, he would be injured. He died if he killed him. There were no exceptions. Wait. He had been thinking about how to kill Star Lord Cherished Kismet, but after reading some information on him, Zhou Wen realized that killing him didn't necessarily require the power that killed. These words sounded a little awkward, but they seemed to be a viable path. I have to repay what I owe, damage or kill. Then, what if it's something I give to him? Zhou Wen wanted to give killing Star Lord Cherished Kismet from another angle a shot. At this moment, human sovereign strength came in handy. This power couldn't injure others, but it could treat the opponent. Zhou Wen wondered what the outcome would be if he used human sovereign's power to deal with Star Lord Cherished Kismet. With this in mind, Zhou Wen couldn't help but take out his phone and open the dungeon before entering the Big Dipper Dimensional Zone. Star Lord Ravenous Wolf and Star Lord Titan Gate hadn't respawned. They probably wouldn't respawn until all seven levels were cleared. Such a serial dungeon is just too troublesome. I can't even farm a dimensional creature alone. Zhou Wen entered the Fecta Star Palace without summoning a companion beast. It was useless even if he summoned one. Even someone as powerful as the Fiend Armored Tiger Soul General would die instantly if he made any killing attempts. Zhou Wen had previously thought about what would happen if Li Xian were to kill Star Lord Cherished Kismet. Li Xian would be beheaded when he slayed Star Lord Cherished Kismet. However, being beheaded wasn't enough to kill Li Xian. Would this form some cycle? It was rather intriguing. The green armored Star Lord Cherished Kismet remained sitting there firmly like a meditating Buddha. It was as though he didn't see the blood colored avatar. Zhou Wen engraved the ancient Sovereign Sutra on the Wheel of Destiny. Human Sovereign's figure appeared and fused with Zhou Wen's body. Zhou Wen was like the sun as he emitted a glorious glow like a miniature humanoid sun. This domain's name really sucks. Zhou Wen activated Human Sovereign's sacrifices to the heavens domain and muttered to himself. The moment Human Sovereign sacrifices to the heavens was activated, large amounts of vitality surged to wherever the light from Zhou Wen's body shone. If there were injured people, their wounds would quickly heal in such a powerful vibrant domain. It could even revive people who were on the brink of death. Even the injuries a companion bee suffered could rapidly recover. Even if there wasn't any damage, vegetation would rapidly grow. The effects of human sovereign sacrifices to the heavens when used to save people were excellent. However, Zhou Wen had never thought of using it to kill. This was the first time. Zhou Wen stared at Star Lord Cherished Kismet as the power of human sovereign sacrifices to the heavens shone on him. Star Lord Cherished Kismet suddenly opened his eyes. After the green armor was hit by the light from Zhou Wen's body, it began turning from green to yellow before turning from yellow to black as though it was rotting. As for Zhou Wen, he didn't suffer any injuries. Instead, he felt his vitality grow stronger. 
It's indeed feasible. Zhou Wen was overjoyed. As for Star Lord Cherished Kismet, he suddenly stood up and charged at Zhou Wen with all his might. His speed and strength weren't inferior to Star Lord Ravenous Wolves, but to Zhou Wen, what was terrifying wasn't his strength and speed. In terms of combat, Zhou Wen could barely fight him with his experience and techniques. Thankfully, Star Lord Cherished Kismet's technique was much weaker than Star Lord Ravenous Wolf's. Star Lord Ravenous Wolf was an all rounder, while Star Lord Cherished Kismet was clearly much weaker in this aspect. That allowed Zhou Wen to put up a fight. Zhou Wen constantly used instant transmission and movement techniques to dodge Star Lord Cherished Kismet's attacks. Star Lord Cherished Kismet was illuminated by the light from Zhou Wen's body. He was rapidly weakening and losing strength. Finally, Zhou Wen had the chance to punch Star Lord Cherished Kismet's back. This punch contained intense vitality. If it struck a heavily injured person, the wounds on the heavily injured person would immediately heal. However, when this punch landed on Star Lord Cherished Kismet, his green crystal armor produced a black fist mark. The fist mark quickly turned to dust like burning ashes. And in Zhou Wen's body, large amounts of vitality appeared out of thin air, making his human sovereign sacrifices to the heaven's domain even stronger. I never expected that my ancient sovereign sutra would have such a day. Zhou Wen was very excited as he threw punch after punch at Star Lord Cherished Kismet at an even faster speed. Star Lord Cherished Kismet's body was already very weak, and his speed was much slower. The green crystal armor had basically turned black, and the spots that Zhou Wen's fist struck immediately turned to dust. Under Zhou Wen's onslaught, Star Lord Cherished Kismet's body exploded and turned to dust. Clang! 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 A few dimensional crystals dropped. Just as Zhou Wen was feeling depressed about not having a companion egg drop, he realized that there was a samsara stone in the dimensional crystals that dropped. Another samsara stone? Zhou Wen was delighted. Ignoring everything else, he decided to pick it up first. Chapter 1574 Migres Star Palace Although the fusion system allowed companion beasts to advance to a higher level, there were too many uncertain factors involved. The failure rate was too high, and it might change some important characteristics of a companion beast. After all, not all companion beasts had Jinx as master, so it was fine for him to occasionally try his luck or experiment with large numbers of companion beasts of the same type. Zhou Wen didn't dare randomly fuse rare companion beasts. If he was unlucky, he would be flabbergasted if they were destroyed. The Samsara Stone was different. Companion beasts that used the Samsara Stone not only had an evolvable attribute, but they could also be renurtured. Their evolution direction was easily controlled, allowing him to forge the companion beast he wanted. Who should I use this Samsara Stone on? Zhou Wen was hesitant. It wasn't that he didn't have a choice, but he had too many choices. Many companion beasts needed to evolve. After some thought, Zhou Wen finally chose to give the Samsara Stone to the Invisibility Cloak. The Invisibility Cloak had been very useful at the mythical stage previously, but after reaching a higher level, Terra Grade creatures typically had extra sensory abilities. It was very difficult for the Invisibility Cloak to evade their detection. If the Invisibility Cloak can advance to the Terra Grade or even the Calamity Grade, the invisibility it brings can resolve many problems, Zhou Wen thought as he placed the Invisibility Cloak and Samsara Stone together. The Chaos Egg could be used to withstand attacks head-on, but there was ultimately a limit. Furthermore, it was easy to be trapped. If the Invisibility Cloak could prevent the Calamity Grade creatures from detecting him, Zhou Wen could secretly explore the high-level dimensional zones without risking his life. In reality, the Invisibility Cloak was a divine artifact that could save his life. The Invisibility Cloak didn't change at all after the Flash of Light. There weren't any changes due to its original invisibility. However, its stats had returned to the mortal stage, and it had an evolvable attribute. How does upgrading the invisibility cloak work? Zhou Wen tried using essence energy crystals, which turned out useful. Soon, a high-level essence energy crystal was absorbed by the invisibility cloak. Furthermore, the invisibility cloak's level rapidly increased, jumping from the mortal stage to the epic stage. Essence energy crystals can raise the level of the invisibility cloak. That makes things easier. Zhou Wen was overjoyed. A problem that could be resolved with essence energy crystals wasn't a problem for Zhou Wen. This was likely the easiest companion beast to evolve. It was really difficult for him to evolve creatures like Banana Fairy and Evil Spirit King. Zhou Wen placed the essence energy crystal that Star Lord Cherished Kismet had dropped on the Invisibility Cloak. Essence energy immediately surged over the Invisibility Cloak, and soon, the Invisibility Cloak rose to the mythical stage. No way. A Calamity Grade Essence Energy Crystal only raised it to the mythical stage? Zhou Wen felt his heart ache. Thankfully, Zhou Wen didn't need to grind Essence Energy Crystals. He could just get beaten up with a Chaos Egg up to produce many solid Essence Energy Crystals. Since I'm already here, I'll take a look at the Four Star Palace. After all, I need to find a place to get beaten up. 
It doesn't matter where I go. Zhou Wen wanted to know what kind of dimensional creatures there were in the subsequent star palaces. After feeding the dimensional crystals to the companion beasts that required them, he used the teleportation nexus to enter the next star palace. Zhou Wen had checked the web for information on the Big Dipper. The fourth star was called Migres. The star lord that corresponded to it was likely the most familiar star lord to those in the East District. People treated those who received the title of top scholar as a mortal incarnation of Star Lord Merciful Song, a testimony of how cultured this Star Lord was. For example, famous historical figures in the East District, Bao Qing Tian, Wen Tianxiang, Lu Bowen, and so on, were said to be mortal incarnations of Star Lord Merciful Song. Zhou Wen didn't know the authenticity of these claims, but how could there be books for someone to study in a place like Migres? It was most likely a legend without merit. After a moment of dizziness, Zhou Wen arrived in front of the Star Palace on Migres. This is Migres? As the Big Dipper consisted of stars, with extremely high temperatures, ordinary humans would vaporize upon entering. However, it wasn't hot at all. Zhou Wen even found it refreshing, as though a cold wind was blowing from Migra's star palace. Looking up, there was still the boiling high temperature liquid outside the barrier. It was not much different from the first three stars, but the color of the liquid was somewhat different. Zhou Wen could tell that the liquid's temperature was extremely high and extremely unstable. From time to time, he could see terrifying energy eruptions. However, standing here, he still couldn't feel any heat. It should be a problem with the Star Palace, right? Zhou Wen carefully sized up the Star Palace. It looked like it was carved from white jade. Its various exquisite shapes and patterns were extremely elegant. After carefully taking in his surroundings, Zhou Wen immediately realized that there was indeed a cold aura emitted from the Jade Palace. A scholar is indeed different. He knows how to enjoy himself by using natural cold jade to build an air-conditioned room. Zhou Wen thought to himself. Without any hesitation, Zhou Wen pushed open the door of Migra's star palace with the chaos egg protecting him. There were many mysterious words engraved on the walls of the star palace. Even the pillars had words. They had their own style, but unfortunately, Zhou Wen didn't recognize any of them. Star Lord Merciful Song, don't you descend to earth often as a mortal? Can't you at least learn the Federation's common language? Or the East District's ancient language? Your scribbles look good, but what's the point of them if they can't be understood? Zhou Wen was somewhat depressed. The legendary Star Lord Merciful Song sat on a throne in the Star Palace. He was wearing snow white jade armor, but the armor was as smooth as a mirror. There weren't even any patterns, much less words. That's a little overboard. You are Star Lord Merciful Song after all. Even if you don't have a word on your helmet, you should at least have one on your chest. Learn from Kakarot. Just as Zhou Wen was thinking, he saw Star Lord Merciful Song move. Zhou Wen was alarmed. His foot hadn't even crossed the door sill when Star Lord Merciful Song moved. This was unprecedented among the Star Lords. Star Lord Merciful Song raised his right hand. In his right hand was a book. The book was also made of jade and had a warm luster. Star Lord Merciful Song looked up at Joe when before slowly opening the jade book in his hand. Why are you flipping through the book? Don't tell me you want to test me on my knowledge. I've already returned most of the things I learned in school to the tutors. Unless you want to test me on questions from my third year in primary school, I wouldn't know how to do it either. Just as Zhou Wen was thinking, the jade book opened and a treasure glow surged into the sky. Chapter 1575 Zhou Yang comes knocking. Zhou would imagine that the chaos egg would be capable of withstanding the treasure beam when it landed on the chaos egg. Zhou Wen was somewhat dumbfounded the next second. The treasure beam didn't attack the chaos egg. Instead, it carried the chaos egg towards the jade book and stored it inside. Zhou Wen struggled to get out to no avail. He was forcefully pulled into the book. Just as he was thinking about how to escape, he heard a thud as the book snapped to a close. Zhou Wen felt his surroundings turn dead silent, as though it was an endless dark void. He couldn't see, hear, or sense anything. He attempted to rush out, but there was nothing around him. No matter where he went, the outcome was the same. It was as though, there was no end to the void. This is definitely Star-Lord Merciful Song's domain power. I wonder what domain this is. Why is it so odd? Zhou Wen knew that things were going south. Although Star-Lord Merciful Song didn't kill him, trapping him here forever was worse than killing him. Thankfully, this was a game, so Zhou Wen could commit suicide again. In reality, it was basically no different from dying. Of course, Zhou Wen couldn't wait for Star-Lord Merciful Song to open the Jade Book. He knew the principle of striking first to gain the upper hand. He had made it a habit in game to identify the other party's abilities before taking action. It was mainly to understand the abilities of dimensional creatures. Otherwise, even if he killed a dimensional creature, he wouldn't even know what abilities it had. He failed to come up with a way to escape after some extended thinking. Even if he released the golden WYRM scissors, 
it could only fly randomly in the endless void. There was no way out. Here, spatial powers didn't seem to work as though they were locked. Joe Wen was actually unable to use spatial teleportation or instant transmission. He had no choice but to commit suicide. Dripping a drop of blood to revive, he was just about to enter the dungeon and gain the upper hand over Star-Lord Merciful Song by killing him with the golden WYRM scissors and not giving him a chance to flip open the Jade Book when he suddenly heard his phone ring. Old Joe, someone's looking for you. It was Li Xian. Who? Joe Wen asked in puzzlement. He's wearing a cloak and a mask. It's impossible to tell who he is. However, from his bearing, he shouldn't be an ordinary person. Do you want to meet him? If not, I'll defeat him and send him on his way. Li Xian said. Let me take a look first. Zhou Wen said as he walked out and quickly arrived at the door. Where is he? Zhou Wen saw Li Xian drinking tea in the guardhouse. Over there. Li Xian curled his lips towards the left of the door. Zhou Wen looked in that direction and saw a person standing under the shade of a tree. Indeed, just as Li Xian had said, the person was tightly covered up. One couldn't even tell if the person was male or female. However, Zhou Wen recognized him at a glance and couldn't help but be slightly taken aback. Zhou Yang, what's this fellow doing here? Zhou Wen found it odd. Zhou Wen was wondering why Zhou Yang was being so polite if he knew that he was egg sovereign and wanted to seek revenge. However, if he wasn't here to seek revenge, what else could Zhou Yang be doing? Do you know him? Li Xian asked as he drank his tea. Zhou Yang, Zhou Wen answered. Li Xian spat out the tea he had just drunk. Which Zhou Yang? Saint Zhou Yang? Who else could it be? I'll go see what he's here for. Zhou Wen said as he walked towards Zhou Yang. Who are you? Why do you want to see me? Zhou Wen came in front of Zhou Yang and asked, feigning ignorance. You know who I am? Zhou Yang said calmly. I came here to invite you to the Holy Land as a guest. Although I don't know who you are, I appreciate your kindness. It's best if you return. A sanctified place like the Holy Land isn't a place an ordinary person like me can go. Zhou Wen rejected it without even thinking. Holy God hated him to the core. It would be odd if something beneficial awaited him in the Holy Land. All right, if you defeat me, you don't have to go, Jiu Yang said bluntly. In fact, Jiu Yang's main goal for coming here was to fight Zhou Wen. Whether Zhou Wen went to the Holy Land was a matter of Holy God's concern. Jiu Yang didn't care, but he couldn't disobey Holy God's orders. Don't joke around. How can I beat you? Jiu Wen said. If you don't know who I am, how do you know that you can't beat me? Jiu Yang said calmly to Zhou Wen. Zhou Wen knew that he had been careless, but he didn't need to worry about such matters. He said with a smile, Saints from the Holy Land are each stronger than the last. No matter which one of them comes, a mortal like me isn't their match. It's useless no matter what you say. Fight me or I'll take you back through force. The outcome will be the same, Jiu Yang said to Zhou Wen. Why don't we do this? Go back for now. I'll visit the Holy Land when I'm free. I really have something on now and can't leave. Although Zhou Wen was already at odds with the Holy Land, he wasn't willing to fall out with it. Do you want to choose the venue or should I do the honors? Zhou Yang ignored what Zhou Wen said and continued speaking at his own pace. When Zhou Wen saw Zhou Yang's behavior, he knew that things wouldn't end well today. Instead of letting Zhou Yang fight him here and cause Guide City to suffer, he might as well choose a venue himself. At the very least, he wouldn't harm his family and friends. Follow me, Zhou Wen said as he vanished. Ordinary people couldn't even see calamity great entities when they traveled at the speed of light. Zhou Yang didn't say a word as he followed. He followed beside Zhou Wen at an unhurried pace. Clearly, he was much faster than Zhou Wen. Of course, this wasn't Zhou Yang's speed, but the speed of the Sun God Guardian. You are indeed very strong, but you don't have a guardian. Did you use spirit casting or a mythical serum? Zhou Yang sized up Zhou Wen as his eyes gradually lit up. Would you believe me if I said that I didn't use spirit casting or a mythical serum? Zhou Wen said as he flew. No. Zhou Yang answered with certainty, because he had never seen a human advance to the mythical stage purely as a human, much less to the calamity grade. Then I can't answer you. As Zhou Wen spoke, he had already crossed the mountain range known as the Spine of the World and continued heading west. Why are you running so far? There's no one here, Zhou Yang said. It's boring without anyone. I'll take you to an interesting place. It's more interesting to fight there. Zhou Wen continued flying forward without looking back as he headed for the West District. Chapter 1576 Sunset City As one of the six families, the Cape family had been like the other five families in recent years. Compared to the era when the six families controlled the Federation, they appeared abnormally low-key. Of course, such a low profile didn't mean that the Cape family had really reached a point of no return. 
Instead, the six families were working hard to digest the resources brought about by the evolution of the world. In the past, the six families relied on the Holy Land, but as Earth's dimensionalization sped up, this served as an opportunity for them to obtain a large number of resources without relying on the Holy Land for resources like before. This was also the main reason why the six families dared to attempt to escape the Holy Land's control. Only with resources could they have the capital to resist. In this rapidly changing era, the Cape family was the family that had changed the most. The Cape family actively attempted anything, companion beasts, guardians, spirit casting, mythical serums, that could make humans stronger. This allowed the Cape family's strength to constantly increase. The development of the dimensional zones surrounding them was also the highest among the various families. Sunset City was the city that the Cape family had built in a dimensional zone in recent years. It was dark in the dimensional zone due to the lack of natural light. Only the city was brightly lit, so it was also called City of Nightlights. This dimensional zone was called the Forbidden Zone of the Gods. It was a dimensional zone that the Cape family had discovered and developed in recent years. The Forbidden Zone of the Gods was very strange. It was like a world that couldn't be illuminated by divine light. There was no birth, aging, sickness, or death here, as though being here gave one eternal life. Of course, this was referring to the natural way of life. People still died from being murdered. After the Cape family discovered the characteristics of the Forbidden Land of the Gods, they established Sunset City here. The members of the Cape family gradually moved to live in Sunset City. The faces of the humans living here seemed to be frozen. They looked the same as they did a few years ago. There were no signs of aging. Only by leaving Sunset City would time continue to leave signs on them. Who didn't want to live forever? The Cape family used the magical powers of the Forbidden Land of the Gods to recruit many young geniuses. Their faction also grew stronger day by day. It was only because they hadn't completely developed the dimensional zones they controlled and didn't have the energy to plunder resources from other places that it gave off the impression that the Cape family had become much more low-key in the past few years. Joe had long heard of the Cape family's Sunset City and the Forbidden Land of the Gods. He had always wanted to visit, but he had been tied down by other matters and didn't have the spare time. The reason Joe Wood wanted to come to Sunset City wasn't because he wanted to cause trouble for the Cape family due to his grudge with them. He was eyeing the dimensional zone known as the Forbidden Land of the Gods. Joe Wynn had recently been studying which dimensional zones were compatible with his essence energy art. He wanted to advance his essence energy art to the Calamity Grade as soon as possible. Back when he saw some information about the Forbidden Land of the Gods, Joe Wynn felt that this place might be very compatible with his Dao Sutra or God Fiend era. There might be doubt since the Dao Sutra was an essence energy art from the East District, so how could it be compatible with the Forbidden Land of the Gods? Joe Wynn didn't believe that it was a problem. He only looked at the characteristics and didn't deliberately distinguish between the East and West District. The Dao Sutra Zhou when cultivated took the Zero Taboo Path. As for the Forbidden Land of the Gods, it also had the ability to ban nomological powers. Therefore, Zhou Wen felt that the two were somewhat similar and wanted to try his luck. Furthermore, a special space like the Forbidden Land of the Gods seemed to have some compatibility with the spatial type God Fiend era. Of course, these were all Zhou Wen's guesses. He had never been to the Forbidden Land of the Gods and only felt that there was such a possibility. This was the perfect opportunity for him to visit. Furthermore, he didn't have a good relationship with the Cape family. If he really fought Zhou Yang and destroyed their territory, Zhou Wen wouldn't feel the pinch. If the Forbidden Land of the Gods was really compatible with his essence energy art and could help him advance to the Calamity Grade, it would inevitably destroy the Forbidden Land of the Gods. Zhou Wen wouldn't be troubled by that or feel sorry for the Cape family. Stop! Entry to the area ahead is forbidden! Unauthorized people are not to enter. A guardian of the Cape family blocked Zhou Wen and Zhou Yang's path. Please inform the owner here that we wish to enter. Zhou Wen said to the guardian with a smile. Do you have an appointment? The guardian asked as he sized up Zhou Wen. Zhou Wen was wearing casual clothes and had a child demonic neonate in his arms. He looked completely different from when he entered the rankings. The guardian clearly didn't recognize him. What are you talking about? Don't you see the saint here? What appointment do we need? Zhou Wen pointed at Zhou Yang. So what if it's a saint? This is the Cape family. Without an appointment, even the Holy Father can't enter, much less a saint. The guardian was very unyielding. Zhou Wen naturally wasn't angry. He said to Jiu Yang with a smile, Your reputation doesn't seem very useful. Jiu Yang didn't even look at Zhou when as though he wanted to ignore him. Zhou Wen originally wanted to push the matter of entering Sunset City to the saint, but he couldn't help but feel depressed when he saw Jiu Yang remain silent. A young man walked out and said to Zhou Wen, Mr. Zhou, if you wish to enter Sunset City, you just need to give your name. There's no need to do it in the name of the saint. You know me, but I don't know you. 
Isn't that a little unfair? Zhou Wen sized up the young man. The man was in his twenties, and he didn't look much older than Zhou Wen. He had blonde hair and blue eyes. He had a high nose bridge and a slender figure. Although he was nearly two meters tall, he didn't look excessively tall due to his good proportions. My name is Carlos. Nice to meet you, Mr. Zhou. The young man smiled and extended his palm. I don't expect your Cape family to be happy seeing me. Zhou Wen didn't extend his hand as he looked at him. I don't know if the Cape family will be happy seeing you, but I'm very happy to see you. You have always been my idol, said Carlos with a serious expression. Are you sure I'm an idol? Not someone you want to beat up. Zhou Wen was somewhat surprised. Mr. Zhou, you're reading too much into it. The grudge between you and the Cape family is one thing, but my admiration for you is another. Although I also want you dead, this doesn't affect my admiration for your achievements. If possible, I hope you can help me sign an autograph. I'll definitely treasure it, said Carlos sincerely. There's no need for an autograph. Let's shake hands. Zhou Wen extended his hand and shook Carlos's hand. Zhou Wen definitely didn't dare randomly sign autographs. Chapter 1577 Forbidden Land of the Gods Zhou Wen imagined that Carlos wanted to take the opportunity to compete with him, but to his surprise, he only shook his hand. Mr. Zhou, what brings you here to Sunset City? asked Carlos. Someone wants to fight. I heard that Sunset City is a good place, so I came to take a look, Zhou Wen said. Although our Cape family had a misunderstanding with you in the past, that's all in the past. If Mr. Zhou has any displeasure with our Cape family, there's no harm in saying it out loud. On behalf of the Cape family, I'll definitely give you a satisfactory answer, said Carlos calmly. I'm not the one who wants to fight, but him. You should discuss it with him. Zhou Wen pointed at Zhou Yang. Asterisk this gentleman is. Carlos sized up Li Yang, but this person was covered up too well. He couldn't tell who it was. Zhou Yang glanced at Zhou Wen. He naturally knew that Zhou Wen wanted him to be the scapegoat, but Zhou Yang had no intention of defending himself. Zhou Yang, lend me your Sunset City. Zhou Yang said indifferently. Carlos was stunned when he heard Zhou Yang's name. There was probably no one in the Federation who didn't know Zhou Yang's name. Carlos looked at Zhou when in disbelief only to have him say, in the flesh, it's my honor to have the two of you use Sunset City for a battle. However, I hope the two of you can give me some time. I'll need to clean up Sunset City to make it more conducive for the two of you to fight in peace. Said Carlos pleasantly without flaring up. Sure, Jiu Yang said. Jiu Yang and Zhou Wen knew that Carlos likely wanted to evacuate the people in the city to prevent them from being accidentally injured in their battle. Jiu Yang was at the calamity grade. If Zhou Wen could be his opponent, he definitely wouldn't be too weak. A city could easily be destroyed in a battle at that level. In that case, I'll take the two of you to Sunset City to take a look. After giving instructions to someone, Carlos led Zhou Wen and Zhou Yang into the Forbidden Land of the Gods. Just as the legend said, the Forbidden Land of the Gods was pitch black. Nothing could be seen. In the darkness, there was a road lined with street lamps that extended into the darkness like a glowing snake. At the end of the road was a brightly lit city. City of Nightlights appeared especially mysterious and beautiful in the darkness. When Zhou Wen walked into the darkness, he felt no logical forces restrain his body. The heaven opening scripture of the highest elder immediately reacted. This was only a normal reaction back at Mount Lao Chun. The heaven opening scripture of the highest elder would also react. Was this Sunset City later built? Zhou Wen was here to find an opportunity to advance to the Calamity Grade. He wasn't interested in a city built by humans. Yes, there are no buildings in the Forbidden Land of the Gods. It was just a dark and desolate area. There weren't even dimensional creatures. Every blade of grass, tree, lamp, and brick here were transported in by our K family through painstaking efforts. Everything was constructed according to the design, said Carlos. Joe Wen was even less interested in Sunset City when he heard that. Therefore, he asked, could it be that there's really nothing in the huge forbidden land of the gods? Not really. Carlos thought for a moment and said, there's indeed a city in this darkness, but that city is only left with dilapidated walls. It should have been destroyed in a war. We've also studied that city, but we didn't find any traces of creatures nor did we find any fragments of daily necessities. It seemed to be an empty city. Interesting. Take us there. Zhou Wen was intrigued. This way, please. Carlos had a good temper. He led the way with a flashlight and circled around Sunset City before heading deep into the darkness. Along the way, Zhou Wen observed the forbidden land of the gods. The ground here was barren like wasteland. There were traces of a battle everywhere. The various ring-shaped pits were similar to the ring-shaped craters on the moon. However, it was obvious that the ring-shaped pits here weren't formed from meteorites, but from a specific impact. 
There were also some crisscrossing rifts that looked like huge saber marks no matter how one looked at them. Apart from the darkness, the other laws here were somewhat chaotic. For example, when sound passed through an empty space, there would be a distortion. Clearly, there was a distortion or fault layer in the space. Darkness wasn't a problem for Zhou Wen, but the distortion of space and sound affected truth listeners' ability. As Carlos walked, he explained, Legend has it that the gods once fought here and destroyed everything, including order and light. This prevented all things from growing and eventually turned it into a forbidden land for life. Since this is a forbidden land where nothing can live, why is it said that one can live forever here? Zhou Wen asked. It's just fake news. You can indeed not age here, but that's only because your face doesn't age. In fact, your body will still age. No matter how young you look, you will still die when you reach a high age, said Carlos. I see. However, even if one doesn't age visibly, it's already amazing. There should be many beautiful women who are willing to live in Sunset City for the rest of their lives, right? Joe Wen wasn't surprised. If Sunset City could really give people eternal life, the Cape family probably wouldn't be able to occupy this place so safely. There are indeed many beautiful ladies who have come to Sunset City to settle down permanently. If Mr. Zhou is interested, you can take a walk in Sunset City. It's considered a beautiful scene that's rare elsewhere, said Carlos with a smile. Zhou Wen declined to comment. Xiao Yang didn't say a word. Clearly, he wasn't interested. Carlos told him some more things about the Forbidden Land of the Gods, as though he knew everything there was to know. It was impossible to find fault with him. Even as an enemy, it wouldn't be nice to fall out with him. Soon, Zhou Wen saw the ruins of an ancient city in front of him. However, there were only some broken walls and stone pillars left. Thanks to the years, these man-made objects had almost returned to their original states. On the broken walls and stone pillars, there were no human text carvings or patterns. They were all in their most primitive state. Zhou Wen kept using Truth Listener and his eyes to observe his surroundings, but unfortunately, he didn't discover anything special in the ruins. He didn't find the tiny palm symbol, much less anything that could advance him to the calamity grade. Let's do it here, Jiu Yang said to Zhou Wen impatiently. All right, since this is where the gods once fought, it's a good place for a duel, Zhou Wen said with a nod. Do you want to entrust the child in your hands to them? said Carlos as he glanced at demonic neonate in Zhou Wen's arms. Mr. Zhou, if there's a need, you can leave her with us. Our K family won't do anything to the child, said Carlos. There's no need. It's just for fun. I'll carry her myself. Zhou Wen didn't really plan on fighting Zhou Yan to the death. Chapter 1578 Zone Core Chapter 1578 Zone Core Many people in Sunset City are ordinary people. I hope the two of you can. Understand. Try your best not to implicate the innocent, said Carlos. This place was sufficiently far from Sunset City and the rules of the forbidden. Land of the gods were somewhat special, making it difficult for energy to be transmitted over great distances. Therefore, the possibility of Sunset City being affected wasn't high. However, as a precaution, Carlos raised the issue. I think it's best if you evacuate everyone, Joan said. All right. Please wait a moment. Give me an hour. Without wasting any time, Carlos turned around and quickly returned to Sunset City. Many core members of the Cape family in Sunset City were waiting for his news in the meeting room. Carlos, is that person really Zhou Yang? Why is he here? Are they really going to duel here? Why did you order everyone to evacuate the Forbidden Land of the Gods? After they stopped asking, Carlos slowly said, They are going to have a duel in the ancient city ruins. As a precaution, everyone has to temporarily leave the Forbidden land of the gods. Everyone heaved a sigh of relief when they heard that. The abandoned city is far from our sunset city. Furthermore, with the rules of the forbidden land of the gods, it's impossible for shockwaves from the battle to reach us. There's no need to move, right? There are more than a hundred thousand people in sunset city. Evacuating them isn't that simple. Besides, no matter how strong Zhou Yang is, IRs, impossible for him to really massacre the city, right? How strange. If it's really Zhou Yang, why would he fight Zhou Wen? Although, Zhou Wen is very strong. He shouldn't have reached Zhou Yang's level, right? Everyone discussed spiritedly, but most people didn't change their opinions. Who has the final say here? Carlos asked expressionlessly. Of course it's you, but... An elder from the Cape family wanted to say... Something. Since you know that I call the shots, execute it. In an hour, everyone has to... Leave Sunset City and the Forbidden Land of the Gods. If anyone has any... Objections... You can report me to the family head in the future. Carry out my orders immediately, said Carlos coldly. 
Everyone looked at each other. Although many people were unhappy, they knew that it was useless to say anything else. This place was under Carlos's jurisdiction. This is making a mountain out of a molehill. We will definitely let the family head hear about this. The elders snorted coldly and got up to leave the meeting room. The others left one by one and began the evacuation. Carlos got his subordinates to supervise the evacuation. After everyone had left, a middle-aged man named Yugai came to Carlos and said, Carlos, is there really such a need? The abandoned city is very far from Sunset City. Even a calamity-grade battle shouldn't affect this place. Furthermore, we forcefully evacuated everyone because of this. This will affect our family's reputation. Carlos shook his head and said with a bitter smile, Although the chances aren't high, I can't risk the lives of everyone in the city. Besides, it's not like you don't know the grudge between Joe One and our Kate family. He might very well take the opportunity to seek revenge. Furthermore, I have a nagging feeling that his trip here isn't as simple as a duel. Why would he fight Joe Young? Why did he have to come to the Forbidden Land of the Gods to carry out the duel? There must be a reason for this. Therefore, we can only watch him and prepare for the worst. Is Zhou Wen that strong? Yukai pondered. Do you think a saint like Zhou Yan will duel with anyone? Carlos asked. That's true. He'll go take a look as well. It made sense when Yukai thought about it. Although Zhou Yan had lost to Egg Sovereign, everyone knew his strength. How could such a person casually fight a weakling? For Zhou Yan to fight Zhou Wen meant that Zhou Wen was likely in existence on the same level as Zhou Yan. At the very least, he wasn't much weaker. Do you think it's possible that Joe won his egg sovereign? Carlos suddenly said. It's really possible. Let's go take a look. Yuka? S eyes lit up. After Carlos returned, Joe Wen walked straight into the ruins, hoping to find something new. What are you looking for? Joe Yang suddenly asked as he followed Joe Wen. It wasn't easy for me to make this trip. I want to take a look. Perhaps I'll gain something. Joe Wen answered casually. If you wish to find a zone core here, I'm afraid you will be disappointed. The Forbidden Land of the Gods doesn't have a zone core, said Jiu Yang. What's a zone core? Zhou Wen was slightly taken aback as he roughly guessed what Jiu Yang was referring to. How did you advance to the Calamity Grade without knowing what a zone core is? Jiu Yang paused and didn't wait for Zhou Wen to answer. He explained, A zone core is the core of a zone. To advance to the Calamity Grade, you need to find the zone core corresponding to your essence in Y art. Only by Absorbing the zone core can you advance to the calamity grade. Typical. Dimensional zones only have one core. If the core is destroyed, the dimensional zone will be useless. This is also the reason why the various calamity creatures on earth will destroy the dimensional zone they were born in. Then how do you know that there's no zone core here? Joe would never expected to hear this. If he had known this would happen, he wouldn't have taken so many teachers. Zone cores have their good and bad. The stronger a dimensional zone is, the higher the quality of the zone core. After advancing to the Calamity Grade, the level of the Calamity Zone is directly related to the zone core. Typically a zone core is the same level as the Calamity Grade. It's divided into the levels of Human Realm, Hell, and Heaven. If one absorbs a Human Realm Zone Core, then after advancing to the Calamity Grade, the zone core might very well stay at the Human Realm forever. It's almost impossible to improve further. After slightly adjusting his breathing rhythm, Jiu Yang continued. In the mythical era, the Forbidden Land of the Gods once had a heaven level zone. Core. The so-called Battle of the Gods was actually just a contest for the zone. Core here. Unfortunately, the zone core was ultimately destroyed. No one took it away. Therefore, the Forbidden Land of the Gods is actually equivalent to half a crippled dimensional zone. There's actually such a thing? Who were the ones vying for the zone core back? Then? How do I know what level the zone core is? Zhou Wen muttered. Inwardly, he had no idea that there was a division of levels when it came to zone cores. He didn't know any of this information when absorbing zone core. He felt that just being able to fuse with his essence energy art was sufficient, so he didn't think too much about it. I'll let the ancient sovereign sutra, I refinement at, and chaos egg only. Absorb zone cores at the human realm, wouldn't that mean that there's no way to improve further? Zhou Wen was somewhat worried. Chapter 1579 Beauty of Simplicity Haven't you already advanced to the Calamity Grade? Why are you still searching for the Zone Core? Jiu Yang had seen Zhou in speed before. It was definitely at the Calamity Grade, 
so he was convinced that Zhou Wen had already advanced to the Calamity grade. Zhou Wen didn't answer, nor could he answer. He could be considered a Calamity grade, but that was under the condition of simulating other essence. Energy arts. He himself hadn't advanced to the Calamity grade. You haven't told me how to distinguish the level of a zone core? Zhou Wen asked. The zone core isn't an inanimate object. Levels are demarcated artificially. Two. Know what level the zone core is. One can only observe the zone itself. The stronger a dimensional zone is, the stronger the zone core condensed. There are also some other details that need to be observed by yourself. There are no fixed standards, Jiu Yang said. Zhou Wen thought to himself, Sweetie's hut is definitely very strong, but can those words be considered a zone core? The ancient sword tomb should be very strong as well. The possibility of it being at the heaven realm is very high. But I can't be sure. Sovereign Sway's tomb can only be considered special. It's hard to say if it's at the heaven level. Zhou Wen had been figuring things out by himself all this while. Today he finally learned more formal information. It only gave him more questions. Why are you telling me this? Zhou Wen asked Jiu Yang. He was considered an enemy of the Holy Land, so there was no need for Jiu Yang to tell him this. Jiu Yang said indifferently. These things are considered secrets among humans, but they aren't considered secrets in the Holy Land. Anyway, you will enter the Holy Land soon, so it's fine to tell you this in advance. It's good to be confident, but you have to be prepared to suffer a setback. Zhou Wen felt that Jiu Yang's temper was very odd. The two of them were clearly enemies. Furthermore, Zhou Wen had previously defeated him in Dovey Palace. They were about to have a duel. However, Zhou Yang could speak to him calmly. If it wasn't for the impending duel, Zhou Wen even felt like he was chatting with a friend instead of an enemy. In fact, Zhou Wen didn't realize that he was also such a strange person. Two, Zhou Yang, Zhou Wen was also an enemy. It's about time. There's no need to wait any longer. Let's begin. Summon your companion beasts and let me see what else you have other than that. Companion beast. Zhou Yang said to Zhou when as he glanced in the direction of Sunset City. It's just a duel. There's no need to fight to the death. Why don't we set some ground rules? Zhou Wen didn't wish to fight Zhou Yang to the death. What rules? Zhou Yang asked with a frown. Me using a companion beast or you using a guardian isn't the true manifestation of our abilities. Neither of us will use external forces and we'll limit our strength at the epic stage. How about we rely on our cultivation and techniques to determine victory? Zhou Wen had seen Zhou Yang's technique and knew that his technique and realm were top-notch. He just lacked strength. All right. Zhou Yang looked at Zhou Wen seriously before agreeing. Just then, Yukai and Carlos returned and heard their conversation. Yukai was enlightened and said, It's no wonder Zhou Wen dares to fight Zhou Yang. So, that's what he's up to. However, Carlos shook his head and said, Don't think of it so simply. Although, their strengths are at the epic stage, Zhou Yang has already experienced the strength of the calamity grade. By having different vantage points, Zhou Yang will see everything from a more comprehensive perspective. His realm is also much higher than Zhou Wen's. It won't be easy for Zhou Wen to win. That's true. Even if the same amount of money is given to different people, it will definitely be the people with more information sources who can earn more money. Yu Kai thought of the industry he was familiar with. As the two of them were discussing, they didn't see a figure standing in the darkness not far from them. As the environment was too dark and the figure had no aura, he was like a ghost. No one noticed his arrival. This person was naturally Godfall, who had been secretly monitoring Zhou Yang. He had heard Zhou Wen's conversation. Zhou Yang is too stubborn. It doesn't matter if you call him stupid or clumsy, but when it comes to persistence, I'm afraid there's no one else in the world who can compare to him. He has been cultivating martial techniques since he was young. Among us saints, any saint was better than Zhou Yang in the first year. In the second year, Jiu Yang could already keep up with everyone's progress. And in the third year, very few saints of the same generation were his match when it came to the same martial technique. They could only use other techniques to make up for it and think of ways to defeat him. After a few years, even if Jiu Yang only uses the most ordinary martial techniques, it will be very difficult for anyone to defeat him in terms of martial techniques. God fall thought to himself, if Zhou Wen wants to compete with Jianjin, technique and realm, there's no need for me to take action. What a pity. What weapon are you using? Zhou Wen asked Jiu Yang. My body is the weapon. Jiu Yang answered naturally, 
exuding full confidence. Then you won't mind me using a saber, right? Zhouwen said. Feel free to do so. Jiuyang clearly didn't mind. Zhouwen extended his hand, and the bamboo blade appeared in his hand. However, after some thought, Zhouwen put it away and summoned an epic. Companion Beast Saber. Since he requested to have an epic stage battle, using the bamboo blade was excessive. You can use the saber you are used to, Jiuyang said. It doesn't matter what saber I use. Since I was the one who came up with the idea, you can attack first. Zhou Wen held the hilt without unsheathing it. Jiu Yang didn't stand on ceremony as he moved his feet and threw a punch at Zhou Wen. Indeed, he had only used the strength of the epic stage. Furthermore, this punch didn't look profound. It was just an ordinary thrust. It was fast enough. But with the strength of the epic stage, its speed was much slower than usual. Ignoring Zhou Wen, even Yu Kai and Carlos could see it clearly. It wasn't difficult to dodge. However, Zhou Wen only used his epic strength, so the speed he could produce wasn't very fast. Faced with such a punch, he didn't choose to dodge. Instead, he raised his scabbard and blocked Jiu Yang's attack. Jiu Yang's expression didn't change despite having his punch being blocked. His other fist followed as his punches rained down. Jiu Yang's boxing technique wasn't profound. Furthermore, he didn't have foam. Jiu Yin's ability to grow stronger while in combat. However, this ordinary Boxing technique pressure Zhou Wen. In this world, the more complicated something was, the higher the level. Sometimes, simplicity was also a form of beauty, a simple sublime feeling. Zhu Yang was the kind of person who could turn something simple into something sublime. It was clearly a very simple boxing technique, but when used by Zhou Yang, it became extremely threatening. The feeling was akin to Monkey Sun having 72 transformations. Yet, it was difficult for him to withstand the might of Buddha's flip of the hand. Chapter 1580 Who's the one with the higher vantage point? It looks like Zhou Yang is getting very serious. Godfall knew very well that the simpler Zhou Yang's boxing technique was, the stronger it was. Yu Kai clearly didn't understand this principle. He had always felt that a true expert's move would be totally impossible to guard against. It would definitely be an extremely incisive killing move. Every move would be fatal. Even if it wasn't gorgeous, it would definitely be strange and unpredictable. Yu Kai couldn't tell what was good about Zhou Yang's simple, and boring boxing technique. He said in puzzlement, Is this a legendary calamity grade powerhouse? It doesn't look like much. I can also use such a boxing technique. It seems like these calamity grade powerhouses are only slightly stronger. Their realm might not be much higher than the average person. However, Carlos said with a sneer, If you were to use such a fist technique to fight Joan, you would have long been killed. You guys said indignantly, I guarantee that my boxing technique will be identical to Joe Young's. So he'll be fine. While be beaten to death by Zhou Wen? You only saw his boxing technique, but you didn't see the details. Carlos replied. Details? Yukai was slightly stunned. His boxing technique is very simple, so is his movement technique, and his footwork is equally simple. However, when he uses them together, it's nothing simple. Far from that, said Carlos. Why can't I tell what's so special about him? I can also use these things of his without any flaws. Yukai carefully sized him up again but he failed to identify anything. Carlos didn't look at Yukai, he stared at Zhou Yang in battle and said, You can't tell because he has already reached the realm of becoming one with nature. It looks ordinary, but in fact, every move he makes, from his movement technique, footwork, fist techniques, to even the changes in his eyes have, perfectly fused with his surroundings. In a battle in such ruins, no brick or wall is an obstacle for him. Instead, these external objects aid him. This can't be summarized with the word simple. You only see his fist technique being simple, but you don't see the multi-dimensional world he has built. You only see the fist, but he has the entire world in his eyes. Is it that unbelievable? No matter how carefully you guys looked at it, he only found Zhou Yang's battle very fluid. He didn't see anything about the multi-dimensional world. Yes, Saint Zhou Yang is really very strong. It's not as simple as borrowing the Guardian's strength. Even if he suppresses his strength to the epic stage, Zhou Wen's chances of defeating him are pitifully low said Carlos. Then what about you? Can you crack his multi-dimensional world? Yukai asked. Clearly, in his heart, Carlos was an existence comparable to Zhou Yang. In fact, although Carlos wasn't famous, he had been entrusted with important responsibilities by the Cape family at a young age. One could tell his status in the Cape family from how he ruled Sunset City. Such a person was naturally not a fool. My guardian isn't as strong as his, Carlos answered. Then, ignoring guardians, what about the martial arts realm? Yukai asked again. 
10 TT lose. Although Carlos' answer was somewhat ambiguous, he was confident that he wouldn't lose against a figure like Jo Young. It was obvious that he was very confident in his martial arts realm. I knew it. Saint Jo Young, you of the Holy Spirit Association, and immortal of the League of Guardians are definitely not your match. In the future, when you inherit the position of family head, our Cape family will definitely be able to recover its former glory. You guys said happily. How can it be that easy? There are too many powerful fellows in the Federation these days. I don't have the confidence to beat those fellows you mentioned. Ignoring everything else, just fighting Jo Yang to the death would be my death. That's because your Guardian's level isn't as high as his. When the Guardian's level is the same, he will definitely die. Said you guy. That might not be the case. To be honest, even if our strength levels are the same, I'm not completely confident of defeating him. This person is like a Buddha. Mortals won't be able to find any flaws in him. That's why I said that I won't lose, but I might not win either. Said Carlos seriously. Well, I have a question. You make Jo Yang sound so powerful. Why hasn't he defeated Zhou Wen yet? Yukai asked in puzzlement. Carlos sighed and said, Jo Yang is very strong, but Zhou Wen isn't weak either. His standards aren't much worse than Jo Yang's. Furthermore, he keeps adopting a purely defensive stance. No matter how Jio Yong tries to entice him, he doesn't counterattack. Under such circumstances, it's very difficult for him to make mistakes. He also doesn't give Jio Yong a chance. See, now that you mention it, I understand. Just like in sieges of ancient cities, the defending side will have the advantage. The attacking side needs several times the military strength to storm the city. However, their strength is the same now. It will be very difficult for Jio Yang to win. Jio Wen is good. At scheming. You guys said. That's right. It's just like soccer. When the weaker team fights the stronger team, they often choose to defend before counterattacking. This is the strategy Jio Wen is using now. Said Carlos with a nod. Godfall, who was behind them, heard their conversation. He couldn't help but size up Carlos in surprise, as he thought to himself, I never expected such a figure to appear in the Cape family. Should I kill him first? However, after some hesitation, God's fall temporarily gave up on this thought. He had come mainly for Zhou Wen's companion beasts, and didn't wish to reveal his existence. That would make Zhou Wen wary. God's fall shared the same view as Carlos. Although Zhou Wen didn't seem to be in a bad situation, just as Carlos had said, although weak teams could counterattack, strong teams might not give them a chance to counterattack. It was especially so for a person like Zhou Yang. He wouldn't make any mistakes, much less give his opponent a chance. Therefore, Zhou Wen would definitely lose in the end. The difference in realm is still too great. Zhou Wen doesn't stand a chance. It won't be too late for me to suddenly strike and snatch Zhou Wen's companion beasts when Jio Yang defeats him. Godfall watched the battle with the intention of watching the show. The saber in Zhou Wen's hand constantly changed its angle and blocked Jio Yang's repeated attacks. He just wanted to see how deep Jio Yang's realm went. This was the first time Zhou Wen had encountered an opponent like Jio Yang. He was very curious. However, in terms of realm, Jio Yang's realm was much weaker than the Vine Sword's realm. In terms of vantage point, Jio Wen had the high ground. However, Jio Wen was somewhat interested in Jio Yang's realm and wanted to make more observations. Jio Yang's realm was somewhat similar to the non-disputatious sword intent of the 3000 sword intents. It seemed like he could draw on things as a reference to push the non-disputatious sword intent to a higher level. Chapter 1581 Non-Disputatious Sword Intent Sincere words are not fine. Fine words are not sincere. Those who are skilled do not dispute. The disputatious are not skilled in it. Those who know are not extensively learned. The extensively learned do not know it. The sage does not accumulate for himself. The more that he expends for others, the more does he possess of his own. The more that he gives to others, the more does he have himself. With all the sharpness of the way of heaven, it injures not. With all the doing in the way of the sage, he does not strive. This was the origin of the non-disputatious sword intent. It was a passage from ancient scriptures. The skilled didn't need to strive. Things would naturally fall into their hands because others couldn't do what they could do. It would only be natural for the things to be given to them. Jio Yang's realm also contained this concept. He pursued his own cultivation without being affected by anything else. Zhou Wen looked at Jio Yang's realm and gained a deeper understanding of the non-disputatious sword intent. 3,000 sword intents are just too many. If I want to figure out the true meaning of all of them, forget a mortal like me with about a hundred years of lifespan. Even if I could live for more than a thousand years and figure out one every year that will only cover a third. Besides, it's impossible for me to figure out the true meaning of one sword intent in a year. I's fine if I just figure out a few things in the future, but I can't pursue perfection like Jio Yang. The ancient scripture saying is right. Those who know are not extensively learned. 
the extensively learned do not know it. Although my 3,000 sword intents are weak, Zhou Yan's realm is much higher than any of the 3,000 sword intents, Zhou Wen thought. As the essence of their realms were too similar, Zhou Wen quickly made a huge breakthrough in the non-disputatious sword intent from referencing Zhou Yang. To give it a try and see how well I've cultivated this sword intent. Zhou Wen's saber stance changed as he used a concept similar to Zhou Yang's. It was none other than the non-disputatious sword intent that had just experienced a breakthrough. Zhou Yang, Carlos, and Shen Lu's eyes focused at the same time. They could tell that the change in Zhou Wen's saber aura was very similar to Zhou Yang's boxing concept. He actually wants to imitate Zhou Yang's technique and concept. Isn't he a little too idealistic? How can such a realm be mastered in a short period of time? It's especially so for Zhou Yang's characteristic of pursuing details. It's not something that can be mastered just from mimicking. He's aiming high only to achieve little. Shen Luo snorted coldly. Carlos was also somewhat puzzled. Zhou Wen's action seemed a little too rash. It was true that Zhou Wen was a genius, but Zhou Yang was also a genius. Furthermore, he was a top genius. To use Zhou Yang's ultimate skill that he had cultivated for so many years, after such a short period of time, was a little arrogant. However, the battle left the two dumbfounded. The saber in Zhou Wen's hand remained sheathed, but he had already switched from defense to offense. During the battle with Zhou Yang, the similarity of their techniques and realms exceeded 90%. More importantly, Zhou Wen had managed to tie with Zhou Yang without being at a disadvantage. Could it be that there's really such a genius in this world? Carlos widened his eyes and muttered to himself in disbelief. What do you mean? By the side, Yukai didn't understand. He could only tell that Zhou Wen wasn't blindly defending, but his attacks weren't very powerful. They were very ordinary. Carlos said with a bitter smile. Yukai, do you think I'm considered a genius? Of course. If you aren't a genius, there aren't any geniuses in the Federation. Although you don't have the sovereign body inherited from your family, your talent and comprehension far exceed those fellows with the sovereign body. I still remember the time when you trained in an essence energy skill. John took two months to master. You did it for a short while to be much stronger than him, said Yukai. Then, do you think it's possible for someone to learn something that will take me one to two decades in just a few minutes? That's naturally impossible. A human who can do such a thing, no, I shouldn't say human. It's impossible for humans to do it. If they can do it, they are not human at all, said Yukai. But that fellow just did it, said Carlos with another bitter smile. Who? What did he do? Yukai was stunned and asked blankly. Jiu Yang's talent isn't inferior to mine. I believe his cultivation realm was obtained through arduous cultivation. If it were me, I would also need so much time, but in the short 20 to 30 minutes of battle, Zhou Wen actually reached the same realm as him. He's even on par with Jiu Yang, said Carlos. That's impossible, right? Could it be that Zhou Wen already knew it and is only using it now? Yukai guessed with a look of disbelief. Carlos sighed and said, I hope so too, but it's obvious that his realm is still improving. He should still be in the midst of comprehension. In the past, I always felt that I was a genius, not inferior to anyone in the Federation. Even in Tianzhuo was only a target for me to catch up with in my studies. However, after meeting Zhou Wen today, I suddenly feel disheartened and even some despair. Don't think that way. There must be a reason. It's impossible for there to be such a genius among humans. There must be a problem. We can find the problem. Don't give up. Yukai immediately panicked. Carlos was the most promising person in the Cape family now. If he were to be dispirited, it would undoubtedly be a fatal blow to the Cape family. Don't worry. I'm not a greenhouse flower who hasn't experienced storms. Even if Shouwen is really such a genius, I won't give up on my goal. I'm just feeling wistful. That's good. Yukai heaved a sigh of relief when he saw that there was nothing abnormal about the latter's expression. However, he was still alarmed. If it was really as Carlos had said, Zhou Wen was too terrifying. Shen Lu's surprise was far greater than that of the two. They didn't know much about Zhou Yang, so they were only speculating. However, Shen Lu knew a lot about Zhou Yang. Among the many saints in the Sun God Holy Temple, only Zhou Yang had obtained the recognition of the Sun God Guardian and obtained the Sun God Holy Temple's holy artifact. Although everyone was a saint in name, Zhou Yang, who controlled the Sun God Holy Temple's holy artifact, was actually the Sun God Temple's holy son. Shen Luo was in a similar situation. He knew very well how great the price one needed to pay to become the holy son who controlled the holy artifact. Zhou Yang had been cultivating arduously since he was young. His achievements were the result of years of hard work. Even Shen Luo had to admit that he was no match for Zhou Yang in terms of the martial arts realm. It was very difficult to mimic Zhou Yang's realm 
because it wasn't as simple as hard work. It also required inhuman talent. Such a talented and extremely hard-working person had actually been imitated by someone in a short battle. Furthermore, the combat strength he displayed wasn't inferior to Zhou Yang's. Shi Luo found it unbelievable. This Zhou Wen looks much more terrifying than expected. It's no wonder Lord Holy God sent me to help Zhou Yang. Indeed, Lord Holy God has foresight. I definitely can't let such a fellow grow stronger. Otherwise, he will be a great enemy of my holy land. Killing intent flashed in Shen Luo's eyes. Chapter 1582 Kani Appropriation The holy land could tolerate a human with a powerful companion beast, but it couldn't tolerate the existence of a person who was powerful enough to threaten the holy land. Godfall secretly rejoiced. Thankfully, Zhou Wen's cultivation hasn't reached an uncontrollable level. There's still a chance of destroying him before he attains his full potential. Godfall was already secretly searching for a suitable opportunity to attack. However, before killing Zhou Wen, Godfall wanted to snatch his companion beast. From his point of view, there was no conflict between the two matters. Zhou Wen's main combat strength stemmed from his companion beast. As long as it was snatched from him, Zhou Wen would suffer a drop in strength. Killing him wouldn't be difficult since it was useless having only a potent realm. God's Fall no longer had the mood to watch the show. Instead, he stared intently at Zhou Wen, searching for the best opportunity to attack. Now that Zhou Wen hadn't summoned his companion beast and had suppressed his strength to the epic stage, it could be said that this was the best opportunity for God's All. It was a God-sent opportunity. God's Fall was the Khanate Holy Temple's Holy Son. The essence energy art he cultivated was the same as Li Xian's invincible Khanate Divine Art. However, Li Xian cultivated an incomplete version, and not only did God Fall cultivate the complete version, but it was also a modified version that had been supplemented by past saints. Unlike Zhou Yang, God's Fall didn't choose to contract a guardian. Instead, he chose the path of spirit casting and devoured the Khanate ancient god guardian. Coupled with the Khanate holy temple sparing no expense to groom him, God's Fall had reached the hell level like Zhou Yang thanks to the massive amount of resources. Furthermore, the abilities that God's Fall was good at were different from the typical Khanate Holy Temple Saint. His Life Providence, Life Soul, Will of Destiny, Terror Transformation, and Calamity Zone were different from Li Xian's. Li Xian became stronger from being beaten up, but God's Fall could directly plunder the growth of others. It could be said that the two of them were at two extremities with some similarities. The Calamity Zone of God's Fall was called Khanate Return, and was also called Khanate Appropriation. In his domain, he could appropriate the other party of everything other than their Khanate body. A Khanate body referred to one's body of flesh and blood. Clothes, weapons, and accessories could be appropriated as long as they were external. Companion beasts were also foreign objects. Godfall could also appropriate them. However, Khanate appropriation wasn't without restrictions. If Godfall wanted to strip something, he had to come into contact with it. Furthermore, it needed to be used on living creatures. Of course, the appropriation of a companion beast had to be done when Zhou Wen was alive. Once Zhou Wen died, the companion beast would transform into essence energy and dissipate back into the universe. Then, there would be nothing to appropriate. Under normal circumstances, as long as the enemy summoned a companion beast, God's Fall could snatch it for his own use. However, Zhou Wen's fiend Armored Tiger Soul General was somewhat powerful. God Fall didn't wish for Zhou Wen to have a chance to resist, so he decided to attack Zhou Wen himself. As long as he touched the companion beast tattoo, even if it was invisible, he could successfully appropriate it. Therefore, what Godfall needed to do was actually determine where the fiend armored tiger soul general was located on Zhou Wen. This wasn't difficult to determine. There was a general rule. For example, armor type companion beasts were usually tattooed on one's chest or back. Weapon type companion beasts were typically on one's palms or arms. Godfall didn't know what the tiger soul general's companion form was, but from the looks of it, it was highly likely that it was similar to armor. Even if it wasn't, such a companion beast was most likely on the chest or back. These were also the targets God's fall chose. As long as I snatch his tiger soul general, it will be easy for Zhou Yang and me to kill him, God's fall had already made up his mind. He was just waiting for an opportunity to succeed in one strike. In order to increase his success rate, God's fall planned on touching Zhou Wen's body as much as possible. It wouldn't be a problem to appropriate more companion beasts. Regardless, he couldn't miss the tiger soul general. Otherwise, it would be troublesome once Zhou Wen summoned it. God's Fall didn't know that even if Zhou Wen were to summon the Tiger Soul General, it wouldn't be as powerful as he had seen on the cube. There was no heat here at all. The Tiger Soul General had no way of accumulating the demonic flames in his body, nor did he have the time to temper his body. His level was only at the human realm, so he was basically no threat to God's Fall and Zhou Yang. 
Godfall didn't know this, so he was determined to obtain the Tiger Soul General. Godfall even wanted to use the Tiger Soul General to kill Zhou Wen. Zhou Wen, oh Zhou Wen, blame it on yourself for becoming enemies with the Holy Land and, and on your overestimation of your abilities. Godfall took the opportunity to instantly appear behind Zhou Wen. Godfall was good at the Kane breath technique. In the senses of others, Godfall was no different from a rock on the ground. If one didn't see him with their own eyes, it would be difficult to discover his existence. Despite being extremely careful, Zhou Wen failed to discover him. At the instant Godfall approached, he clung his entire body to Zhou Wen's back. His hands wrapped around him and pressed down on Zhou Wen's chest. The Kane appropriation took effect. The clothes covering the area vanished just before Godfall touched Zhou Wen's body. Bang! Zhou Wen's reaction was extremely fast. In an instant, the Chaos Egg had already burgeoned from his body and sent Godfall flying. Godfall's figure spun in midair and landed on the ground like a ghost. He licked his lips and stared smilingly at Zhou Wen with his slender eyes. Egg Sovereign! So Zhou Wen is Egg Sovereign! Yukai shouted when he saw the Chaos Egg over Zhou Wen's body. Carlos was first slightly taken aback and then enlightened before he said, I see. It's no wonder Zhou Yang challenged Zhou Wen to a duel. I should have known. In fact, it couldn't be blamed on Carlos. It was mainly because the Tiger Soul General's performance was too domineering. No one believed that Zhou Wen could obtain its companion egg from killing the corresponding dimensional creature. Previously, the main speculation by people was that egg. Sovereign was human sovereign. They didn't think of Zhou Wen. Their guess wasn't wrong, but no one expected human sovereign to be Zhou Wen. It never expected the Holy Land to think highly of me. They even laid an ambush with a saint here to wait for me. Zhou Wen said with a frown. He had already vaguely sensed that something was amiss with his companion beasts. Godfall, why are you here? Zhou Yang also frowned and asked Godfall. To help you complete the mission. Godfall said indifferently. This is my business. I don't need you. Zhou Yang said coldly. This is an order from Lord Holy God. With that said, Godfall ignored Zhou Yang and looked at Zhou Wen with a smile. Zhou Wen, it's our first time meeting. My name is Godfall, a saint from the Khanate Holy Temple. Don't forget my name and what's left of your short life. Chapter 1583 Snatching Companion Beasts What did you do to me? Zhou Wen asked as he checked his body. He could clearly sense that there was something wrong with many of his companion beasts. There was a faint force that seemed to lock onto a portion of his companion beasts. It was especially so for the companion beast on his back. This feeling was extremely intense. A similar situation happened at his chest where God's fall had touched. God's fall smiled at Zhou Wen and said, what I did was to hold your life in my hand. Your life is now in my hands. Ida want to know how I'll die. Zhou Wen said indifferently. You mostly rely on your companion beasts, right? As Godfall spoke, he snapped his fingers. With a snap, a hidden tattoo on Zhou Wen's body automatically surfaced and flew out. Even the chaos egg failed to stop the companion beast from leaving. Soon, a poison bat-like companion beast flew to Godfall's side and circled him twice before flying onto his back and turning into a tattoo. How can this be? Carlos and Yukai were alarmed. They had never heard of anyone capable of snatching a person's companion beast. There was a powerful contractual force binding companion beasts. Once they hatched, they couldn't even be transferred. If they were forcefully transferred, one had to pay a huge price or even pay with their lives. God's fall had actually snatched a companion beast from him. If this ability were to spread, it would probably cause panic in the Federation. Is that all? Zhou Wen remained unmoved. Zhou Wen had already seen similar powers from Lu Yun. Furthermore, Lu Yun's technique was better than God's Fall's. Zhou Wen had roughly guessed that God's Fall needed to touch his companion beast tattoo to steal it. As for Lu Yun's star stealer, it had long reached the stage of stealing pets out of thin air. Zhou Wen had always wanted to lure star stealer, but he had never had a drop. This left him vexed. Is that all? God's Fall's expression turned cold as he raised his palms and clapped. With a clap, Another companion beast tattoo appeared on Zhou Wen's body. This time, it wasn't just one, but ten. All of them flew towards God's fall. God's fall originally wanted to strike fear in Zhou Wen. Ordinary people would be horrified to have ten companion beasts stripped from him. However, God fall soon realized that the ten companion beasts he had appropriated from Zhou Wen were all low-level companion beasts, like poison bats, runic heavy armored warriors, steel cauldron sprites, and so on. He didn't even get a single mythical stage, much less Tiger Soul General. Any more? Zhou Wen asked Godfall. He had many low-level companion beasts on him. Ignoring the musical note sprites, he needed a large number of runic heavy armored warriors, steel cauldron sprites, and other companion beasts for fusion. 
he would farm them every now and then, so he had a lot of them. Furthermore, these companion beast tattoos were mainly on his chest and back. Godsfall's expression changed slightly. He never expected Joe when to have so many low-level companion beasts. Although there were no restrictions on the number of companion beast contracts, having too many companion beasts was useless in battle. A person's control was limited. It was not bad for an ordinary person to control two or three companion beasts while fighting. It would be impressive even for some experts, who cultivated psyche techniques to simultaneously control more than ten companion beasts. Unless it was an extremely intelligent companion beast, summoning a large number of companion beasts was similar to having a disorderly mob. They might even become a burden, much less be of help. Therefore, most people would choose companion eggs that were useful to them or excellent companion eggs for incubation. Most of the companion eggs they didn't need were sold. It was especially so for a high-level powerhouse like Jowen. He had no interest in companion eggs below the mythical stage. Even if he picked them up, he would give them to his friends and juniors or exchange them for the materials he needed. It was very rare to have low-level companion beasts like Jowen. If Jowen didn't need them for fusion, he wouldn't have had so many low-level companion beasts on him. Let's see how many low-level companion beasts you have. Godfall said coldly as he clapped his hands again. Pa! 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 Godfall could only appropriate ten companion beasts for each Kane appropriation. He could only sense that Kane appropriation had locked onto Zhou Wen's body, but he didn't know how many companion beasts there were. This was because no matter how many companion beasts there were, the tattoos would overlap. Furthermore, different companion beasts could appear in the same spot. Zhou Wen's back and chest were densely covered with overlapping tattoos. Godfall could only sense the companion beast tattoos, but he didn't know how many companion beasts there were or what companion beast they were. His clapping wasn't done at random. Every time he used Connate appropriation, he expended a large amount of essence energy. Even if Godfall had tremendous amounts of essence energy, this series of clapping made his forehead drip with sweat. Zhou Wen's companion beasts flew out like scattering flowers. More than a hundred companion beasts flew towards Godfall. Yukai and Carlos were deeply shocked by this scene. To them, Godsfall's Kane appropriation was an invincible divine technique. With such an ability, he was an existence that could do whatever he wanted among humans. After all, most humans relied on their companion beasts to fight. Who wouldn't be afraid of Godsfall's ability? Tundra if he can snatch a guardian. If he can do so, it will be too terrifying. Yukai muttered to himself. They were alarmed, but Godsfall was so depressed that he nearly blew a gasket. Godfall clearly saw the companion beasts before they flew over. Many of them were low-level companion beasts he had seen previously. Even if he had never seen them before, there were many that looked familiar. Clearly, they were commonly seen, low-level companion beasts. Godfall wasn't sure if there were any higher-level companion beasts, but there was definitely no tiger soul general. Continue. Jowen stood there without moving, nor did he have any intention of attacking God's all. He wanted to know how many companion beasts God's fall's ability could snatch from him. He wanted to know the limits of this ability. As for whether his important companion beast would be snatched away, Zhou Wen wasn't too worried. He had too many companion beasts on him. It wasn't easy for God Fall to win the luck of the draw. Companion beasts that Zhou Wen valued. Furthermore, there weren't many companion beasts that Zhou Wen valued. Prison Dragon was in that area, but the Limitless Demon Dragon King wasn't. It was located slightly lower. Tiger Soul General was also situated in that region, but Zhou Wen wasn't worried about it at all. If God's fall really snatched Tiger Soul General, Lu Yun's experience back then would be what was awaiting him. Chapter 1584 Holy Artifact God's fall gritted his teeth and raised his hands to clap again. He refused to believe that Zhou Wen had all these trash companion beasts. Pa! 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 After a series of clapping, God's fall was covered in sweat. His eyes were red, and the veins on his forehead protruded. The companion beasts on Zhou Wen's body flew up like scattering petals of flowers and bloom, and headed for God's fall. Carlos and Yukai were already stunned, but Zhou Wen was about to burst out laughing. God's fall's luck was clearly not good. Among the companion beasts he snatched, there wasn't even a mythical companion beast, much less prison dragon. They were all epic and legendary companion beasts. In fact, it wasn't God's fall's bad luck. It could only be said to be expected. After all, the combined ratio of mythical and terror grade companion beasts was at most 1 in 10,000. It wasn't easy to get them from drawing 1 to 200 companion beasts. Ignoring 10 consecutive draws, there was no guarantee of a successful draw of a mythical companion beast even with 100 consecutive draws. After the companion beasts landed on God's all, they belonged to him. Upon receiving the information from the companion beasts, 
Godsfall's pupils dilated as blood seeped out of the corner of his mouth. This fellow. How many trash companion beasts does he have on him? Godsfall already knew that none of the companion beasts he had snatched were at the mythical stage. Even Joe when didn't know the answer to this question. He had farmed a large number of companion beasts for the sake of fusion. Although many low-level companion beasts were useless to others, their life providences, life souls, and skills might be good materials for fusion. Joe would naturally wouldn't skip out on them. He had been constantly gathering companion beasts that were trash in the eyes of others. Just the companion beasts on his back numbered in the tens of thousands. It would be difficult for God's fall to extract the tiger's soul general from them. This was under the circumstances that God's fall had made a relatively good choice. He hadn't chosen the location of the musical note sprites. Otherwise, if he tried drawing companion beasts from the hundreds of thousands of musical note sprites, it would make God fall suffer a greater breakdown. No. Can't let this continue. That bastard is nuts. Why does he have so many trash companion beasts on him for no reason? From that detestable expression he's wearing, he must still have many trash companion beasts. Godfall also knew that he was at his essence energy limits. If he were to continue appropriating, he would collapse without Joe when needing to do a thing. Joe when was originally alarmed as he wondered if he should retreat. However, after hearing what Godfall said, he felt relieved and dispelled the thought of retreating. He stared at the holy artifact in Godfall's hand that was changing like a taiji sphere, wanting to know what use it had. In the future, he would have to fight the holy land, so it was better to learn more about it now. With the chaos egg protecting him, Joe when didn't panic. As the power of the Khanate insight became stronger, God's Fall's entire body seemed to be affected by it. The Khanate aura circulated between the man and the talisman, causing God's Fall to undergo a complete transformation. God's Fall was like an ancient god. His eyes seemed to have six illusory, intersecting lines. They were like lightning as he stared at Zhou Wen. felt uncomfortable, as though he was being peeped at with his clothes stripped off. In the next second, God's Fall suddenly shouted, It's him! As God's Fall shouted, he extended his right thumb and middle finger and snapped his fingers. Pa! Although he was still using Khanate appropriation, the snap of his fingers was like a bolt from the blue. There was even a bolt of lightning that lit up between his fingers, illuminating the entire forbidden land of the gods. After the thunderclap sounded, Zhou Wen felt his body relax as though a thousand tons of weight had been lifted off his body. A companion beast was forcefully separated from him, transforming into a mecha general that rode a ferocious tiger. It ran towards God's fall in midair. It was none other than the fiend armored tiger soul general. Zhou Wen watched in surprise as the tiger soul general flew towards God's fall. He was alarmed. He actually managed to snatch the tiger soul general from me. That holy artifact is interesting. The tiger soul general wasn't a companion beast that could be easily snatched away. Zhou Wen couldn't shake it off even if he wanted to, so it was even harder for others to snatch it. Zhou Wen still remembered that the last time eldest senior brother Lu Yun managed to snatch the tiger soul general was when he used the Zhang family's ancestral fate reversal talisman. Furthermore, the tiger soul general's level was relatively low back then. Now that the tiger soul general could still be snatched away despite being at the calamity grade, this piqued Zhou Wen's interest in the stone talisman. Chapter 1585 Tiger Soul General Appropriated When God Fall saw tiger soul general fly towards him, he revealed a gratified smile and thought to himself, Although the process was a little tricky, I still completed the mission. After Tiger Soul General landed on Godfall, Godfall looked down at Zhou Wen and said indifferently, You should be proud to be able to force me to use the holy artifact. However, when Godfall sensed the information from Tiger Soul General, he was stunned. He almost couldn't believe the information he had received. Impossible. How can it only be at the human realm? At that instant, Godfall thought that he had snatched a fake Tiger Soul General. From Tiger Soul General's performance on Dubhi, he was undoubtedly at the hell level. Furthermore, he had to be a top existence at the hell level. Only then could he possess such might and easily kill two Star Lord ravenous wolves. Therefore, Godfall found it unbelievable that Tiger Soul General was only at the human realm. However, the fiend armored Tiger Soul General's name wasn't wrong and its appearance was right. It couldn't be fake. After all, Calamity Great Companion Beasts were relatively rare. Joe Wing couldn't have two identical Calamity Great Companion Beasts, right? The chances were too low. Could it be that Tiger Soul General is really that strong? He can kill hell-level creatures at the human realm? God's fall had his suspicions. Apart from the difference in physical attributes, there was also the evolutionary difference of the Calamity Zone. A hell-level domain would undergo a qualitative change. For example, the two domains of fire and water that were both at the human realm might be able to mutually restrain each other, but if one domain advanced to the hell-level, it would completely crush the other. 
Godfall only noticed Tiger's soul general's level and ability, but he didn't have the time to carefully study his skills. Therefore, he didn't realize how terrifying the Jinx's master skill was. Show one, is this the Tiger soul general you used to kill the Star Lord Ravenous Wolves? Godfall summoned Tiger soul general and asked Show one. Although he felt that the possibility of Joe when possessing two Tiger soul generals wasn't high, Godfall still wanted to get to the bottom of it. It's whatever you make it to be. Joe and looked at Godfall with a look of pity. It was fine if he possessed Tiger Soul General, but to actually summon it, even Lu Yun hadn't been as arrogant as him. It's coming. It's coming. Zhou Wen was somewhat excited. In fact, he didn't know what the snowflake-like points of light were. However, he had a nagging feeling that the sudden appearance of these snowflakes was related to Tiger Soul General. The points of light constantly condensed in the sky as they snowballed. Although no one knew what it was, the terrifying energy fluctuations in the snowball left everyone alarmed. Stop gaslighting! God's fall held the Kane Insight in his hand and transformed into a Kane Divine Light that struck the huge snowball in the sky. The Kane Divine Light was indomitable and could destroy virtually anything in the world. However, when it struck the snowball, it was like water being soaked up by a sponge as it seeped into the snowball. The snowball that was originally emitting light became even brighter. As for the snowflakes that flew out of everything, they flew towards the snowball at an even faster speed and fused with it. The points of light that seemed to be snow appeared to have accelerators activated as they charged towards the huge snowball in the sky. Godfall was first taken aback before he realized the problem. These snowflake-like points of light weren't caused by anyone. They seemed to have appeared because of his Kane power and the Kane insight. Zhou Wen naturally saw the scene. His thoughts were the same as God's fall. The points of light were definitely affected by the holy artifact. However, he went one level deeper than God's all. He felt that this coincidence might not be a pure coincidence. Perhaps it was thanks to Tiger Soul General. Zhou Wen carefully sensed the energy fluctuations of the points of light, hoping to know what kind of power it was. However, the energy fluctuations of the points of light were very special. He could only sense the existence of energy, but he couldn't tell what attributes it had. Zhou Wen extended his finger and touched a point of light with his fingertip. Immediately, he felt a strange force enter his body from his fingertip. This power. Zhou Wen widened his eyes in disbelief. Chapter 1586 Terrifying Jinx's Master Zhou Wen became alarmed when he felt the power in the point of light. This power was actually attracted by the heaven-opening scripture of the highest elder. It flew towards the heaven-opening scripture engraving on the wheel of destiny and landed in it, disappearing with a flash. Could these things be parts of the shattered zone core of the forbidden land of the gods? Zhou Wen's expression changed as he looked at the points of light. More and more points of light flew towards the snowball in the sky at an accelerated pace. In just a moment, countless points of light gathered together, forming a huge cloud-like blob of light in the sky. God's fall used Kane Insight, but he failed to dissipate the light blob with one strike. Instead, he boosted the power of the light blob. He immediately knew that this thing was likely triggered by his strength. After some thought, Godfall gathered his strength and charged at Zhou Wen. Regardless of what the blob of light was, all he needed to do was kill Zhou Wen and leave the forbidden land of the gods before that thing fully formed. He held the Kane Insight in one hand and grabbed at Zhou Wen with the other. Zhou Wen immediately felt an immense suction force suck the chaos egg towards his palm. Just as Zhou Wen was considering how to deal with it, his eyes suddenly lit up. Light shone brightly in the sky as a beam of light suddenly shot down from the ball of light. Like lightning, it struck God's fall's head. God's all was alarmed, but he couldn't dodge the lightning. All he could do was gather his strength to resist it. Lightning struck God's fall's head, but it didn't produce any sparks or electric bolts. God's fall's body trembled as his legs went limp, and he fell to the ground. The Kane aura on his body instantly vanished without a trace, resulting in the Kane inside losing its driving force and dimming. It stopped spinning and turned back into the stone talisman before falling to the ground. As for the blob of light in the sky, it became even more dazzling as it smote down with lightning. God's fall's expression changed drastically as he hurriedly gathered his strength again. However, he had none left. He wanted to dodge, but it was too late. All he could do was summon a bird-shaped companion beast to shield his head. The lightning seemed to have a life of its own as it circled around and struck God's fall. God's fall had been drained of his Kane essence energy. The lightning landed on him and vanished like previously, but the change in God's fall's body wasn't as simple as the disappearance of essence energy. God's fall, who was originally rather handsome, instantly had his hair ton white, his face covered in wrinkles, and his eyes turbid. His vitality dropped to rock bottom, like an old man on the brink of death. Everyone was alarmed when they saw the scene. Even someone as powerful as God's fall had ended up in such a state after being struck by two bolts of lightning. 
It was shocking. Yukai and Carlos turned around and ran. Who knew if the blob of light would treat them as its next target after killing Godfall? Even Godfall couldn't withstand two bolts of lightning. They probably couldn't even withstand a single strike. Jiu Yang. Save me! The aging god's fall was like an old man. It was difficult for him to even struggle to his feet. He used all his strength to cry to Jiu Yang for help, but he only let out an extremely weak and hoarse voice. When the third bolt of lightning struck down, Jiu Yang's body emitted light as he condensed the sun god light and smote the lightning that descended from the sky. The lightning seemed bent on hitting god's fall. Before it collided with the sun god light, it strangely vanished. When Jiu Yang saw it again, the lightning had landed on God's Fall. Ah! As the third bolt of lightning descended, God's Fall let out a tragic cry. The flesh on his body shriveled at a discernible pace. A layer of withered skin clung tightly to the bones, almost no different from a skeleton. However, God's Fall didn't die just like that. His eyes protruded due to the shrinking of his flesh. They were filled with horror and despair. With his current body, it was difficult for him to even crawl up. All that was left was death. Zhou was alarmed when he saw this. After all, he was at the hell level, and comparable to a heaven level powerhouse, with the use of the Khanate insight. Yet, he still ended up in such a state. Zhou Wen didn't feel any pity for him, but when he thought of God's fall's outcome, and how he might have been harmed by Jinx's master, he felt uncomfortable. Tiger Soul General had always followed him in the past. Furthermore, he had an even more ferocious bamboo blade resulting in double the Jinx's master. He was lucky that nothing had happened to him. In the past, he only felt that Jinx's master had some influence like resulting in him getting hurt, but it wouldn't lead to his death. However, to see God fall reduced to such a state left show, Wynn's heart trembling as his legs went limp. It was a first. Although it's quite a pity, it can't be considered a bad thing if Tiger Soul General dies with God's fall, Zhou Wen thought. He originally wondered if he should find an opportunity to retrieve Tiger Soul General, but after seeing God's fall's death, Zhou Wen felt that he should cherish his life and stay away from Jinx's master. After losing the human realm tiger soul general, he could still obtain other companion beasts. If for some reason, he failed to hold back Jinx's master one day, it wouldn't be as simple as losing a companion beast. His life would be over. Jowen was already considering whether he should throw the bamboo blade out. This was too terrifying. He didn't wish to become like God's all. Now wasn't the time to think about this. Jowen and Carlos reacted the same way. They turned around and prepared to run. Who knew if that thing would treat them as its next target after killing God's fall? Godfall had Tiger Soul General, and he had the bamboo blade. They were both lethal things. Just as Zhou Wen was about to run, he heard a boom. An explosion sounded from the blob of light as another bolt of lightning struck down. Zhou Wen originally imagined that the lightning was aimed at God's fall to kill him, but to his surprise, the lightning didn't strike at God's all. Instead, it came at him. Holy sh asterisk t. Zhou Wen was so frightened that he immediately instant transmitted, hoping to dodge the lightning. However, it was useless. The bolt of lightning struck him amidst his instant transmission, blasting him back into reality. Zhou Wen was blasted out in an instant. No matter how strong his previous opponent was, they could at most strike him down before he instant transmitted or after he completed it. He had never encountered such a situation. Godfall, who was on his last breath, seemed to feel a little more delighted when he saw Zhou Wen being struck by the lightning. Come to hell with me! Godfall gritted his teeth, his hoarse voice almost inaudible. Chapter 1587 Condensing a Zone Again Zhou Wen felt his heart palpitate. All he could do was pin his hopes on the chaos egg, hoping that it could withstand the power of the lightning. However, in an instant, Zhou Wen felt a chill run down his spine. The power of the lightning seeped into the chaos egg and struck him. Even the activated heaven opening scripture of the highest elder and truth listener were useless. Zhou Wen shivered as the chaos egg automatically dissipated, exposing his body. It's over. Zhou Wen's body and mind trembled as he felt his calves and stomach cramp. He was only human, one that was afraid of death. In particular, he didn't want to end up like God's fall. He wanted to resist, but he realized that his essence energy was instantly sucked away by the lightning that invaded his body. His essence energy was like iron powder, and the lightning was like a magnet. The former was instantly sucked dry, leaving nothing behind. Without essence energy, Zhou Wen couldn't do anything, he couldn't even throw demonic neonate out. Now, Zhou Wen finally knew how God's fall felt when he was struck. It was no wonder God's fall didn't have a chance to resist. Zhou Wen didn't have a chance either. Zhou Wen could sense that the lightning retreated like the receding tide after absorbing his essence energy. However, before it left Zhou Wen's body, the heaven opening scripture on his wheel of destiny automatically lit up without any essence energy to support it. The lightning that was retreating at high speed stopped. 
It moved toward the heaven-opening scripture of the highest elder, as though it had been attracted. Wen was pleasantly surprised. Although he had previously discovered that the heaven-opening scripture of the highest elder could attract the points of light, he felt that it might not be able to withstand such terrifying energy after seeing God's fall's outcome. Lightning surged into the heaven-opening scripture of the highest elder, and the sutra automatically opened. Strange words gradually appeared on the blank pages. Zhou Wen didn't recognize any of the words, but for some reason, he vaguely understood the meaning behind them. Godfall lay on the ground as he panted with great difficulty. However, he stared intently at Zhou Wen, unwilling to take his last breath, as though he was waiting for Zhou Wen to head to the netherworld with him. Zhou Yang looked at Zhou Wen who had been struck by lightning. After some thought, he reached out and took out something. It was a strange bead that resembled a miniature sun. With the divine bead in hand, the sun god light on Zhou Yang's body became stronger and stronger. He stared at Zhou Wen as though he wanted to do something. Another bolt of lightning descended as Zhou Yang's body emitted a divine light. It illuminated the nearby area, revealing everything. The powerful sun god light struck the lightning. Jiu Yang, what are you doing? Cough. God Fall shouted hysterically with all his strength, only to cough out blood. He's my opponent. Even if he dies, he has to die in my hands. Jiu Yang answered calmly. However, just as he said that, Jiu Yang's expression changed drastically. The sun god light augmented by the holy artifact failed to stop the lightning. The lightning vanished like a ghost. When it appeared again, it had already struck Zhou Wen. Upon seeing this scene, God Fall laughed crazily. His face was as warped as a devil's. However, God Fall's smile quickly froze. When he had been struck by the second lightning bolt, his body had rapidly aged and lost its vitality. However, none of that happened after Zhou Wen was struck by the second lightning bolt. Zhou Wen's aura didn't weaken. It even became stronger. It was as though an intangible force was erupting from his body. Jiu Yang was slightly taken aback as he stopped and looked at Zhou Wen. Rumble. Explosive boom sounded from the light blob in the sky as the bolts of lightning formed a thunderstorm that constantly struck Zhou Wen. Zhou Wen seemed to be bathed in lightning, but his body didn't wither like God's all. Instead, his aura became stronger and stronger. Impossible. Impossible. God's fall widened his eyes as though he had gone mad. He cried out angrily but his voice was so hoarse that it was difficult to hear. Words constantly appeared on the heaven-opening scripture in Zhou Wen's body. Every bolt of lightning that fused into it formed words on the heaven-opening scripture. The shapes of the words were strange, but one could understand their meaning with a glance. From the looks of it, that thing is indeed the zone core that was shattered back then. Furthermore, it happens to be compatible with my heaven-opening scripture of the highest elder. It has benefited me. Instantly, Zhou Wen felt mixed emotions. Zhou Wen didn't know if this was considered luck. Although he had previously discovered that the heaven-opening scripture of the highest elder could absorb the points of light, he wouldn't have had the chance to absorb it if God Fall hadn't attracted the shattered zone core out. I wonder what the zone core looked like before it was shattered. Zhou Wen stared at the blob of light in the sky and realized that it was gradually shrinking. The blob of light was clearly not the true face of the zone core. It was only a collection of fragments. There was no one knowing what the real zone core looked like. Unless one chanced upon an ancient powerhouse, who had participated in the battle, it was very difficult to know what the core looked like. Zhou Wen was actually somewhat puzzled. This zone core was already so terrifying in its shattered state. It could easily kill the holy artifact wielding God's fall. How powerful would it be when it was complete? This zone core was clearly extraordinary to have so many powerhouses vie for it. More and more words appeared on the heaven-opening scripture of the highest elder. Finally, it began condensing a domain power. Zhou Wen could sense that the power of the heaven-opening scripture was building a nomological domain. Zhou Wen's body floated in the air as a strange force spread out from his body. These were the original ancient city ruins. Nearby, the ancient city ruins within the domain's range were undergoing a strange change. The broken walls, stone pillars, and ground were like a movie playing backwards as they were restored to their former appearance. The weathered bricks were gradually repaired, and broken stone pillars appeared out of thin air. The entire ancient city seemed to be undergoing a reversal of time. Zhou Wen, is he condensing a domain to advance to the Calamity Grade? Carlos couldn't move his eyes away when he saw the strange magical scene. After running for a short distance, they realized that something was amiss. When they turned their heads and saw the scene, they were stunned. Zhou Wen. He seems to have a pure human body. Yukai sized up Zhou Wen's body as his expression turned even odder. It wasn't just Yukai. Zhou Yang also discovered the same problem. Zhou Wen didn't have any traces of spirit casting on him nor did he have the characteristics of a dimensional creature after using the mythical serum. No matter how he looked at it, he was a pure human. 
He's advancing to the calamity grade as a pure human? Zhou Yang stood there and looked at Zhou Wen in a daze. Chapter 1588 Regicide Zhou Yang had always believed that Zhou Wen had used some method to advance to the calamity grade. Now, he suddenly realized that Zhou Wen was condensing a domain. Furthermore, it was completely different from what he had imagined. Zhou Wen seemed to be a pure-blooded human without using any external help. Can pure-blooded humans really reach this stage? Zhou Yang looked at Zhou Wen with a complicated expression. God's Fall's expression was even more complicated. He didn't have any blood left to vomit. Otherwise, he would have definitely vomited another three liters of blood. He had lost his vitality from being struck by the lightning. Zhou Wen had been struck by the same lightning, but he ended up advancing to the calamity grade. There was no justice in this world. It shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be like this. The resentment in God's Fall's heart couldn't be appeased. He used his last breath to order the fiend armored tiger soul general to kill Zhou Wen. Even if he couldn't kill Zhou Wen, it was fine if he could interrupt his advancement to the calamity grade. The fiend armored tiger soul general accepted the order and turned to look at Zhou Wen. The purple flames in his eyes constantly flickered, but he didn't immediately rush over. God's fall believed that due to his severed vitality and how he was on his last breath that his connection with his companion beast had weakened. All he did was repeatedly urge the fiend armored tiger soul general. The fiend armored tiger soul general received God's fall's repeated orders, but it still didn't charge at Zhou Wen. He slowly turned around and walked towards God's fall. You? What are you doing? I told you to kill him! God's fall roared at the fiend armored tiger soul general. He didn't know what had happened. Why would the fiend armored tiger soul general walk to him? He had clearly ordered the fiend armored tiger soul general to kill Zhou Wen. Why would the fiend armored tiger soul general walk back? God fall was puzzled. At the same time, he seemed to realize something. He immediately sent the fiend armored tiger soul general's information again. Malicious evil. Heaven defying slaying. Jinx's master. What kind of F asterisk king companion beast is this? Only then did God's fall realize that something was amiss with the fiend armored tiger soul general. Be it his life providence, life soul, will of destiny, terror transformation, calamity zone, or skills, everything was very wrong. Just looking at it might not be much, but when combined together, God's fall felt a chill run down his spine. He had never seen a companion beast with such evil and vile attributes. Together with the heaven-defying slaying zone and Jinx's master skill, this deepened the chill running down his spine. He opened his mouth to seek help from Jiu Yang. However, just as he opened his mouth, the spear in the fiend armored tiger soul general's hand slashed across his neck. God's fall's head was sent flying. This development stunned everyone. Jiu Yang never expected God's fall to be killed by his companion beast. He looked at the tiger soul general with blood still dripping from his spear tip. His face was filled with shock. Carlos, am I dreaming? Wasn't that companion beast snatched away by Godfall? His owner should be Godfall, right? Yukai rubbed his eyes in disbelief. You aren't dreaming. I saw it too. He's indeed Godfall's companion beast, and it has indeed killed him, said Carlos with an odd expression. A companion beast killing its master? How can that be? Furthermore, once its master dies, it should be reduced to ashes, right? Yokai's mind was filled with question marks. God's fall's head fell to the ground as his eyes nearly popped out. It was obvious how he couldn't accept his death. The companion beast tattoo on his body dissipated with his death, turning into essence energy that returned to the universe. However, the fiend armored tiger soul general remained standing proudly on his mount without any signs of dissipating. This strange scene made everyone shudder. If companion beasts could kill their masters, then with so many companion beasts on them, they wouldn't even know how they died if a companion beast attacked them one day. There was no way to defend against it. The blob of light in the sky shrank as the domain power emitted from Zhou Wen's body intensified. The restoration of the ancient city nearby sped up. Ancient buildings were erected out of thin air, gradually restoring the ancient city to its original appearance. Strange. Could it be that the heaven-opening scripture's domain is a time-reversal zone? Zhou Wen was somewhat puzzled. The power displayed by the domain now was like reversing time but the heaven-opening scripture of the highest elder had nothing to do with temporal powers. From the beginning to now, he had never used a temporal item to advance. No, it's not temporal, Zhou Wen quickly realized the problem. If it was a reversal of time, not only would the ancient city be restored, but everything inside would also be restored. Zhou Wen didn't know if there were any residents in the ancient city in the past, but there would definitely be creatures destroying it. If time flowed back, the creatures that destroyed the ancient city should have appeared in the reverse flow of time. Now, only the ancient city was being restored. The creatures that had destroyed it didn't appear. Furthermore, upon careful inspection, 
one would discover that many places in the domain hadn't changed because of the domain's power. Only the ancient city had changed. What kind of domain is this? Zhou Wing kept sensing the domain's power, but he still couldn't understand what kind of domain it was. The power of a domain was formed from two parts. One was the essence energy art that one cultivated, including the life providence, life soul, wheel of destiny, and terror transformation formed during the cultivation of the essence energy art. These would have a certain effect on the domains. Abilities. The other important component was the zone core that one absorbed. Zhou Wing could sense the portion of the essence energy art, but he didn't know what kind of power the zone core gave him. He also needed to constantly discover the domain's abilities. From the beginning, when the zone core severely injured God's all, its power showed some form of devouring and absorption. However, now that Zhou Wen had absorbed the zone core's power, it produced an effect similar to the reverse flow of time. This made Zhou Wen momentarily unable to determine what kind of ability the domain condensed by the Tao Sutra was. Zhou Wen also thought of another possibility. If one's essence energy art and zone core combined to produce a domain, producing a special reaction, it might also trigger a domain ability that was different from both. Just like a chemical reaction, the combination of two different elements could form a new material. Of course, this was only Zhou Wen's guess. Perhaps it wasn't a new ability. It was only because Zhou Wen didn't know much about the zone core's abilities. Boom! Only a tiny portion of the blob of light remained. This portion transformed into a huge pillar of light that blasted at Zhou Wen. As the pillar of light descended on Zhou Wen, the entire forbidden land of the gods began to tremble. It was as though a huge earthquake had happened. Cracks that spanned hundreds of kilometers appeared on the ground as everything collapsed. The buildings in Sunset City collapsed one after another, and huge rifts opened beneath the city. Half of the city had already fallen, and the remaining parts were constantly sliding down. The darkness in the sky seemed to be cut open like a curtain. It peeled off piece by piece, revealing the originally blue sky. The entire forbidden land of the gods was collapsing. So to advance to the Calamity Grade, one needs to use the power of a dimensional zone as the price. Carlos seemed to understand something. Chapter 1589 Zone Formation Yukai was rejoicing. Thankfully, you forced the evacuation of everyone in Sunset City. Otherwise, not many in Sunset City would have survived such a huge disaster. 7. The Forbidden Land of the Gods collapsed more and more violently. Carlos and Yukai didn't dare stay any longer. They turned around and rushed towards the exit of the Forbidden Land of the Gods. Thankfully, Carlos's guardian was already at the terror grade. Otherwise, it was unknown if he could escape alive. The entire Forbidden Land of the Gods collapsed except the area near Zhou Wen. The ancient city had mostly been restored. The ancient city had a mysterious and ancient aura. Buildings made of rocks had a very simple design. There were basically no decorations. Occasionally, one could see extremely simple drawings on some walls. They were also abstract things like landscapes. Is this ancient city built by humans, or is it an ancient city that originally existed in the dimensional zone? Zhou Wen guessed. However, just as he was sizing up the ancient city, it suddenly shattered and turned to dust that rose into the sky. When the ashes flew into the air, they vanished. When the ancient city completely vanished, the heaven-opening scripture of the highest elder finally completed its evolution and reached the calamity grade. Its domain power had completely taken form. It has finally advanced to the calamity grade. Zhou Wen heaved a sigh of relief. This was a pleasant surprise. He originally thought that he had made a wasted trip, but to his surprise, he raised the Tao Sutra to the Calamity Grade and condensed a Calamity Zone. However, up to now, Zhou Wen still didn't know much about the Calamity Zone's ability. He needed more time to understand it before he could figure out what kind of domain it was. The dark forbidden land of the gods no longer existed. The sky was blue. When the sunlight shone down, there were crisscrossed abysses everywhere. Just as Zhou Wen was rejoicing, he saw a blob of purple light run towards him. Looking up, it was the fiend armored tiger soul general. What's going on? Shouldn't he perish with God fall? Zhou Wen had been paying attention to the heaven opening scripture of the highest elder and the newly formed domain. He hadn't paid attention to the situation outside the domain and didn't see what had happened. Upon seeing God's fall's corpse on the ground while the fiend armored tiger soul general was rushing towards him, he was somewhat surprised. Just as he was about to stop the tiger soul general's charge, he saw the ferocious tiger leap up. The fiend armored tiger soul general transformed into a purple flame that flew towards Zhou Wen's body. It was useless for Zhou Wen to block it. The fiend armored tiger soul general transformed back into a tattoo and imprinted it on Zhou Wen's body, back in its original spot point three. Holy sh asterisk t, this. What's going on? A companion beast can return on its own without dying with its master. Zhou Wen was truly alarmed. He looked at the headless corpse 
that was sliding down the valley and couldn't help but cry out, was God's false head chopped off by Tiger Soul General? He was the one who chopped it off. Jio Yang said, as he stood not far from Zhou Wen. Was he really beheaded by Tiger Soul General? Zhou Wen was even more alarmed. Such a companion beast wasn't only feared by others, even he was also a little afraid. The companion beast was one with him. If Tiger Soul General came out while he was sleeping and beheaded him with one strike, that would be such an unjust death. Zhou Wen was momentarily at a loss. He couldn't fuse Tiger Soul General into oblivion or throw it away. Unless he could make Tiger Soul General die in battle, it was almost impossible to shake him off. It also seemed difficult to let Tiger Soul General die in battle. The more this fellow fought, the stronger he became. If he really took him to a particularly dangerous place, Zhou Wen might die before he died. Zhou Wen, are you a pure-blooded human? Jiu Yang stared at Zhou Wen and asked. Although the fiend armored Tiger Soul General was very strange, Jiu Yang wasn't too interested in him. Instead, it was Zhou Wen who piqued Jiu Yang's interest. Probably. Zhou Wen looked at his body and didn't discover anything different from a human. After receiving Zhou Wen's affirmative answer, Jiu Yang's expression became even more complicated. Can you tell me how pure-blooded humans can advance to the mythical stage? Although Jiu Yang knew that Zhou Wen probably wouldn't give him an answer, he couldn't help but ask. Up to now, the human experts at the mythical stage and above he knew had relied on external forces other than Zhou Wen. The education Jiu Yang had received since he was young and what he had seen made him believe that it was impossible for pure-blooded humans to advance to the mythical stage. The teachings of the Holy Temple clearly indicated that humans were sinners of the world. They were punished by God and had natural flaws. It was impossible for them to advance to the mythical stage as humans. However, Zhou Wen in front of him made Jiu Yang suspect the teachings of the Holy Temple for the first time. Having nine life providences and nine life souls allows the advancement to the mythical stage. Of course, it's only a possibility. The chances are very low and the possibility of failure is very high. Zhou Wen answered Jiu Yang unexpectedly. Two. In fact, this wasn't considered a secret. This was because Xia Jiu Huang had previously attempted this method. Furthermore, Jing Daoxian had told him this method, so Jing Daoxian definitely knew about it. Zhou Wen didn't believe that the other families didn't have any information about this. However, no one could do it. Apart from Xia Jiu Huang who used an inhuman forbidden technique, no one else could gather the nine life providences and nine life souls. You have nine life providences and life souls? Zhou Yang was stunned as he asked Zhou Wen in disbelief. Yes, Zhou Wen said with a smile. He suddenly instant transmitted to a spot and reached out to grab the Khanate Insight that had fallen to the ground. Then, he teleported away and instantly vanished. He had already achieved his goal here. There was no need for him to continue wasting time. Furthermore, he was interested in continuing the battle with Zhou Yang. Zhou Yang was very strong, but Zhou Wen had already seen through him. Furthermore, he had gained insight into the non-disputatious sword intent. There was no point in continuing the battle. Furthermore, he didn't plan on killing Jiu Yang. Previously, when the lightning struck, Jiu Yang had tried to help him block it. Regardless of the reason for helping him, Jiu Wen wasn't willing to kill him now. In contrast, Jiu Wen was still very interested in the Khanate Insight. Godfall could use the power of the Khanate Insight to reach the Heaven Level, so it was obvious that it was at least a Heaven Level item. Jiu Yang didn't snatch the Khanate Insight because it was useless to him. He couldn't stimulate its power. Besides, before God's Fall's death, Jiu Yang wasn't willing to touch the Khanate Insight. Otherwise, it would easily trigger a misunderstanding between the Khanate Holy Temple and the Sun God Holy Temple. Later on, God's Fall's death, as well as Zhou Wen's advancement to the Calamity Grade as a pure-blooded human, shocked Jiu Yang greatly. His attention wasn't on the Khanate Insight that had fallen to the side. Of course, it was mainly because it was useless to him. Therefore, Jiu Yang didn't take the Khanate Insight seriously. However, Zhou Wen was different. The appearance of the zone core fragments triggered by the Kane insight made him feel that he might be able to use it. Chapter 1590 Teacher Domain Zhou Wen carried demonic Nianay back to Guide City. The Holy Land probably wouldn't cause him any trouble so soon after God's Fall's death. After all, there weren't many existences like God's Fall and Zhou Yang in the Holy Land. Otherwise, the Holy Land would have long controlled the entire Federation. However, with high speeds at which anomalies happened on Earth, troubles would only become more prevalent in the future. Zhou Wen also felt that he had to find a dimensional zone to establish a city, as soon as possible. Otherwise, any calamity creature that came might destroy all the humans in Guide. City. I wonder how Li Xian and company are doing. Have they found the dimensional zone that Xia Xian you mentioned? Zhou Wen played with a Khanate insight in his hand. From Zhou Wen's point of view, it was a stone talisman. He could sense the mysterious energy within, 
but he didn't know how to trigger it. He attempted to use the power of the Dao Sutra to drive the stone talisman. After all, the Dao Sutra's zone core was lured out by the stone talisman. Zhou Wen was quickly disappointed. He realized that the stone talisman rejected the Dao Sutra's essence energy. The reason the stone talisman could trigger the zone core fragments wasn't because of the attraction between them, but because of their repelling forces. To put it simply, it was like the meeting of two enemies. Therefore, the Kanate Insight could draw out the core fragments, and the core fragments immediately targeted the Kanate Insight wielding God's fall. He died quite an unjust death. He had not expected to find himself in a dimensional zone that perfectly restrained him and the Kanate Insight. If the dimensional zone was intact, God's fall would have long discovered this problem. Unfortunately, the dimensional zone was in a half-crippled state with its core shattered. God's fall never expected such a situation. Zhou Wen tried a few more essence energy arts, but he was unable to activate the power of the Khanate Insight. All he could do was put it away before taking out his phone to study the new domain. 2. Calamity Zone, Teacher Domain, Human Realm. Teacher Domain, Domain of Education. 1. What kind of domain is the teacher domain? Could it be the domain for being a teacher? Zhou Wen looked at the information on the teacher domain and still didn't understand what kind of domain it was. He knew the word. Education but he couldn't figure out how a domain could educate others. Could it be that the domain also teaches physics and chemistry, as well as singing and dancing? Zhou would imagine the scene, and a dark cloud immediately appeared over his head. No, I have to figure it out. Just as Zhou Wen was about to switch on his phone, and find a dungeon to study the power of the teacher domain, he heard the door open. The baby bear extended its tongue and ran over excitedly. It pounced on Zhou Wen and licked his face, slathering him in saliva. Zhou Wen hurriedly hugged the baby bear, and calmed it down, before wiping the saliva from his face. When the baby bear saw Zhou Wen, it appeared abnormally excited. It would occasionally nudge Zhou Wen, preventing him from using his phone. All he could do was put it away. Has Zhou Yang's matter been resolved? Li Xian walked in and said with a smile. No, I don't know when they will come again, so you have to speed up. Find a dimensional zone that's suitable for building a city. Eyes best if it's the kind of dimensional zone that even calamity creatures can't enter without our permission. Zhou Wen said. Li Xian's expression immediately fell. It's not like you don't know how odd the dimensional zones near Guide City are. I recently explored all the nearby dimensional zones that I could enter. I nearly lost my life, but I failed to find a suitable place to build a city. Do you think Xia Xianyu is joking with us? Perhaps there's no such dimensional zone at all. It's impossible for there to be no clues if it really exists. Zhou Wen shook his head. I don't think so. She's here to cooperate. There's no benefit in lying to us and we don't suffer any losses. If there's really no other way, give her some benefits. If it's really suitable for the building of the city, it won't be a loss. It's better than being in such a disadvantaged position, right? Li Xian said. That's the only way if you really can't find anywhere suitable. By the way, which dimensional zones can't you enter? Make a list of them. I'll visit them. Zhou Wen still planned on taking a look himself. Furthermore, if he visited more dimensional zones, he might be able to find a zone core. David saved. I'll send it to you now. Li Xian took out his phone and sent a message to Zhou Wen. Zhou Wen took out his phone and took a look. Wow, there were more than 10 dimensional zones with their names and addresses listed. From the looks of it, Li Xian had worked hard. These can't be entered? Zhou Wen was somewhat puzzled. With Li Xian's abilities, was it that difficult to enter a dimensional zone? It wasn't as though he wanted him to conquer the dimensional zones. Don't you know how odd the dimensional zones in this crappy place are? Li Xian rolled his eyes at him and said angrily, All right, I'll visit them now. Zhou Wen got up and prepared to leave. When he reached the door, he seemed to think of something as he stopped and looked at Li Xian. Why are you looking at me? Have you never seen a handsome guy before? Li Xian felt a little uncomfortable being looked at by Zhou Wen as he shouted, Do you know this thing? Zhou Wen took out the Khanate Insight and held it in front of Li Xian with his fingers. Li Xian's Cultivation Foundation was also the invincible Khanate Divine Art. Although it was incomplete, he could be considered half a member of the Khanate Holy Temple. Perhaps he could use it. This thing looks a little familiar. Let me think. Li Xian pondered for a moment before slapping his thigh. T he's seen this before. Where have you seen it? Zhou Wen was alarmed, imagining that Li Xian knew what the stone talisman was. You still want to test me? Don't you know that I'm well versed in everything from astronomy to geology? This thing is a magatama, right? It's something from overseas. In the past, Li Ma Bai had brought some back from overseas. Although he called them divine artifacts, they were actually useless, nothing. More than an accessory, Li Xian said. 
Have you seen such a mark on the Magatama? Shouwen pointed at the horizontal marks on the Kane Insight. Li Xian took a closer look and said in puzzlement, I've never seen such Magatama. Typical Magatama should have a hole at the head. Why is this spot empty? This is called Yao. The long lines are Yang, while the short lines are called Yin. Together they form hexagrams. You know about the eight trigrams, right? Zhou went through the Khanate insight to Li Xian. I got it from a saint from the Khanate Holy Temple. It seems like only saints who cultivate the invincible Khanate divine art can trigger its power. Try and see if you can use it. They have to give it a try then. Li Xian caught the Khanate insight and circulated his essence energy art, attempting to inject essence energy into it. Chapter 1591 Li Xian's face flushed red, but there was still no reaction from the Khanate insight. Old Zhou, don't tell me you randomly picked up a stone by the side of the road to Bulsh Asterisk Timi? Li Xian asked Zhou when with a look of suspicion. They've better things to do. Zhou Wen took back the Khanate insight and curled his lips. It's definitely because your training isn't up to par. Otherwise, why can't you use it when the Khanate Holy Temple Saint can? TCH, that's because it's beneath me. How good can something from the Khanate Holy Temple be? I want to create a path that belongs to me. I'll kill all those Khanate saints later and let them know who's the orthodox one. I like to forge my own path and force others to have no other paths to take. Li Xian wore a look of contempt. All right, I'll pay a visit to those dimensional zones. Zhou Wen couldn't be bothered to waste his breath on him. He walked out and the baby bear followed behind him. After Zhou Wen left, Li Xian cursed under his breath hatefully. What the hell is that crap? How dare you discriminate against me? When I destroy the Khanate Holy Temple in the future, I won't allow anyone to cultivate the invincible Kane divine art again. I'll make sure you are never used by others. Till tum you into a useless piece of trash. It wasn't that Li Xian didn't want it, but he really didn't have the ability to use it. After all, his invincible Kane divine art wasn't pure. Few people who practiced the orthodox version in the Kane holy temple could use the Kane insight, much less a pirated version. Zhou Wen looked at the baby bear beside him and had a nagging feeling that something was amiss, but he couldn't recall it. Strange. Why do I feel like I've forgotten something? Zhou Wen frowned in thought, but after some thought, he couldn't figure out what was amiss. Yer was with Yin family, while Chick was still evolving to the Calamity grade. The antelope had been following Yer and didn't come along. This was also the reason Zhou Wen felt at ease letting Yer stay with Yin family. With the antelope by Yer's side, it could escape with Yer even if they encountered an invincible opponent. Zhou Wen thought carefully, and thought that he was missing something. He opened the chaos space, and did a head count. Zhou Wen immediately realized what he had forgotten. He had left Liz and Leem in the chaos space point one. How did I forget them? Seeing that there was no one around, Zhou Wen decided to release them. Master. After Liz and Lena came out, they immediately prostrated before Zhou Wen. They showed no resentment despite being confined for so long. Get up. From now on, you are not allowed to call me master. It was fine in Regretless City, but if anyone in the Federation saw Liz and Leem call him master there would be plenty of opportunity for misunderstandings. Your devilish excellency. Liz and Lim wanted to address him by his title, but they were stopped by Zhou Wen. You aren't allowed to call me your devilish excellency either. In the future, just call me Zhou Wen. This is an order. Zhou Wen knew that it was impossible to reason with them, so he went straight to the point. Yes. Moss. Zhou. Wen. Although the two sisters didn't know why the devil king wanted them to call him that, they were willing to obey unconditionally. They didn't know what the words Zhou Wen meant. When they called Zhou Wen, they were actually thinking about your devilish excellency. They made a name into an honorific. Therefore, when they addressed Zhou Wen by name, their intonation sounded odd. After the two sisters stood up, they realized that there were all sorts of plants everywhere. There were also various insects and beasts shuttling through the forest. Birds flew in the sky, and the baby bear, who was still following Zhou Wen, was momentarily stunned. Having lived in Regretless City, they had never seen such a scene. They thought that this was heaven. Is this? Is this heaven? Liz and Lee muttered to themselves in confusion. Of course not. Humanity is now in deep waters, and can die at any moment. If this were heaven, I reckon no one would be willing to go to heaven after death, Zhou Wen thought. Sorry. Sorry. Only then did Liz and Lee recall that their master was the devil king. How could they mention heaven in front of him? They hurriedly apologized. This place is the same as Regretless City. There are also many humans here, but the humans here are different from the humans in Regretless City. Many of the humans here are very evil and can kill you at any time. Therefore, if you encounter other humans in the future, don't randomly talk to them. Much less tell anyone about how you come from Regretless City. 
In the future, you have to obey my orders. Joe and told them some things to facilitate their adaptation to life on Earth. Liz and Lean listened attentively to Joe Wen's teachings and memorized every word. Liz, release your blessing halo. After Joe Wen told him everything he could think of, he thought of her abilities and wanted to see what effects her blessing halo had. Liz's life providence and life soul were blessing powers, while Lean's were cursed powers. Both were very useful. Yes, Joe Wen. Liz immediately used her life soul. A circular halo appeared beneath Liz's feet like slowly blooming lotus flowers. Standing near her, he could clearly sense a strange force infusing into his body. The closer he got to her, the clearer his senses became. Although this power didn't enhance his physique, it made Joe Wen feel comfortable. What's the use of your blessing halo? Joe Wen asked. I can find more when searching for stone root grass. Liz answered shyly. How pathetic. In that place, no matter how good one's talent and ability is, it's all a waste. Joe Wen led Liz and leaned to a nearby dimensional zone. Firstly, he could search for the dimensional zone, and secondly, he could give it a try and see how much help the blessing halo could provide him. Joe Wen didn't have much hope. After all, Liz's level was too low. She was only at the epic stage. Joe Wen didn't have high expectations for her blessing halo. It was fine as long as it had some practical use. If he had a chance of advancing to the calamity grade in the future, a large-scale blessing zone would be amazing. Of course, it also depended on whether Liz and Lean would have any other ideas after coming to Earth. Joe Wen didn't plan on nurturing the nail. After following the direction indicated by the map, Joe Wen suddenly saw a white companion egg the size of an ostrich egg on the grass in front of him. Its outer shell was like porcelain. No way. Is the blessing halo that useful? I can pick up companion eggs just by walking. Joe Wen used Truth Listener to scan his surroundings, but he didn't discover any ambushes or other creatures. Am I really that lucky? Joe Wen took out his phone and snapped a picture of the companion beast. It was really a companion egg. Chapter 1592 Sky Mortal Swan Heavenly Crane Calamity Evolvable Life Providence Sky Mortal Life Soul Swan Wheel of Destiny Fairy Wings Terror Form Sky Mortal Transformation S Grade Calamity Zone Charming Zone Human Realm Strength 100 Speed 100 Constitution 100 Essence Energy 100 Talent Skill Flying Immortal Skill Heavenly Avian Cross Charming Dance, Swan's Call. Companion Form, Wings. Are the effects of the Blessing Halo that powerful? I actually picked up an evolvable Calamity Great Companion Egg just by having it activated. What if it's activated for 10 hours? Joe Wen was puzzled. He felt that something was amiss. If the Blessing Halo was really that impressive, Liz wouldn't have had such a tragic life in Regretless City. A blessing is only a blessing after all, not luck. Even Wang Lu, who has so many luck companion beasts, doesn't have such good luck much less Liz's blessing halo. She's only at the epic stage. Joe and felt that something was amiss, but he had already used Truth Listener to scan the surroundings several times, but he didn't discover any problems. Apart from some ordinary birds and beasts, there wasn't a single dimensional creature in a radius of more than 5 kilometers. The nearby dimensional zones were also very quiet. No breakout dimensional creatures appeared. There's no reason for me not to pick up such a high-level companion egg, right? Joe Wynn made up his mind. He summoned the prison dragon armor and put it on before carefully walking to the companion egg side. After making two probes, he picked it up. Nothing happened. Joe Wen successfully obtained the companion egg and looked around, but he didn't discover anything abnormal. There's no stopping luck when it comes. I managed to pick up an evolvable calamity grade companion beast just like that. Joe Wen was extremely delighted. In the past, he had worked so hard to kill a calamity grade creature so that he might have a companion egg drop. Great, he was now just picking one off the road. Zhou Wen held the companion egg and looked around before wiping his body. He muttered to himself, if, had known that the blessing halo was so useful, I would have released Liz a long time ago. Since there wasn't anyone around, Zhou Wen took a picture of the companion egg and hatched it in game. Soon, a beautiful white swan appeared in front of Zhou Wen. Moments later, it transformed into a pair of snow-white wings and appeared behind him. Zhou Wen gently flapped his wings and instantly appeared far away. This wing companion beast augments my flying speed greatly. Joe Wen was even more delighted. As he continued on his way with Liz and Leem, he got her to keep the blessing halo activated the entire time. Joe Wen thought to himself, Slash F can pick up a calamity great companion egg with the blessing halo activated, just picking one up every hour would be awesome. Despite having this in mind, Joe Wen walked all the way to the dimensional zone without picking up anything. Ignoring the calamity great companion egg, he didn't even see a legendary companion egg. From the looks of it, 
It was just a coincidence. It wasn't the power of the blessing halo. Joe Wen wasn't an insatiable person. He was already very satisfied to have picked up one calamity grade companion egg. He threw all his energy into the dimensional zone in front of him. This dimensional zone was a river. In the past, this was the Yellow River's old course. Due to the Yellow River's change in direction, this place had almost dried up. However, after the dimensional storms, it was filled with river water again. Furthermore, no matter how deep he dived, he couldn't reach the bottom of the river. What was even more terrifying was that one would sink in the river water even while holding onto a life buoy. Many people failed to leave after entering. Up to now, no one knew what was at the bottom of the river. There was definitely a dimensional zone in the river, but no one knew what kind of dimensional zone it was. There were two commonly proliferated legends. One was that there were water ghosts under the former course of the Yellow River dimensional zone. People would be pulled down by the water ghosts to replace them as scapegoats once they entered the river. Although the versions of the water ghost legends were different, they shared roughly the same idea. There was also another legend that beneath the Yellow River's old course lay a buried ancient city. The ancient city under the river was the true dimensional zone. The various legends were somewhat exaggerated, but no one had really seen the water ghosts or the ancient city. Furthermore, most of the people who had entered the river had vanished. Although Li Xian had an immortal body, he wasn't good at swimming. If he really fell into the water, it would be difficult for him to escape even if he didn't drown. Therefore, Li Xian didn't dare investigate this dimensional zone. Zhou Wen could swim pretty well. He had specially cultivated water type essence energy skills, so his combat strength in the water wasn't much weaker than on the ground. Therefore, he chose the Yellow River's former course as his first stop. Zhou Wen only planned on heading down to take a look and see if there was the legendary ancient city. If there was really a legendary ancient city at the bottom of the river, he might be able to create a city similar to Atlantis. Perhaps it would become famous in the future and become a new, legendary underwater city. However, just as he approached the Yellow River, Zhou Wen saw that the river water seemed to be boiling as it emitted bubbles in the middle of the river. What's happening? Zhou Wen frowned slightly. He had never heard of such a thing happening in the Yellow River. He had only heard that the surface of the river was as calm as still water, and that life buoys couldn't float. However, the bubbles that constantly rose in the middle seemed to be a result of boiling. This didn't look like calm stagnant water. Zhou Wen carefully observed for a while, and realized that the bubbles weren't formed by high temperatures. The temperature of the river wasn't high, and the bubbles rose from beneath the river. Is there something blowing bubbles down there? Zhou Wen used Truth Listener to scan the bottom of the river, but the river was like a bottomless abyss. After scanning for more than a thousand meters, he still didn't find anything, nor did he discover the bottom of the river. All he saw were large amounts of bubbles rising from the depths of the river as they constantly rushed out. If such an anomaly hadn't happened, Zhou Wen would have dived into the river to take a look, but now, he couldn't just enter. As he was pondering over it, he suddenly saw the bubbles that had appeared in the middle of the river turn blood-colored. It was as though blood was gushing out from the bottom of the river. The pungent smell of blood quickly entered Zhou Wen's nose. As the blood gushed out, waves began to appear on the river's surface. The water level in the middle of the river clearly rose. Something's coming out? Zhou Wen had already sensed that deep in the abyss-like river, a behemoth was slowly surfacing. Chapter 1593 Bottom of the River Zhou Wen originally imagined that the thing floating up would be a dimensional creature, but to his surprise, after a while, he saw a huge metal pillar extend out of the abyss, like river. Splash! The metal pillar broke out of the water and kept rising. The part that surfaced was black, as though it was made of raw metal. There were many strange patterns engraved on it. The metal column was more than 2 meters in diameter. After surfacing for about 7 to 8 meters, it finally stopped. The blood-colored river water that remained on the metal column constantly flowed down the patterns on the metal column. It looked like the metal column was bleeding. What the hell is this? Zhou Wen sized up the metal column and suddenly thought of the sea-stabilizing holy cudgel from Journey to the West. They were both stuck in the water, but one was stuck in the sea and the other in the river. The way they appeared was very similar. Zhou Wen couldn't help but shout at the metal column. Expand! The metal column clearly didn't react, leaving Zhou Wen rather disappointed. However, it was just a spur of the moment. On careful look, he knew that the metal column was very different from the sea stabilizing holy cudgel. The sea stabilizing holy cudgel was also known as the compliant golden hooped rod. The two ends were golden, but this metal column was completely black. It was clearly not the same thing. Zhou Wen first stored Liz and Leem in the chaos space. He originally wanted to store the baby bear inside, but the baby bear refused. The Chaos Egg could only store creatures that entered willingly. If the baby bear didn't cooperate, Zhou Wen couldn't store it. Thankfully, nothing happened after the metal column appeared. He didn't have to worry for the time being. 
Zhou Wen glanced at the metal column and decided to leave with the baby bear. He wasn't afraid, but it would be bad if anything happened to the baby bear and the sleeping demonic neonate. Just as Zhou Wen turned around, he suddenly felt a huge force behind him. His body involuntarily slid towards the metal column. Zhou Wen was alarmed as he hurriedly gathered his strength to escape the metal column's suction force. However, he failed to withstand it. Even though he used all his strength, his body still slid towards the metal column. The baby bear was even worse than Zhou Wen. Its claws scratched the ground, tearing through the rocks, but it still slid towards the metal column at an even faster rate than Zhou Wen. With a thought from Zhou Wen, thousands of sword pills appeared out of thin air, transforming into swords that charged at the metal column. Clang! 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 The sword pills struck the metal column, creating deep dents. If there was enough time, the metal column would probably be shattered by the sword pills. However, the suction force on the metal column didn't disappear. Zhou Wen and the baby bear were still sucked towards the dented metal column. Furthermore, the suction force was still increasing in intensity, pulling them towards it at faster speeds. Come out! Zhou Wen summoned the golden WYRM scissors and the soul mirror. The golden WYRM scissors transformed into a golden beam of light that snipped at the metal column. The soul mirror also used the soul eye illuminating divine light on the metal column in a bid to store it inside. Clang! Just as the golden WYRM scissors approached the metal column, it stuck to it like a piece of metal sucked by a powerful magnet. The soul mirror soul eye illuminating divine light shone on the metal column, but it didn't react at all. It didn't get stored in the soul mirror. Instead, the soul mirror was also sucked onto the metal column. It's too late. Zhou Wen gritted his teeth and used teacher domain. In the domains that Zhou Wen had already condensed, human sovereign sacrifices to the heavens was a healing type, while the chaos egg was a defensive type. Only the usage of teacher domain remained unknown, so he decided to give it a try. When the teacher domain was activated, an invisible domain immediately enveloped the river. Zhou Wen felt his body lighten as the suction force from the metal column vanished. The golden WYRM scissors and soul mirror were also unsummoned by Zhou Wen. The baby bear in the teacher domain stopped at the same time and was no longer pulled towards the metal column. Although I still don't know what abilities the teacher domain has, it looks rather useful. Zhou Wen stood in midair as sword pills appeared from the void. A portion of the sword pills appeared beneath the baby bear and lifted it up. More sword pills charged at the metal column like a surging river, constantly striking it. Clang! 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 The metal column constantly caved in and deformed from the impact. Shattered pieces of metal fell and landed in the river. Crack! The metal column above the water surface shattered and collapsed into the river, the result of sword pills bombardment. However, the metal column above the river surface was only a very short portion. Such a strike didn't seem to shake the foundation of the metal column. With a thought from Zhou Wen, the sword pills charged into the river and constantly struck the metal column, shattering it inch by inch. Even the river water failed to lessen the sword pills' attacks. I want to see what's up. Zhou Wen charged into the river with the infinite sword pills. Wherever Zhou Wen stood, sword pills appeared out of thin air, warding off the river water. The sword pills constantly struck the metal column, shattering it. However, the metal column was just too long. The parts Zhou Wen could sense exceeded a thousand meters. He didn't know when he could completely destroy it if he continued bombarding it. Therefore, after trying for a while, Zhou Wen gave up on the idea of completely destroying the metal column. He circled around it and, under the protection of the sword domain, headed deep into the river. In the Calamity Grade Sword Domain, the sword pill particles were indestructible. Even if they dissipated, they only went from light to darkness. With a thought, Zhou Wen could switch them without expending any energy. Zhou Wen dived a thousand meters, but he still failed to see the bottom of the river. Beneath him was still a bottomless river. The metal column seemed to have no end as it continued extending towards the bottom of the dark river. I don't believe you have no end! Zhou Wen continued charging down. The lower he went, the stronger the suction force of the river. The suction force on the metal column became stronger. However, with the protection of the teacher domain, the suction force was useless against Zhou Wen. The sword domain tore through the river and served as an aegis for Zhou Wen and the baby bear to rush into the depths of the river. After diving for more than 3,000 meters, Zhou Wen finally sensed the existence of the river's bottom. At the same time, he saw the end of the metal column. Beneath the metal column was a gigantic toad. It was jade white and crystalline, and it suffused a holy halo. The combination of ugliness and holiness looked extremely strange. The toad was constantly respiring in a bid to escape the suppression of the black metal column. The bubbles came from its mouth. The black metal column pressed down on it. Every time it struggled, 
the black metal column would crush a parotid gland on its body. Black red liquid flowed out from it, dyeing the nearby river red. As the toad exhaled, it produced a terrifying suction force that sucked everything nearby into its mouth. Its mouth was like a bottomless pit that couldn't be filled. And its main target was Zhou Wen. Chapter 1594 Lusting Toad However, its suction force immediately vanished when it came into contact with Zhou Wen's teacher domain. The toad continued sucking with all its might as it looked at Zhou Wen with eyes filled with greed. If it wasn't suppressed by the black metal column and couldn't rush out, it would have long lunged at Zhou Wen. At that moment, Zhou Wen realized that the black metal column had penetrated the toad's body and nailed it into the rocks at the bottom of the river. Every time the toad breathed, the black metal column rose a few meters and was slowly squeezed out of its body. Large amounts of blood spewed out during the process. Although Zhou Wen was very willing to fight powerhouses, that was typically against humans. He always took advantage of any weakness of dimensional creatures to kill them. Sword domain activated as countless sword pill particles charged at the toad. However, when the sword pill particles rushed out of the teacher domain, they were immediately sucked into the toad's mouth. Then, their connection with Zhou Wen was severed as though they had been sucked into another space. This skill is somewhat similar to Behemoth's. Zhou Wen bombarded the toad with sword pill particles, but no matter how many there were, they would be sucked into the toad's mouth. Not a single one was left. Trilly would have been helpless against you in the past. Zhou Wen saw the metal column in its body rise higher and higher, as though it was about to be completely pulled out. Without any hesitation, he charged at the toad. As Zhou Wen approached, the domain enveloped the toad. When the teacher domain completely enveloped the toad, Zhou Wen discovered a magical scene. The powerful suction force that erupted from the toad's mouth instantly vanished. It felt as though the toad's power was blocked. The sanctified light on the toad's body instantly dimmed. The toad's body lost its luster, as its originally snow-white crystalline body turned into a charcoal-like color. Without the terrifying suction force, the resplendent defense over its body vanished. The sword pills surged toward the toad without any obstruction. Countless sword pills struck the toad like billions of arrows piercing through its body. The toad's body was covered in holes. Blood and poison flowed out. It looked disgusting and terrifying, making one feel nauseous. The toad roared angrily, but it couldn't release its strength that could only circulate within its body. However, its body was nailed to the bottom of the river by the metal pillar, preventing it from escaping. The pitiful toad was crushed to pieces by Zhou Wen's sword domain. Its body was completely shattered by sword pill, dyeing the river red. Just as Zhou Wen was about to head over to take a look and see if there were any companion eggs, he suddenly saw a strange light fly out of the toad's flesh. It charged into the cosmos like a laser and vanished in the blink of an eye. What was that? Zhou Wen frowned slightly as he looked up at the sky, but he couldn't see anything in the cosmos. Crack! Crack! The huge metal pillar suddenly began to shatter. Furthermore, the originally hard metal seemed to turn into mud. It melted into the water the moment it made contact with the water. It was a shadow of its former hardness. Zhou Wen used his sword domain to ward off the river water before searching the toad's flesh. He saw that there seemed to be crystalline moonlight seeping out of the flesh as he peeled it open. There was a jade artifact inside. A moonlight-like halo seeped out from the artifact. What's this? Zhou Wen extended his hand and sucked the artifact over. The artifact was crystalline. It looked like a basin carved from flawless jade. Even the jade basin emitted a blurry glow. Zhou Wen rummaged through the flesh again, but he didn't find anything like a calamity essence or companion egg. There wasn't even a dimensional crystal. What's this? Zhou Wen held the jade basin and looked at it for a while. He had never seen anything similar in a dimensional creature's body. This wasn't a dimensional crystal or a companion egg. There seemed to be a mysterious force circulating in the jade basin, but it was different from the toad's powers. The metal pillar had already turned to mud and sank to the bottom of the river. Zhou Wen searched the bottom of the river again, but he didn't see the legendary underwater city, nor did he discover any water ghosts. There's only one toad under the huge yellow river? Zhou Wen was somewhat puzzled. It clearly hadn't been a day or two since the toad had been suppressed at the bottom of the river. Why did it suddenly want to escape when he arrived? This was too much of a coincidence. Just as he returned to the river surface, Zhou Wen suddenly saw someone drinking and roasting meat by the river bank. Jing Dao Xian? Zhou Wen immediately frowned when he saw the person. This alcohol isn't bad. Try it. Jing Daoxian threw the wine flask at Zhou Wen. That companion egg is yours? Zhou Wen didn't drink from it as he threw the alcohol flask back. The sky mortal swan companion beast isn't bad, right? Jing Daoxian said with a smile. So it was you causing trouble. What do you want? Zhou Wen asked. Jing Daoxian drank a mouthful of alcohol and took another mouthful of meat. As he chewed, he said, 
The Sky Mortal Swan Companion Beast is pretty good, but incubating it will definitely alarm the toad. There aren't many humans on Earth who have the ability to finish it at the bottom of the river. Zhou Wen looked at Jing Daoxian without a word. He didn't believe that Jing Daoxian would give him the Sky Mortal Swan Companion Egg for this reason. Do you know the story of a toad lusting after a swan? Jing Daoxian asked with a smile. Isn't it just a story of a toad wanting to eat swan meat? Zhou Wen asked. Young man, you should read more. The protagonists of this story are actually two immortals. One is called Toad Immortal, while the other is Swan Fairy. At Queen Mother's Immortality Peach Banquet, Toad Immortal saw the beautiful Swan Fairy and was momentarily unable to restrain his emotions. He tried to molest Swan Fairy. In her rage, Queen Mother casually threw a moon essence basin at Toad Immortal, stopping him from molesting Swan Fairy and banishing him to the mortal world. To everyone's surprise, the moon essence basin fused into Toad Immortal's body and could no longer be extracted. As the moon essence basin was a gift from the moon goddess, Queen Mother felt some regret. She wanted the moon essence basin back after allowing Toad Immortal to return to the heavenly courts after experiencing certain trials. Zhou Wen's heart stirred when he heard Jing Daoxian's story. Could it be that the Jade Basin is the Moon Essence Basin? That's ultimately a myth. Even if that toad is really toad immortal, it might not be the same as the myth. Zhou Wen said. It's indeed different, but the Moon Essence Basin does exist. Furthermore, it's already in your hands, right? Jing Daoxian said with a smile. Chapter 1595 Moon Essence Basin What Moon Essence Basin? I've never seen it before. Zhou Wen immediately denied. What a joke. It hadn't been easy for him to obtain it. He definitely couldn't give it to Jing Daoxian. Jing Daoxian only smiled. Don't worry. I don't want the Moon Essence Basin. I just want to remind you that you have the Sky Mortal Swan and the Moon Essence Basin. Toad Immortal won't let you off so easily. Shall repeat myself? I've never seen the Moon Essence Basin. Furthermore, I've already killed it. So what if it doesn't let me off? Can it crawl back from the Netherworld and bite me? Zhou Wen didn't believe Jing Daoxian. Have you forgotten the story I just told you? You only killed Toad Immortal's mortal body. It can be considered as helping Toad Immortal escape. When it completely recovers its true body, it will quickly come for you. Jing Daoxian said. Don't tell me you want me to give you the Sky Immortal Swan and the Moon Essence Basin so that you can lure the Toad Immortal away. Zhou Wen didn't believe Jing Daoxian at all. If you trust me, I can help you. Jing Daoxian said seriously. Stop joking. If there's nothing else, I'll take my leave. Zhou Wen turned around and left. Jing Daoxian said. You should know very well that you can kill the toad because it's suppressed to begin with. That body is also a restriction on Toad Immortal. When it recovers and makes a comeback, it won't be that easy to deal with. It's a top-notch heaven-level creature. Zhou Wen turned around and asked. Why don't you tell me what you want the Moon Essence Basin for? Jing Daoxian had plotted to give the Sky Mortal Swan Companion Egg to Zhou Wen so that he could kill the toad. It was naturally a plot for him to obtain the Moon Essence Basin. I didn't plan on hiding it from you. I need the essence of the sun and moon to help the Yin Yang mirror grow. The moon essence basin is a treasure for moon essence. It's very helpful for the Yin Yang mirror's growth. Jing Daoxian paused before saying, However, I'm not lying to you. As long as you have. The sky mortal swan and the moon essence basin on you, Toad Immortal will be able to find you once it completely recovers its true body. Then let's put it this way. What do I gain by giving you the sky mortal swan and the moon essence basin? Zhou Wen asked bluntly. Is it not dying the greatest benefit? Jing Daoxian narrowed his eyes and said, I know you can't accept it, but how can there be so many things in this world that go according to one's wishes? A young man can grow by suffering some losses. This is tuition money that you need to pay. As long as you don't die, you will gain experience from suffering losses. You can also get others to pay you tuition fees in the future. Sorry, I quit school a long time ago. Zhou Wen turned around and left with the baby bear. Don't think that you can fight Toad Immortal just because you killed that Toad. The Toad was only mortal, completely different from Toad Immortal. Jing Daoxian said, That's still better than you not being able to deal with a mere Toad. Zhou Wen said without looking back, Teal will be heading to Inch you soon. You can find me there when you need me. Jing Daoxian added, Please go, and don't worry about me. Zhou Wen waved his hand and quickly left. Jing Daoxian wasn't in a rush. He took a sip of alcohol and muttered to himself, when you meet the real Toad Immortal, you will naturally come to me. Although Zhou Wen rejected Jing Daoxian, that didn't mean that he didn't take Toad Immortal to heart. Jing Daoxian was right. If the Toad hadn't been suppressed, it wouldn't have been that easy for him to kill it. Furthermore, the teacher domain played a huge role in his killing of the Toad. Otherwise, it would have been a bitter battle. 
Regardless of whether Toad Immortal was as powerful as Jing Daoxian described, he had to be wary of him. The pressing matter at hand is to study the teacher domain. This domain is extremely useful. Even if I don't fight Toad Immortal, it will be of great use in the future. Zhou Wen thought for a moment, and didn't continue exploring the other dimensional zones. Instead, he teleported to the moon. He wanted to ask Lady Supreme in what the moon essence basin was. Where's the misfortune dimensional creature I got you to find? Lady Supreme Ian asked when she saw Zhou Wen. About that? I haven't found it yet. Zhou Wen had forgotten about it. It wasn't that Zhou Wen didn't wish to do something, but Lady Supreme Yin's requirements were too high. The attribute of misfortune was difficult to find to begin with, and it required something with low levels but with great potential. Zhou Wen had never seen such a dimensional creature before. Why are you here when you haven't found it? Lady Supreme Ian said angrily. Lady Goddess, I have something here. I want you to help me take a look at it. Zhou Wen took out the Moon Essence Basin. The door to Lady Supreme Yin's temple suddenly opened. Moonlight shone out and landed on the Moon Essence Basin, sweeping it into the temple before closing the door. Lady Goddess, what are you doing? Zhou Wen was alarmed as he thought to himself, Don't tell me Lady Supreme Yin wants to steal my Moon Essence Basin. Where did you get this? Lady Supreme Yin didn't answer Zhou Wen's question and instead asked. Zhou Wen recounted what had happened. After Lady Supreme Yin heard that, she sighed and said, So that's how it is. You've gotten into big trouble. Jing Daoxian is right. As long as the Moon Essence Basin and the Sky Mortal Swan are with you, Toad Immortal won't let you off. No matter where you are, it will be able to find you. Legend has it that this Moon Essence Basin is a gift from the Moon Goddess to the Queen Mother. Is it true? Do the Heavenly Courts and the Queen Mother really exist? Zhou Wen asked curiously. Lady Supreme Yin fell silent for a while. Only when Zhou Wen began suspecting that she had fallen asleep did she say, there's no heavenly courts in the world, but Queen Mother does exist. However, she's not in the heavenly courts, but a dimensional zone on Earth. In that case, is the Moon Essence Basin really a gift from you? Zhou Wen said in surprise. No. Lady Supreme Ian explained. The Moon Essence Basin is actually a zone core. It was forcefully destroyed by Queen Mother and extracted from a dimensional zone. I don't know what it was originally used for, but later on, it was used to suppress Toad Immortal. That's why the Moon Essence Basin was injected into its body. Which dimensional zone does Queen Mother live in? Zhou Wen's heart stirred as he hurriedly asked. TT has long been destroyed in the mythical era war. Even if you can find it, all that's left is ruins, said Lady Supreme Yin with a sigh. Zhou Wen was immediately alarmed. Who has the ability to destroy such a dimensional zone? I don't know. I'm on the moon after all. I'm only partially aware of what's happening on Earth. As Lady Supreme Yin spoke, she threw out the moon essence basin. Jing Daoxian is right. A heaven-level Toad Immortal is a top-notch calamity-grade creature. Ordinary calamity-grade creatures can't compare with it. Although the Moon Essence Basin is good, it's not worth risking your life for it, said Lady Supreme Yin. Chapter 1596 Treasure Fall Money Toad Immortal is very strong? Zhou Wen felt that Lady Supreme Yin was persuading him to give the Moon Essence Basin to Jing Dao Xian. Very. Otherwise, Queen Mother wouldn't have spent so much effort to suppress it underground instead of killing it. Lady Supreme Yin paused before adding, a heaven-level domain is already a complete domain. Compared to a hell-level domain, there's a qualitative difference. Furthermore, you are only at the human realm. It won't be easy to defeat it. Is there no other way? Zhou Wen didn't think that the heaven-level was that invincible. At the very least, Godfall, who already had heaven-level power, was killed by the zone core of the Forbidden Land of the Gods. Now that Zhou Wen had inherited the power of the Forbidden Land of the Gods core, although he was still at the human realm, it wasn't impossible for him to restrain Toad Immortal. It was just like how his teacher domain restrained the Toad's devouring domain. Toad Immortal and the Toad are two different concepts. Toad Immortal's powers are very special. Even Queen Mother wasn't able to kill it. It's obvious how terrifying it is. Lady Supreme Yin continued urging Joe when not to clash head-on with Toad Immortal. What kind of power does Toad Immortal have? Joe Wen asked. I don't know. I only know that the power of Moonlight has a restraining effect on its strength. That's why the Moon Essence Basin was used to suppress I. Creatures have reached their full potential resulting in qualitative changes. It's not a wise idea to fight them. Don't take any chances. Although you might both be at the calamity grade, the domain powers of heaven level. Adi Supreme said a guy. To understand. Joe nodded. He took in Lady Supreme's advice, but he was unwilling to give up the moon essence basin and the sky mortal swan. After returning to Earth, Joe Wen thought about what to do. He believed that there was a solution to everything. Although the heaven realm was powerful, it wasn't impossible for him to win. 
till figure out the teacher domain first before thinking of a way to fight Toad Immortal. If there's really no other way, I'll lure it to the Big Dipper Dimensional Zone. I don't believe I can't kill it there. Showin never thought of giving the Moon Essence Basin and the Sky Mortal Swan to Jing Dao Xian. Jing Dao Xian was resting in a wooden hut outside Inshu. Lu Yun was drawing a map. Old man, why did you lay a trap for Zhou Wen? Couldn't you just negotiate with him nicely? Lu Yun grumbled as he drew. Jing Dao Xian said with a smile. In this world, don't place your hopes on the kindness and sympathy of others. That's not sympathy, all right? It should be a partnership, Lu Yun said gloomily. With Zhou Wen's temper, it's definitely impossible for him to give you the Moon Essence Basin. Without it to advance the Yin Yang Mirror to the Heaven Level, I want to see how you can enter Yin Xiu. He will come. In the face of death, a so-called temper is nothing. Jing Dao Xian said confidently. Are you that confident in Toad Immortal? My junior brother has killed Hell Level creatures before. The Heaven Level is only one level higher. Lu Yun was puzzled as to why Jing Dao Xian was so confident in Toad Immortal. Toad Immortal is also known as Golden Toad Immortal. Its most famous ability is Treasure Fall Money. Jing Dao Xian said slowly. Treasure Fall Money? The legendary ability that can shake off all Dharma treasures? Lu Yun was alarmed. That's just a myth. The true Treasure Fall Money is actually a sealing force. Be it creatures or weapons, be it humans or companion beasts, as long as they are struck by Treasure Fall Money, they will be sealed. They will no longer be able to use any of their strength and become ordinary. Jing Dao Xian said. 1. Then isn't Junior Brother in grave danger? Lu Yun said in surprise. Everyone knew that Zhou Wen's main combat strength was his companion beasts, but Toad Immortal could seal companion beasts. In its domain, companion beasts were useless. Ignoring the fact that Zhou Wen didn't have a guardian, even if he did, he would still be sealed by the Treasure Fall money. Unless one strength far exceeded Toad Immortals, preventing him from using Treasure Fall money, it was very difficult for them to stand a chance of winning. With that punk's life preservation means, it should be more than enough for him to escape and seek my help. Jing Daoxian said indifferently. Lu Yun thought for a moment, and found that Zhou Wen stumbling over while crying for help made him feel excited. Then let's wait for Zhou Wen to come pleading. Lu Yun's mind had already surfaced the scene of his junior brother rolling and crawling over to hug his thigh. He felt an unbearable itch, eager for that moment to arrive immediately. Zhou Wen didn't have Lu Yun's rich imagination. He was currently studying the teacher domain. The teacher domain was formed by his talent combined with his essence energy art and the zone core. His strength and essence energy arts powers were easily understood, but the power brought by the zone core was unfamiliar to Zhou Wen. After any creature fused with the zone core, they needed a process of figuring it out to unleash the true abilities of the domain. Some domains were relatively easy to understand. For example, some high temperature domains only needed one to change the temperature. However, just because it was easy to understand didn't mean that it could be used properly. A high temperature domain wasn't as simple as just blindly raising the temperature. There were also techniques to exploit the difference in temperature. Those needed to be figured out and practiced. Zhou Wen's teacher domain was more complicated because it had very complicated abilities. After constant testing, Zhou Wen came to understand the various abilities it had. The most important ability in the teacher domain was to seal all nomological powers. In the past, the heaven opening scripture of the highest elder could only prevent Zhou Wen from being affected by various taboo powers. It was considered a passive ability. Now, the teacher domain could seal all nomological powers and taboos within the domain. Essence energy couldn't be released and could only circulate in creatures' bodies. Point two. Therefore, in the teacher domain, all creatures could only rely on their bodies to fight. It was almost impossible for them to release their strength. All sorts of domain powers were sealed in the teacher domain. Most domain powers were ineffective. However, there were some domain powers that were applied to one's body. The teacher domain had little influence on such powers. Of course, Zhou Wen still didn't know what the limits of the teacher domain were or if it could seal high-level domains. This sealing power wasn't everything the teacher domain had. It could even be said that it was only the basic ability of the teacher domain. Some abilities were built on this foundation. For example, one could selectively remove the seal. As for the person who used the ability in the teacher domain, the pattern and trajectory of the ability would be recorded by the teacher domain. Zhou Wen could directly understand his opponent's various abilities. He could even know the flaws of his opponent's abilities through comparison using the teacher domain itself. Chapter 1597 You Are an Exception Zhou Wen was still constantly studying the various abilities and uses of the teacher domain. The same piece of paper had different uses in the hands of different people. In the hands of an ordinary person, it might only be used as a diary or a post-it note. It might even be used to wipe one's mucus, but in the hands of an artist, it might be a world-class painting. 
different people produced different effects on the same item. No matter how powerful a calamity zone was, it required the user to have enough control and imagination. Otherwise, just the domain itself was strong, but the person ultimately couldn't be considered a true expert. Just as Zhou Wen was studying the teacher domain, he suddenly heard someone shouting outside. He listened carefully and realized that changes had happened on the cube again. Another person was about to attempt the Big Dipper Palaces. Zhou Wen originally didn't care who attempted the Star Palaces. Even a heaven-level creature wouldn't be able to clear it so easily. Taking the level with Star Lord Cherished Kismet as an example, the stronger the offensive strength of a heaven-level creature, the more miserable their death would be. However, when Zhou Wen heard someone shout out, Spiomi, his heart stirred. He hurriedly switched on his phone and opened the live stream. Indeed, Tsukuyumi had already entered Dovey Palace. Zhou Wen wasn't surprised that Tsukuyumi could reach a place as distant as Dovey Palace. Ignoring the fact that the other planets had cubes, even if they didn't, Tsukuyumi's spatial teleportation ability wasn't inferior to Zhou Wen's. It wasn't impossible for her to teleport to Dovey Palace. Zhou Wen was thinking about something else. Tsukuyumi is the lady goddess of the moon, so she definitely has the power of moonlight. And that toad is restrained by the power of moonlight. Doesn't that mean that Tsukuyumi is the nemesis of that toad immortal? I wonder what level she has reached. As Zhou Wen was thinking, Tsukuyumi had already walked to the door. Two ghost phantoms appeared in front of her, and pushed open Dovey Palace's door for her. Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf seemed to feel pressure when he saw Tsukuyumi. He didn't wait for Tsukuyumi to walk over before launching an attack. A terrifying surge of light blasted at Tsukuyumi like a volcanic eruption. How will Tsukuyumi deal with Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's Starlight Domain? Jowen thought to himself. In fact, it wasn't just Jowen. Everyone was curious about Tsukuyumi's performance. Tsukuyumi's domain was called Ghost Parade. It had the ability to summon ghosts, but inside the Starlight Domain, the starlight attacked indiscriminately. Summoning a single ghost was actually not much different from summoning a hundred ghosts. When the light blast descended, Tsukuyumi didn't dodge, nor did she have any intention of attacking. Hashiheim, who was wearing a kimono and seemed to be enveloped by darkness, appeared beside Tsukuyumi. The paper umbrella in her hand opened as blurry neon colors appeared around her, blocking the light blast. Hashiheim held the umbrella and followed Tsukuyumi. Tsukuyumi slowly walked toward Star Lord Ravenous Wolf. No matter how powerful the light blast was, it couldn't break through her defense. Just Hashiheim alone managed to block Star Lord Ravenous Wolf's starlight domain. From the looks of it, Tsukuyumi is already at the top of the hell level, Zhou Wen thought. When Star Lord Ravenous Wolf saw that the blast of light couldn't do anything to Tsukuyumi, he immediately charged down, hoping to engage her in close combat. However, when he rushed over, Ghost suddenly appeared. Star Lord Ravenous Wolf was immediately surrounded. It was difficult to beat a number advantage even for the best of people, especially when the number advantage was overwhelming. Soon, Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf was ganked to the point of death. Tsukuyumi remained standing under the umbrella and didn't make a move. After Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf died, she walked towards the teleportation nexus. Goddess Tsukuyumi is too powerful! Ghost Parade! Who can withstand such strength at the same level? Whoever fights Tsukuyumi is equivalent to fighting a hundred alone. Before anyone could say anything, they saw a new scene appear on the cube's screen. It was the projection of Merak Star Palace. Tsukuyumi wants to challenge Star Lord Titan Gate? Of course she has to. Her domain is virtually invincible among peers of the same level. I wouldn't find it strange even if she chose all the Big Dipper stars, much less the second Star Palace. As everyone discussed, Tsukuyumi had already pushed open the door to the Merak Star Palace. Hashiheim kept following Tsukuyumi. Just as the door to Merak Star Palace opened, the ferocious ghosts rushed in. A fox-like shadow rushed into Star-Lord Titan Gate's body the moment he opened his mouth. Star-Lord Titan Gate's open mouth closed. He couldn't make a sound. He lost control of his body and could hardly fight the ghosts. Before Star-Lord Titan Gate could escape the control, the hundred ghosts had already surged forward and devoured him. Tsukuyumi killed two Star-Lords without even lifting a finger. She walked into the teleportation nexus once again. However, this time, the cube didn't produce a new Star Palace. Instead, a ranking appeared. Everyone hurriedly looked at the rankings. Their eyes landed on first place, but they realized that first place wasn't Tsukuyumi. It was still the Tiger Soul General. Tsukuyumi was ranked second despite slaying two Star Lords. How did this happen? Egg Sovereign used a companion beast after all. Tsukuyumi didn't even use a companion beast. Why is she ranked below Egg Sovereign? That's right, this doesn't make sense. Of course, Egg Sovereign's Tiger Soul General is even stronger. He killed two ravenous wolves alone and instantly killed Titan Gate. His strength is far above Tsukuyumi's. That's right. 
The Tiger Soul General is undoubtedly stronger. People were discussing who was stronger, Tiger Soul General or Tsukuyami. Soon, they were divided into two factions. No one could convince the other. All sorts of analysis threads constantly appeared on the internet. Jowen had already teleported outside Merak the moment the rankings appeared. Now, he only hoped that Tsukuyami hadn't teleported over from the cube on a particular planet. That way, he wouldn't be able to see her even if he came to Merak. After arriving on Merak, Jowen quickly instant transmitted towards the Star Palace's entrance. Before he entered the planet, he saw Tsukuyami's figure rush out of the high-temperature liquid. Hashiheim was still standing behind Tsukuyami as she held the umbrella. All the high temperature, radiation, and shock waves were isolated by the umbrella. Are you looking for me? Tsukuyami said with a smile. That's right. I want to make a deal with you, Jowen said after some thought. Although he had a plan, Lady Supreme Ian had said that it wasn't easy to deal with Toad Immortal. To be safe, Jowen decided to buy some additional insurance. You know that I never make deals with others, Tsukuyami said. This deal is very beneficial to you, Jowen replied. Whether there are benefits or not does not concern me. Tsukuyami remained unmoved. Jowen was somewhat disappointed, but he heard Tsukuyami continue. However, you are an exception. Chapter 1598 Battling Star Lord Merciful Song Again Jowen was puzzled. Although Tsukuyami had always expressed her fondness for him, he really couldn't figure out why she had such a favorable impression of him. To Jowen, everything needed to be explained with logic, but he really couldn't figure out why Tsukuyami had a good impression of him. Therefore, he had always felt that there was something wrong with this matter. However, he couldn't figure out the problem no matter how much he racked his brains over it. 1. If it was for the Heavenly Happiness token, he had previously agreed to give it to Tsukuyami, but Tsukuyami didn't want it. This reason was clearly not valid. Look at this. Jowen couldn't figure out why Tsukuyami had a good impression of him, but at the very least, she wasn't a threat to him. This is a zone core? Tsukuyami looked at the Moon Essence Basin in surprise. Yes, it's called the Moon Essence Basin. Do you think it's of any use to you? Jowen asked as he held it. Of course it's useful. Tsukuyami gave an affirmative answer before smiling at Jowen. Are you giving it to me? Sort of. However, its owner is a heaven-level creature. Furthermore, it cares a lot about the Moon Essence Basin. It will not spare anyone who has it in their possession. It will come looking for it soon. Jowen paused before continuing. I can give you the Moon Essence Basin, but when the time comes, you have to join forces with me to kill the original owner. Sure. Tsukuyami agreed without any hesitation. Aren't you going to consider it? That's a heaven-level creature. Furthermore, I heard it's rather terrifying. It's also a top existence among heaven-level creatures. Jowen said. What sort of consideration should I have? Tsukuyami asked Jowen with a faint smile. At the very least, you should ask about the heaven-level creature. Jowen said after some thought. There's no need, Tsukuyami said. Why? Jowen didn't understand. Even if I don't agree to it, do you think I'll stand by the side while watching you be killed? Tsukuyami said slowly. Apart from me, no one can touch my man. 5. Jowen's mind was filled with question marks as he thought to himself, when did I become yours? 2. However, Jowen felt that there was no point in continuing. Therefore, he threw the moon essence basin to Tsukuyami. If it can be used, use it as soon as possible. Jowen didn't wish to give the Moon Essence Basin to Jing Daoxian, nor did he wish to return it to Toad Immortal. It was a good choice to use it to make a deal with Tsukuyami and obtain her help. After all, the Moon Essence Basin was useless to Jowen. The essence energy art he cultivated didn't have any moon elemental attributes. Even so, we have to find a suitable place. This place won't do. As Tsukuyami spoke, she approached Jowen and grabbed his hand. Then, she stepped into the void and instantly vanished. When the spatial teleportation ended, Jowen realized that he had arrived on a planet. It was barren without any signs of life, but there was a thick layer of ice in many places. Tsukuyami pulled Jowen's hand and flashed to the bottom of a glacier cliff. There was an underground ice cave there with a snow-white fur blanket and some daily necessities. It was likely where Tsukuyami lived. The universe is too dangerous. Terrifying cosmic creatures might appear at any time. I need two days to absorb the moon essence basin. In these two days, I won't have the ability to resist external forces. I'll have to trouble you to protect me. With that said, Tsukuyami sat down on the white fur and held the moon essence basin in her hands. Bright moonlight immediately rose from the moon essence basin and enveloped Tsukuyami's entire body as though a bright moon was right in front of her. One could vaguely see Tsukuyami in the bright moon. The moonlight was as blurry as a veil, allowing one to only see Tsukuyami's beautiful figure from her silhouette. It added a mysterious beauty to her. Two days. 
Toad Immortal wouldn't arrive that quickly, right? Zhou Wen took out a chair from his chaos space and placed it near the entrance of the ice cavern. He sat on the chair and took out his phone to continue grinding. As he grinded the dungeons, Zhou Wen remained sufficiently alert. Truth Listener and Great Brahma's abilities were circulated to their limits. Any commotion nearby couldn't escape his notice. Zhou Wen chose to enter the Big Dipper instance dungeon. He had killed the first three Star Lords and they hadn't respawned. Zhou Wen went straight to the Four Star Palace where the Guardian was Star Lord Merciful Song. The last time Zhou Wen came, he was stored in the book in Star Lord Merciful Song's hand. This time, Zhou Wen didn't give Star Lord Merciful Song a chance. He summoned the Golden WYRM Scissors and ordered it to attack him. Star Lord Merciful Song didn't dodge the Golden WYRM Scissors. The book in his hand automatically opened as strange words appeared, transforming into a treasure beam that struck the Golden WYRM Scissors. The Golden WYRM Scissors was indomitable, but when it was illuminated by the treasure glow, it involuntarily flew into the book and landed on it. It transformed into a picture of the Golden WYRM Scissors that was imprinted on the page. Holy SH asterisk T, is Star Lord Merciful Song that impressive? They are both at the hell level, but he actually managed to subdue the Golden WYRM Scissors. Zhou Wen was alarmed. Star Lord Merciful Song was stronger than he imagined. However, Zhou Wen could tell that the book in Star Lord Merciful Song's hand was very powerful, but his combat strength wasn't much. He guessed that as long as he could get close, it wouldn't be difficult to kill him. The key was how to deal with the book. In the past, Zhou Wen could only attempt to charge forward or use something as a shield. Now, he had an additional choice. He could try to see if the teacher domain could seal the book in Star Lord Merciful Song's hand. This was also Zhou Wen's goal for coming here. Although the teacher domain was very strong, Zhou Wen wasn't sure if it was still effective against high-level domains. He could use the hell-level Star Lord Merciful Song as an experiment. Seeing the book in Star Lord Merciful Song's hand open again, the text's treasure glow rushed out of the page and swept towards Zhou Wen. Zhou Wen also summoned the Heaven Opening Scripture of the Highest Elder. The Heaven Opening Scripture of the Highest Elder automatically opened as the words inside shimmered with a strange glow. The Invisible Teacher Domain also opened and enveloped Migra's Star Palace. The moment the Teacher Domain enveloped the Star Palace, the treasure glow that rushed out of the Star Lord Merciful Song's book instantly vanished. Even the book that shimmered with text lost its glow. The text vanished and the page turned to white paper. Haha, ha, the teacher domain is invincible. Zhou Wen was overjoyed as he summoned the golden sniper rifle and pulled the trigger at Star Lord Merciful Song. 1. Bang. Star Lord Merciful Song had zero combat skills. He couldn't even dodge a human realm sniper bullet. The sniper bullet blasted a bloody hole in his body. Boom. 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 Zhou Wen kept firing. But Star Lord Merciful Song dodged in a sorry state, and because he wasn't good at combat, he lasted until the seven sure kill shot before his head exploded. Chapter 1599 Star Lord Ardent Virtue Kill Calamity Creature, Star Lord Merciful Song Discovered Dimensional Crystal Zhou Wen was somewhat disappointed that he didn't see a companion egg. However, when he saw the high level essence energy crystal, his expectations were lifted again. Previously, Zhou Wen had been raising the level of the invisibility cloak. The advancement of the invisibility cloak was relatively easy, having essence energy crystals was enough. Therefore, Zhou Wen would gather solid essence energy from the chaos egg to raise its level. However, the solid essence energy only seemed to be capable of raising the level of the invisibility cloak to the terror grade at best. Any higher, and it wouldn't budge. Now that he had held level essence energy crystals, he could try to see if he could improve the invisibility cloak. The essence energy crystal's value was only 200. The other dimensional crystals with various attributes were also 200. This was the basic value of the hell level. From this, it could be seen that the Star Lord Merciful Song that Joe Wen had killed was the same as the Star Lord Ravenous Wolves from before. They were in their most basic state. If the Star Lords of the Seven Star Palaces are all at the initial stage of the hell level, their statuses don't seem to match the myths and legends. In Joe Wen's impression, the Seven Star Lords had a rather high status. It didn't seem like they were only at the hell level. He fed the essence energy crystal to the invisibility cloak and the other crystals to different companion beasts. After the invisibility cloak absorbed the essence energy crystal, there was clearly a powerful essence energy fluctuation on the invisible clothes. However, the fluctuation lasted for a long time without allowing the invisibility cloak to advance. Finally, the essence energy fluctuation gradually vanished. The invisibility cloak remained at the terror grade. The terror grade invisibility cloak's terror transformation was invisibility. This greatly increased its invisibility ability, allowing one to remain invisible indefinitely. This invisibility was a form of formless, matterless, and shadowless intangibility. 
It was impossible to sense the location of the invisibility cloak through contact between matter. Using detection methods, like heat, was useless against the terror form invisibility cloak. After putting on the terror transformed invisibility cloak, he basically vanished. Ordinary calamity great creatures might not discover it. However, it was a true vanishment. At the very least, Zhou Wen could hear the location of the invisibility cloak when he used Truth Listener. Therefore, to be safe, Zhou Wen still hoped to raise the invisibility cloak to the Calamity Grade. If he could hide it from Truth Listener, there weren't many creatures at the Calamity Grade who could discover the invisibility cloak. If he wasn't afraid that the invisibility cloak's fusion with other companion beasts would change the invisibility cloak's ability, Zhou Wen would rather use a Calamity Grade companion beast to fuse it until it reached the Calamity Grade. From the looks of it, I still need more high-level essence energy crystals to advance the invisibility cloak to the calamity grade. Zhou Wen was already considering where to get more calamity grade essence energy crystals. After clearing the area, Zhou Wen chose to teleport to the next star palace. The fifth star of the Big Dipper was Aliyot. According to the information obtained on the internet, the Star Lord of Aliyot's star palace was Ardent Virtue. Legend had it that he specialized in killing the imprisoned. However, as there wasn't much information, and the information might not be the same as the true Star Lord, Zhou Wen couldn't guess what abilities Star Lord Ardent Virtue had. After arriving at the Aliyah Star Palace, Zhou Wen was surprised to discover that the Star Palace he had imagined wasn't there. There was only a huge Jade Mountain. The Jade Mountain was made of white jade and emitted a cold crystalline aura. On the mountaintop, there was a peach blossom tree. The peach blossoms bloomed beautifully, and the entire tree was pink. A man in white jade armor sat cross-legged under the peach tree. A sheathed white jade sword was placed flat on his lap. Peach blossoms flew everywhere as the petals slowly fell, but not a single petal landed on the Star Lord. It was as though all the petals would automatically circle around him. What kind of Star Lord is Star Lord Ardent Virtue? Zhou Wen stared at him as he walked towards the White Jade Mountain. Star Lord Ardent Virtue remained sitting under the peach blossom tree as though he hadn't noticed Zhou Wen's arrival. He didn't react despite Zhou Wen reaching the mountainside. Star Lord Ardent Virtue finally opened his eyes when Zhou Wen reached the top of the mountain. Zhou Wen couldn't see Star Lord Arden Virtue's face due to the helmet. All he could see were his eyes. The pair of eyes were unimpressionable. The eyes were definitely not ugly, and could even be described as good looking. However, for some reason, seeing those eyes made Zhou Wen shudder. It even made him feel extremely uneasy, as a voice seemed to plead him to turn around and escape. Evil Aura There was an evil aura in those eyes that made him feel afraid. As the pair of eyes stared at Zhou Wen, he had a feeling that he wasn't a person, but a pig waiting to be slaughtered. That's right. This should be the Alia Star Palace. The Star Lord should be Star Lord Ardent Virtue, not Star Lord Marshall Song. Why does this fellow look like he wants to employ force at any moment? Zhou Wen thought. Just as Zhou Wen had this in mind, Star Lord Ardent Virtue did exactly as he imagined. The white jade sword in his hand instantly unsheathed. By the time Zhou Wen saw it unsheathed, the tip of the sword was already at his heart, about to stab him. Clang. The bamboo blade on Zhou Wen's finger flicked out and blocked the white jade sword. As the blades clashed, Zhou Wen slid forward with the bamboo blade. Star Lord Ardent Virtue had vanished. When Zhou Wen sensed him again, he was already behind him. The tip of the white jade sword was about to pierce through Zhou Wen's back. How fast! Zhou Wen had already activated the teacher domain, but its power didn't seem to be of any use against Star Lord Ardent Virtue. It was obvious that Star Lord Ardent Virtue was a Star Lord who was good at melee combat. He didn't need to project his strength at all. Furthermore, his movement technique focused on speed and not instant transmission. The basic abilities of the teacher domain didn't have much effect on Arden Virtue. However, in the teacher domain, it recorded Star Lord Arden Virtue's every move. Clang. 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 Zhou Wen raised his bamboo blade and fought Star Lord Arden Virtue. Although the bamboo blade was still at the Terra grade, its hardness wasn't inferior to a calamity grade weapon. The continuous collision with the white jade sword failed to damage it. Star-Lord Ardent Virtue had very high combat strength, and was in no way weaker than Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. However, their combat styles were different. Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf's entire body was the weapon. He used every technique to perfection, but Star-Lord Ardent Virtue was different. He only knew how to use a sword. Furthermore, his sword was only a fast sword. It wasn't as varied as Star-Lord Ravenous Wolf. Among all the martial arts in the world, only speed was invincible. Zhou Wen's transcendent flying immortal was already very fast, but compared to Star-Lord Ardent Virtue, it was as slow as a snail. Moments later, the sword left Zhou Wen with many injuries. Chapter 1600 Saber Practice Star-Lord Ardent Virtue attacked and moved at increasing speeds. It was similar to Feng Chiyuan's swift saber. However, 
Star-Lord Arden Virtue's speed was many times faster than Feng Chuyin's. Zhou Wing couldn't keep up with such speed. Even with his judgment, he still couldn't withstand his attacks. Zhou Wing originally wanted to summon the Golden WRM Scissors to kill Star-Lord Arden Virtue, but on second thought, such a swift sword was very rare. If he killed Star-Lord Arden Virtue now, he didn't know when he would respawn. Instead of killing him straight away, he might as well use him to practice his saber techniques. Transcended Flying Immortal also clinched victory through speed. To have such an opponent in combat training was many times better than training by himself. With this in mind, Zhou Wing gave up on the idea of killing Star-Lord Arden Virtue and only fought with his saber techniques. Transcended Flying Immortal was very strong, but Zhou Wing's speed and strength were much weaker than Star-Lord Arden Virtue's. It was very difficult to make up for the difference with pure saber techniques. Furthermore, Star-Lord Arden Virtue's swift sword had already reached a sublime realm with ever-increasing speeds. Before long, Zhou Wing couldn't withstand it, and had his heart penetrated by Star-Lord Arden Virtue's sword. The game screen went black as Zhou Wing dripped his blood to revive. He entered Alia Star Palace again. The repeated battles all ended with Zhou Wing's death. However, such battles weren't completely meaningless. The disqualified allowed Zhou Wing to see Star-Lord Arden Virtue's flaws, but because he was too fast, he couldn't grasp them even if he saw them. As for Star-Lord Arden Virtue's trajectory recorded by the teacher domain, although it wasn't as direct as a video, it simplified matters, allowing Zhou Wen to understand many things directly. Star-Lord Arden Virtue's sword was very fast, and it looked disorganized. It seemed to have no fixed trajectory, making it impossible to predict it or guard against it. However, from the trajectories recorded by the teacher domain, Star-Lord Arden Virtue's attacks weren't without pattern. Its attacks had too many variations. There were so many, that it was impossible for humans to remember them. It was like a repeating decimal. No matter how many numbers there were in the middle, they would eventually repeat. It wasn't like an irrational number, with no discernible pattern. Star-Lord Arden Virtue's attacks were so variable that there were a million, or even more, possibilities. Therefore, ordinary people couldn't determine his pattern. However, Zhou Wen, who had the teacher domain, predicted the subsequent changes after understanding a portion of his trajectory. He didn't really need to see all the changes. Zhou Wen increasingly felt that the teacher domain's ability was terrifying. Although it wasn't a pure strength type ability, it was an ability that was closest to the essence of all things. Star-Lord Arden Virtue's random sword techniques might not be cracked by others even if they spent their entire lives trying, but Zhou Wen seemed to be able to do so as though he could predict the future. Every time, he would strike first or directly strike his flaws before finally slashing at Star-Lord Arden. Virtue. A first for injuring him. Zhou Wen was delighted. The teacher domain was a gift that kept giving. He couldn't predict what kind of power he could develop in the future. No, no. This is purely relying on the power of the teacher domain to win. I haven't mastered my saber technique at all. I have to practice my saber. Zhou Wen gave up on using the teacher domain and purely used transcendent flying immortal to fight him. The 3000 sword intents were very strong, as was the hard defying sword art, but in comparison, Zhou Wen preferred transcendent flying immortal. The reason was that transcendent flying immortal was simple. It saved him trouble. The 3000 sword intents were too cumbersome. It didn't really match Zhou Wen's personality. Zhou Wen died again and again. The experience he obtained in exchange was something that couldn't be obtained under normal circumstances. Zhou Wen was only at the terror grade and didn't have the augmentation of various domains. The difference between him and the hell level Star Lord Arden Virtue was just too great. It was almost impossible for him to win purely in terms of techniques. Every battle could only end with death. However, Zhou Wen enjoyed it. Every death made Transcendent Flying Immortal breakthrough. In the past, although Zhou Wen's Transcendent Flying Immortal focused on speed, it was leaning towards dominance. Immortal Slaying, which was born from Transcendent Flying Immortal, was extremely domineering. However, against an opponent like Star Lord Arden Virtue, if he was domineering, even if Zhou Wen pushed the power of Immortal Slaying to its limits, it would ultimately be akin to an egg striking a rock. However, Transcendent Flying Immortal wasn't just domineering. There were other aspects that allowed Zhou Wen to develop. Zhou Wen's saber techniques became faster and faster, as they became more and more elegant. His body was like a flying immortal, and his saber came from beyond the heavens. His saber techniques and movement techniques became more unpredictable. Others were straightforward with their saber techniques, but Zhou Wen's saber techniques became more curved. Zhou Wen seldom had the chance to purely practice a particular skill because he cultivated too many essence energy arts, making it difficult for him to advance. Other humans who used mythical serums, spirit casting, or contracted guardians only needed to find a suitable zone core to quickly advance to the calamity grade or even rapidly reach a higher level. In order to keep up with the progress, Zhou Wen had no choice 
but to devote a large amount of time to his various essence energy arts and the search for dimensional zones. Although it was very difficult, the benefits he obtained were inestimable. It was almost impossible for other humans of the same level to clear the Big Dipper instance dungeon alone. There was always a Star Lord who could restrain their strength and make victory almost impossible. However, Zhou Wen could clear the Big Dipper instance dungeon alone. This was the difference. Just as Zhou Wen was practicing transcendent flying immortal, he suddenly heard a commotion. The commotion was somewhat terrifying. Zhou Wen put down his phone and listened attentively. Truth Listener immediately transformed the sound into an image that appeared in his mind. A huge warship, like Behemoth, was entering the atmosphere. It produced a lightning-like glow from friction with the atmosphere. The azure lightning produced by the friction with the atmosphere covered its entire body, making it look like a huge electric eel wrapped in azure lightning. Unlike an electric eel, it had a pair of wings on both sides of its body. The four wings that resembled butterfly wings were also enveloped by azure lightning. As it flapped its wings, the lightning produced by the friction spread out in the atmosphere. Lightning flashed between the sky and land, illuminating the originally dark planet. Zhou Wen's heart palpitated. Although the lightning wasn't emitted by the cosmic creature, the fact that it could produce lightning from friction had something to do with its body. From the might of the lightning, he knew that this cosmic creature was definitely not an easy opponent. According to what Zhou Wen knew, cosmic creatures were typically split into two types. One type was companion beasts that tore out of celestial bodies. They were in the minority, but they were extremely impressive. If he encountered one in the universe, escaping immediately was the best choice. The second type was more common. For dimensional creatures, like Tsukuyami who came from planets, they varied in strength, but no matter how weak they were, they would at least be at the mythical stage or above. There were terror and calamity creatures, but calamity creatures occupied the majority. It wasn't because fewer creatures of other levels entered the universe, but because too many had died. The cosmic creature in front of him looked at least at the human realm. It might even be stronger.